viewers anywhere you are thank you for staying connected and joining us today there is another wonderful anointed and spirit filled live service that is coming to you from the city of jesus international ministry studio my name is christopher oji by my behavior character attitude of fruit i shall be known i believe you also listened to that message that was given in our last service the last service which was held few hours ago turn with me to the book of galatians chapter 2 and let us read from verses 20 the book of galatians chapter 2 from verses 20 i have been crucified with christ it is no longer i who live but christ lives in me and the life which i now live in the flesh i live by faith in the son of god who loved me and gave himself for me i do not set aside the grace of god for if righteousness comes through the law then christ died in vain the life of genuine believers is the life of Jesus Christ if you have not listened to that message go back and see what you can do to pay attention to it God spoke to the whole world through that message God bless you right now we are in another online service and by the special grace of god we are going to start listening to the testifiers let us watch the screen and see how god almighty jesus christ and the holy spirit attended to them and then we will be inviting them to testify stay tuned and stay blessed don't forget, we are going to attend to everyone who is also part of today's online meeting and also part of the Zoom meeting for prayers. Be in an attitude of prayers. Where you are is the best place for God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit to attend to you. Stay blessed and stay tuned. Shalom. Shalom. My name is Jody Antelfia, and I am speaking to you from the island of Jamaica. Great. What do you do for a living in Jamaica? I am a secondary school teacher teaching history and social studies. All right. What do you want Jesus Christ to do for you? Um, man of God, I want Jesus Christ to... Um, Forgive me of all my sins. I need deliverance as well from um, evil attacks and uh, generational curses. Um, a lot of things has been happening in my family and I need Jesus' divine intervention. Um, also, I need breakthrough in my health, in my career, and my finances. All right. Can you be bold enough to tell Satan, no, you can no longer hide in me through sin? Can you be bold enough to expose your sinful acts? Go ahead. Yes, man of God. I am struggling with the issue of stealing, um, telling lies, immorality, unforgiveness, addiction, um, temptation. I have a very low self-esteem. 
And I just need Jesus to just forgive me of all those weaknesses. All right. What kind of life do you want to start living? Because God has already made provision for your forgiveness. And for every good thing you are asking for now. What life do you want to start living so you can receive the good things and then maintain them? I want to live a life of righteousness. I want to be closer to God. I want to be able to read my Bible more, draw closer to him through fasting and prayer. I just want to have a close relationship with God. Great. As a teacher, you are created to allow your character, to allow your thoughts, your words, and your character to teach everyone. Not only when you are in school, but also when you are at home. When students yes, look at your character exemplary lives, positive examples, they will be influenced by the Spirit of God to live a life without sin, to be disciplined, self-controlled, and to be focused on their studies. Yes, man of Life is not all about teaching without living. True. If you want to teach, live by example. So true. Okay. So God has given you that grace, and that will manifest after the prayer. Are you ready for that? I am ready, man of God. Oh, wonderful. You are created to be a shining example to millions. Amen. So get ready for that. Call the name Jesus Christ and get ready for prayer. Jesus Christ! You unclean spirits in charge of sins and sinful desires. You thought you could hide, operate in her, push her to commit sin, so you can destroy God's given destiny. Your end has come. I send fire from heaven straight down to you. <laughs> Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. What? The irresistible fire of the Holy Spirit has come down. It's going straight down. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. I send more fire to you, spirit of witchcraft, sorcery, spiritual <laughs> husband. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. You know you cannot hide. Turn! Turn the name of Jesus Christ. All of you that are hiding in her, I send fire to all the kingdoms of Satan. Lucifer, serpent, Holy Ghost. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. no one says no to the power no, of God. No, 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 I no, send no. fire to you. No. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. Your evil crowns, your rings, the face, the back, and the stomach where you are hiding. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. No, no, no. Turn. What have you done to her, her career, and her marriage? She struggled to finish college. She struggled, struggled to finish college. She really struggled. I don't know how she make it. I don't know. She shouldn't be here. No, she should have died from 2017. Why? She should have died. God, her star is too bright. Why did you make her to struggle before she was able to finish her I school? I don't want her to make it. I don't want her to make it. No one in her family make it. Why do no you want one. her to die? Who are you that wants her to die in 2017? Mm -mm, the big man. You have a name. Big Every big man has a name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Big man from where? From the Indian Ocean. <laughs> right now, I send fire to the Indian Ocean. And to all the oceans in the world, I send fire to you, wicked big man, hiding within. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Turn! Now answer me quickly. What is your name? Speak and answer me. Dakumba. How do you operate, you wicked Dakumba? Whenever I see the light of God in his people, I destroy it. How have you been identifying the light in people 
and destroying the light in people. How? How? We monitor them. We monitor them. Whenever we see that they are great in the spirit, we destroy. <laughs> we destroy. What life of sin do you use to operate and then use that life of sin to destroy the light in people that are destined to be great all around the world? What kind of sin do you push them to commit? You, the Kumba. Immorality. Stealing, lying, lust, addiction to worldly music, destruction. Mention them. How do you go about destroying things? How? Sicknesses. Sicknesses, disease and affliction. Mention the names of the sicknesses, diseases, and afflictions you have manufactured in your evil kingdom to kill, steal, and destroy the world. Mention their names. Cancer. Hypertension. Cancer. Hypertension. Diabetes. We created them. Sicknesses and disease. Mention their names. <laughs> the COVID-19. Please. I send fire to you. You know you cannot hide. Just let me go. I send fire to your secret. And I command all your secrets to be exposed. Holy Ghost. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. You wicked that kumba. Turn. Now expose everything. How did you cause the sickness you have mentioned now? How did you create it? We, we created it in the ocean. God is coming back for the world and we want as many souls as possible. So we want to populate our kingdom with those who have died from the pandemic. Which kingdom are you talking about? You said you want to populate your kingdoms. Which kingdom are you talking about? Kingdom of God or kingdom of darkness? Kingdom of the ocean. <laughs> what about those people that believe in God and possibly they pass on? Are you saying that they are also coming to your evil kingdom? Say the truth. Those who have the light in them, we cannot manipulate. They cannot come. Those with the light, like you, before me cannot come. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that light so bright. The light is bright. <laughs> and hers, her light is so bright. Don't you see the light of God in her? You are seeing the light. Now these light we have to destroy them. <laughs> these light are too bright for the world. We can't have people like her in the world. No, no, no. You said you have been taking people to populate your evil kingdom in the ocean, <laughs> kingdom of darkness. Do you also take the people that believe in God to populate your evil kingdom when they pass on to glory? Yes or no? No. No, we can't take those with the light. Why? We, we, we leave them. We just leave them. They are too much. The light is too much. You say <laughs> that God is... is coming for the world. How do you mean? Can you explain that part? You, Dakumba. <laughs> Don't you see what is happening? What is happening in the world? Violence. Corruption. Problems. Problems, nations warring against nations, countries in conflict with countries. So many things happening in this world. <laughs> it is our time to reign. It is what? <laughs> it is our, our time to reign. It is not your time to reign. God reigns <laughs> all the time and he reigns forever. God's reign has no beginning and has no end. How else have you been operating and you said God is coming 
How do you mean expose everything and that part? I have said enough. We, I have said enough. You are not here to control you, Dakumba. You know you are captured for total destruction. <laughs> do you want my master to punish me? <laughs> Who is your master? He was thrown out of heaven. He was thrown out. He was kicked out. <laughs> By Michael and the archangels. <laughs> what is the name of your wicked master that was sent out of heaven? You know his name. What is his name? His name is Satan. You cannot come here to stop speaking when you want to stop speaking. Right now, I send a forceful power of God straight down to you. And I command you to expose all your evil secrets. Holy Ghost... <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ. Tia! Now go ahead and expose everything. You said that God is coming. How do you mean? Say what you have not said. Everything that is happening, you know that time is drawing closer. You know the end time is upon us. <laughs> we need to destroy people like this woman here. We need to destroy her. I don't know how she follow in your ministry. <laughs> uh, she have been to so many pastors, but none of them couldn't deliver me. I am too strong. <laughs> Why were they not able to deliver you, to destroy you, Dakumba? Why? Yeah. Yeah, because they are my pastors. Huh? They are my pastors. I, I give them what they want. <laughs> how do you mean? How did they become your pastor? And what have you given to them that they wanted from you, Dakumba? They want money. They want expensive car. They want big houses. They want to dress in the most expensive clothes. <laughs> They want to be tall. I give them the spirit of pride. And when they have pride in them, they are mine. I take them. I cage them. I chain them. <laughs> what lives of sin do they live that enabled you to possess and destroy them? They turn the word of God around to deceive people. The word of God say you should love. They teach people to love, but they are not loving. <laughs> so they preach to deceive people because they are not living the life that the Bible requires. <sighs> How does living the life that the Bible requires, a life without sin, destroy you, Dakumba, destroy your master, Satan that was sent down from heaven, destroy all the powers of darkness how does a life without sin destroy all of you in the kingdom of darkness how when when they are without sin they are holy we use sin we operate through sin sin is our modality of operating how has that been destroying all of you in the kingdom of darkness how does it destroy all of you the truth, when they know the truth, the truth will set them free. <laughs> and we don't want them to be free. This ministry, the City of Jesus International Ministry, and me, Christopher Oji, is practically standing against sins and sinful desires and promoting a life without sin. How has this been destroying all of you in the kingdom of darkness, you, Dakumba? Your ministry is light, light, and we can't go nowhere near light. The light is too bright. When we see the light, we cannot enter. We have to just stay outside. Why? <laughs> the light is too much. What about people <laughs> that claim that this is not a true ministry, that this is fake, that the man of God, Christopher Oji, is not using the real power of God. What do you have to tell them, you Dakumba? Yes, that is what we force them to do. We force them not to believe that God is in your house. Because when they do, they will go and they will get their freedom and we don't want them to be free. <laughs> Are you saying that you Dakumba and your master Satan have been the one pushing people to believe in that way? 
to blast yes we we are yes we do we do we do <laughs> we do that <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Go ahead and expose all the things you have been doing against living ministries and ministers of God. Yeah, we tell them that you are not real. <laughs> we tell them that you are fake. Your ministry is not real. But little do they know that the light of God is there. Little do they know that those who are connected to this ministry <laughs> will be free. How like many her. people have you manipulated their mind to think and believe in this way? We have millions, <laughs> millions, countless, <laughs> countless. <laughs> Let us go back to what you said. You said that the living God Almighty is coming for the world. Yes. Expose yes. everything you know about yes. that. Go ahead. He is coming back. He, yes, he is coming. He's coming to pay us. Who is what coming? <laughs> Your master, of course, your master, he's coming. He is coming back to pay every man according to their works. Why do you think we are working overtime? <laughs> we are working overtime. <laughs> you said that my master is coming to pay everyone according to his works. And we say that he is coming purposely to pay you people. What do you mean by to pay you? You use the word us, you. What do you mean by that? Do you think that the life that you are living in this body will just go like that? <laughs> no. It will not go like that. Just look at what people are doing to themselves. They are destroying themselves. <laughs> not knowing, <laughs> not knowing that the time is coming when they will have to give an account. <laughs> How have people been destroying themselves, destroying their lives, living to please their <laughs> sinful nature? Can you mention the lives they are living? Expose them all. Sexual immorality. Everyone think having sex is just for pleasure. It is not sin, it is a way of life. We have captured 85% of youths all over the world. Through what? <laughs> Sexual immorality, fornication. <laughs> this one here. No, she don't want to engage in sexual immorality. She don't want to do it. Because she wants the man who God have in store for her, so she don't want to engage in sexual immorality. She wants to get married, and I will not allow it to happen. You see how powerful we are right here. <laughs> no pastor, no pastor can deliver us. We are too powerful. She, she is so stubborn. She is very stubborn. She will pray and disturb us. She will call on Jesus. She wanted to bless people, to bless people. She want to be great. She want to have a, she want to do exploits for God. <sighs> but it will not happen. And you are sitting there and you are seeing me standing on my throne and you can see <laughs> that it will never happen. It will never happen. You are seeing it and it will not happen. <laughs> no. You have no right nor any authority to stop God nor his power from operating. You will be the one to confirm what will happen. God has already destroyed all of you. You will confirm it. I'm coming to that. What other lies of sin that you said people would give account when God comes, when my master comes? Mention them. Don't hide anything. Uh, scamming, scamming, <laughs> defrauding people. Scammers are listening and they are also watching and they are everywhere. They go to people's inboxes 
to send message, they use picture of different men of God to operate. They form certain prayer points to operate. They go to where people play their comments to operate. Some would even be asking for help as if they are genuine. How do you operate with scamming and fraudulent activities? Can you expose all your evil secrets? We go to those persons who are vulnerable, those who are easy to give in. Some persons are so desperate, and because of desperation, we manipulate them. Yes, desperation. How do you mean, can you explain what you mean by vulnerable people, people that are desperate? What do you mean, explain? Like in your ministry, in your ministry, a lot of them need healing, deliverance, but it is not time. It is not the time that was set by God for them to be delivered. And so they are rushing, they are rushing to be healed, to be delivered, and it is not the time. And when they rush, we entered, we manipulate. How do you enter and how do you manipulate them? What message? Do you send to them? How do you operate, expose that part? We give them fake prophecies, fake prophecies. Do you also give them different WhatsApp line number to call <laughs> and also fake accounts? Yes, yes or no? Yes, 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 we do, we do. We defraud them. Uh, we give them the numbers of our agent. Once they are connected to our agent, we take money from them. We call it their wealth. <laughs> Just let me go. Just let me go. You Please cannot stop me... talking until you finish exposing all your evil works. How mm. else do you scam uh, and defraud people? How else? Uh, luxury scamming. How else do you operate? Destruction, this destruction. <laughs> you can give instances. What are the things you have been destroying? You have this destroyed people's future and destiny like hers. Her destiny is great. Her, right now, she is to further her education. <laughs> and I will not allow it. She is to further her education. <laughs> But I will not allow it to her. She will not go further in her studies. No, no, no. She have a very bright future and you can see it. You can see it. You are there, you are watching. You see the light in her. We came in thousands. We came in millions to destroy her, but her spirit is so strong. You are seeing it for yourself. Why are you questioning me? <laughs> what makes one's spirit to be very, very strong? The fire, the fire. The light is the fire. The same fire. The same fire that you used to cage me right now. <laughs> but you claim you are too powerful that no one has ever exposed and destroyed you. Why are no. you being caged? And why are you weakened and will be destroyed any moment from now? Why? Mm. This fire that you are carrying is coming straight from the throne room of heaven. <laughs> it is coming from the throne room of heaven. We cannot phantom. We cannot question. We cannot resist. We cannot hide from this fire. It's the same fire you have been using to hold all of us. The same fire. <laughs> she carries the same fire. You talked mm. about your so-called fake pastors. How did you manipulate them apart from the way you sp spoke in the past? How else did you manipulate their mind? What made them fake? <sighs> Pride. Pride. If a pastor have pride if they are too proud they are fake but if you are humble as a lamb if you don't make anything trouble you <laughs> you belongs to god 
<sighs> but pride. How many <laughs> are fake in the world that you are possessed, oh. you Dakumba? Oh. How many? Oh, countless, countless. The very few who are genuine, like yourself. <laughs> The very few that are genuine, we can count them on our fingers. <laughs> the very few that are genuine, we can count them. We can count them on our fingers. <laughs> what about the fake ones? Are they very few or countless? Oh, countless, countless. Because they love material things so much, they easily give in to the things of this world, not knowing... <laughs> that if you store up <laughs> treasures on earth <laughs> you belongs to us you are doomed how do you want people to start living their life so that they will escape god's judgment yeah. they will escape yeah. god's punishment as you claim yeah. that god is coming to bring you judgment say it. you say it even this morning when you spoke about your message, <laughs> life is a seed. <laughs> a lot of people take that message lightly, but they don't know how important it is to sow good righteousness. <laughs> Who gave me that message titled, Life is a Seed? And your master. Speak louder. He's your master. He gave you the message to deliver to his people, but they take it lightly. Even some before you right now, they don't even, they are not even praying on that word that you preach this morning about life is a seed. It is so important in order for you to escape the wrath, the, ju <laughs> the judgment. <laughs> Are you listening, you that are watching all around the world? When the message was given, you just believed that it was just ordinary message. You were not even taking note. When the message hit you, you got angry. Some were like, what is he saying? It's like he's criticizing me. Who hardened their heart not to open up their hearts to listen to the message that was sent from heaven to them? <laughs> Uh, I I harden their hearts. Who are you? Spirit of witchcraft. Spirit of witchcraft. The spirit of witchcraft. We use we use witchcraft to tie her destiny. How do you normally harden people's hearts? You spirit of witchcraft and Akumba. How? <laughs> How? Uh, they don't want to read the Bible. We make them don't want to read the Bible. We make them though when they want to pray, they will get so tired. Uh, they will just go and sleep. Are you saying <laughs> that anytime the message that will bring people to a place of repentance and salvation is being preached, you cause those people listening to sleep, to close yes. their mind? Yes. You cause them not to pay attention and also not to put the words into practice. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes. They should not know God. If they know God, who, will, who would, will, would we take to our kingdom? How do people know God? What can one do to have full knowledge of God? What can one do to know God? You preach it every day. Study the word. Study the word of God. Have a relationship with God. <laughs> Apart from witchcraft and Akumba, who else is hiding in this body? What about you, Satan, the boss of darkness? Yes, yes. Why were you sending Akumba and spirit of witchcraft to speak? Why? Why? <laughs> you have cared us. You, we cannot hide. You, you cared us. <laughs> Who are you that are speaking now? Are you Satan? Yeah. Yes or no? Uh, yes. What have you been doing in the universe? Been said by Dakumba and Spirit of Witchcraft. 
What are the evil things you have been doing to humanity? You have exposed us. <laughs> I've been killing people. Killing people. Stealing. Stealing their wealth. <laughs> you have mentioned killing, stealing. Mention your last mission. And what? Uh, destroying. <laughs> Destruction. Just let me go. Just let me go. I'm tired. <laughs> Listen. The Kumba, the unclean spirit, said that God is coming down. He's coming to bring judgment against you people. What do you have to say, you Satan? True, true. It's true. You it's have true. more information than the Kumba and other powers of darkness. Now go ahead and expose what you have never exposed before. Go ahead! Destroying people. We have taken their destinies. We have taken what God has given to them in the spirit. Whatever was given to them, we take them away. We take away their destinies. We take away their purpose. Their purpose, their God-given purpose, their purpose that was given to them for them to glorify God. The purpose that was given to them to dismantle and scatter the kingdom of darkness. <laughs> How do you normally take all these things away? How can you put more light on that and explain? Expose everything. How have you been doing that successfully? We use witchcraft. The one that we have used to gain access to her, witchcraft. We have used people. We have used people to deceive people, <laughs> to deceive them. How do you use people to deceive people? Can you expose that? There are a lot of things on social media handles. You see people calling true ministers of God fake and fake ministers of God true. You see people calling good leader fake and yes. fake leaders good. How do you yes. operate and confuse yes. people? Go ahead and expose everything you Satan. <laughs> we go into our agents and we use them to deceive the true ministers of God. Those who are genuinely born again. We don't want other people to see the light in them. We don't want other people to see the light of God in them. So we deceive them. Who are your evil agents and how do they deceive and operate? We even use fake ministers to deceive them because they are our agents. <laughs> we use fake ministers to deceive people as well. They are our agents. We own them. We use them to deceive the real, true ministers of God. How do they go about that? What do they say? What do they do? What do they uh, use uh, to in operate? Their messages, when they are preaching their messages, with their congregation before them, they would attack true ministers of God <laughs> using their messages, their fake messages. We use them to tell lion peoples. <laughs> you said you much. use your fake ministers of God with their congregation. Does it mean <laughs> that you also allow them to have big crowds, big congregation, yes or no? Oh yes, big, big congregation, big, even twice as the amount of people you have in your congregation. We populate their congregation, so when viewers and people are watching them, they will say, yes, this man is truly a man of God. Look at, look at, look at his followers. Look at the amount of people in this congregation. <laughs> are you now saying that these people in this manner are possessed by you, Satan, <laughs> Dakumba? 
and spirit of witchcraft yes or no oh yes yes <laughs> yes oh yes most definitely 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 how else do you operate in other areas you have talked no. about ministries and body of christ what about the secular world what about other areas in the world how do you operate if i tell you everything everyone will turn to god uh, right I'm now, saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to speak. Speak and expose everything. We have destroyed people in so many different ways. Even the way they dress, uh, gossiping, talking, people telling lies. So we have, we have done so much. Politicians, corruption, ministers of government. That is our base. That is where we operate. That is our base right now. Politicians, corruption, oh, fraud, deceiving people with their nice words. Uh, people in high authority, we use them to, def to defraud people. We use them <laughs> to destroy. <laughs> what about business world? Business uh, world, and there are many things also happening. Lockdown, <laughs> hunger, joblessness, poverty, yeah. modern day slavery, discrimination, racism, and the like. Talk about the business world and explain other things I've said now. Go ahead. People should not be living in poverty because... Your master already made provisions for them. Money is there for them. Blessings are there for them. But we go in people, people that should give them their blessings. We go into them, we deceive them. As a result, they are unable to give what is rightfully theirs. They, they are not getting the blessings, the blessings that God, the blessings that God have in store for them. They were already blessed in the spirit world. You know that this world is no world. You know that the real world is over there. They were blessed over there. They were given their blessings. But we go into their destiny helpers. We go into their destiny helpers. We manipulate them. Not <laughs> for them not to get what is theirs. <laughs> How many have you manipulated, stopped from receiving what God has freely given to them all around the world? How many? Uh, countless. Millions. Millions. Billions. Oh. There is oh. lockdown everywhere, pandemic, sicknesses and diseases, restrictions <laughs> of all kinds. What do you have to say, you Satan? Even these very restrictions, uh, we have been using it. The people should be using this restriction, this lockdown, to draw closer to God. But no, they complain. They, they, they say, why all of this No, People are complaining about the lockdown. <laughs> before they draw closer to God, before they get to know who God really is, they are using this restriction for the negatives. They are using it to complain. They are using it to draw away from God instead of drawing closer to him. <laughs> How does one draw closer to God? Explain. Worship him in spirit and in truth. How does day. one draw away from God? What does one do that draws his soul, spirit, and body away from the living God Almighty? When you do the things, sin in general, you know we operate through sin. We operate through sin. We have different levels of sin that we use to operate. We have different levels of sin that we use. 
<laughs> different levels and we use the sin based on the level at which you people are in the spirit. So when we want to manipulate, when we want to capture someone in the spirit, we use the level of sin with the level of anointing that they carry. No sin is greater than sin. Sin is sin, but there are different levels in the spirit, and you know that. There are different levels, and so we possess, we destroy based on the level at which the person is in the spirit. <laughs> if all of you are finally destroyed, what will happen? If you destroy us <sighs> in her, she will be able to reach her destiny in God. She will continue her education. She will be great in this world and you see it. You see the destiny that she has. If you destroy us, there will be redemption in her family, in her bloodline, in her generation. If you destroy us, all people we have possessed will be free. <laughs> Are you aware that you will be destroyed, all of you, Satan, Lucifer? You know you, Lucifer, you are hiding. You have not spoken. You are hiding. I'm coming to you. All of you, Satan, Lucifer, Snake, <laughs> Dakumba, Witchcraft, and the rest. Are you aware that all of you will be destroyed any moment from now? Yes, we know we will be destroyed. We are captured, but we never give up. We will continue. If to you fight are captured you. and destroyed, how will you exist again? <laughs> you cannot exist when you are totally destroyed. Now, you, Lucifer. Why are you hiding? You thought you can hide. You are not seen. I am reinforcing. Speak out of answer me. This is not a place you reinforce. There is no grace for you to reinforce. What about you, Lucifer? Uh, I am reinforcing. What do you mean by that? We must fight. We must fight. We, not, we will not give up easily. You can't take this. You can't take her from us. No, no, no. You can go with the others, but not this one. This lady will not be destroyed, but all of you, Lucifer, Snake, Satan, all of you, Dakumba, spirit of witchcraft, queens and kings of darkness, <laughs> will be totally destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit any moment from now. <laughs> right now, I send a fire from heaven designed to destroy you, Satan. You, Lucifer. You, the Kumba. You, snake. Spirit of witchcraft, sorcery, idols, spiritual husband, spirit in charge of sins and sinful desires, spirit of deception i command all of you in the name of jesus christ to be captured and destroyed by the fire of the holy spirit i can see total destruction happening to all of you leviathan apollos flying serpent asian dragon asian beast mermaid python idols familiar spirits monitoring demons Spirits of sexual immorality, lies and deception, anger, spirits in charge of killing, stealing and destruction, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, the unquenchable and irresistible fire of the Holy Spirit has come down. What? I send fire to the kingdoms of darkness. In 
universe in the same and on the unseen world. I send fire to the deepest part of ocean, seas, rivers, canals, every part of streams in the visible and in the invisible world. I send fire to the blue sea where you hide to organize your evil meeting and our evil agendas. Holy Ghost, fill the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is happening you to taken, all of you? You have taken my powers. <laughs> you, <laughs> we have not you taken your powers. We have the power and anointing of God. We have the strength of the Most High God. We don't need your power. We don't need your strength. We don't need your evil works. We have simply sent the fire from heaven that will destroy all of you. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. What is happening to all of you now and your evil kingdoms? Fire, 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 fire. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Pull out your evil horns of deception. Your wicked horns. Pull them out. <laughs> your evil horns. Evil crowns. Monitoring eyes you'll be using to monitor everyone. Their blessings and destinies. <laughs> Remove the evil triangle. The triangle of Satan. Holy Ghost. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> what are you removing? The pyramid, the pyramid, the pyramid, the Illuminati, Illuminati pyramid. I <laughs> set no fire to the evil pyramid, the evil eye, in charge of killing, stealing, and destruction. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. Tear! <laughs> <laughs> Pull out your evil rings, covenant rings, evil crowns. What are you removing from the fingers? Covenant, covenant. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, removing the powers from the eyes. What are they meant for? What is the evil pyramid? You mentioned men for what have you been using the evil pyramid for? The uh, evil eyes to monitor her destiny, to monitor destiny. <sighs> Turn the name of Jesus Christ, <laughs> remove the spirit of lust, masturbation, fornication, anger, spirit of stealing, <laughs> killing, and destruction. Holy Ghost, Turn the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is the name of my master? You said my master is coming. What is his name? Jesus. Holy Ghost. Jesus. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Tear. Mm. Right now, mm. I stretch my hand to mm. everyone in the world. Mm. Everyone. Anywhere you are, no matter whom you are, whether you are poor or rich, old or young, wherever you are, I command your salvation to come. I stand against your sins and I command them to be forgiven. Receive forgiveness of your sin. Receive eternal life. Receive your healing and deliverance. I stand against all sins committed in all nations, all continents, all sins that have been committed by different generations that are breeding generational curses. I command them to be washed away by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Let there be peace, forgiveness, and reconciliation. Let there be freedom. Let eternal life be given to everyone, both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, we're going back to her. In the name of Jesus Christ, I send fire straight down to you, snake, hiding at her back. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. What is screen? Mm. Tear! Mm. 
you wicked Asian serpent. Fear the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! I send a fire of God's deliverance straight down to her womb, her heart, her mind. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. The eyes. Fear! 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 Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. We are at the 98%, just two more percent. What? I stand against all satanic seeds. All satanic seeds that have been planted by you, Satan, by you, Lucifer, by you, Snake, by you, Dakumba, Mammon, Apollyon, Leviathan, Merment, Idols, Spirit of Witchcraft, Sorcery, Divination. I command your evil seeds to be totally destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! 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 I send the fire of the Holy Spirit to her heart. And I command the heart to be opened. And the heart of everyone to be opened to receive the living and eternal word of God. The seed of life. Receive. Receive the very life of God. Both now and forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is screen? This is the last end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. She is totally set free now by the power of God. She is giving a new heart now. It is now that she's just becoming like a normal human being. In the past, she had all the nature of Satan hiding within her. But now she's totally free. So also you, everyone is free. Everybody. She is back to her senses now. And she's amazingly surprised. To her, she seemed asking, what happened? How are you? I'm fine, man of God. What happened to you? during the prayer all i know is that uh before i was prayed for i was so heavy you know i just wanted to sleep but no it felt like something left me i feel so relieved i feel so light <sighs> they we are Jesus. all captured and totally destroyed by the fire of the holy spirit you are perfectly you, delivered oh thank you jesus Oh, thank you, Jesus. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Were you aware before that you were possessed by Satan, Lucifer, Snake, Spirit of Dacumba, Ancestral Spirits, and the like? Yes or no? I know that I have been having a lot of spiritual challenges. I know. I know that I was possessed. I tried so hard to get deliverance. I have been to so many churches, uh, so many ministries, and no deliverance. I am so happy for today. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. What happened to you today that made you to be happy, and who has delivered you and set you free? Uh, I was delivered by Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Return all glory to God and make sure you live a life without sin. And then come back for your testimonies. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Follow these nine easy steps to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministries, Kojim. Step 1. Visit our website www.cogim.org and click on Give in the menu. If you're using a mobile device, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner of your mobile device screen and find the Give link. Step 2. Click on Donate on the Local Donations option if you are within Nigeria. Step 3. Kindly send your donations to any of the bank account numbers listed. Or Step 4. 
click on Donate on the International Donations option if you are outside Nigeria. Step 5. Choose between bank wire transfer or online payment options. Step 6. If you choose to use the bank wire transfer option, please see the account details listed therein. Step 7. If you chose the online payment option, please fill the form and submit it. Step 8. Please state the purpose of your donation on the payment slip or the comment notes section of your bank transfer app. LOGIF Partnership Logif Partnership Support the care of the poor, orphans, widows and widowers Offering Use this for your offering, seed sowing and thanksgiving offering. Tithe one tenth of your earning only. To donate to the church new site building fund. Step 9. Send proof of payment to any of the following. Email donations at cogim.org or you can WhatsApp, SMS or call on plus 234 7043 315 405. Follow these nine easy steps to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministries, Kojim. Step 1. Visit our website, www. Beware of fraudsters. Shalom. It has come to our notice that some fraudsters parade themselves as Kojim representatives. Please do not accept any phone numbers or bank details from anyone other than those published on the Kojim official website www.kojim.org Our official bank details are listed on our website www.kojim.org slash give Also, our official phone numbers and email addresses are listed below The prayer lines plus 234-906-628-0263 or plus 234-813-303-0917 the Testimonies Line, plus 234-815-960-2829. The Donations Line, plus 234-704-331-5405. Our email address is info at kojim.org. Freely I receive from God. Freely I give. Beware of fraudsters. Shalom. It has come to our notice that some fraudsters parade themselves as Kojim representatives. Please do not accept any phone numbers. So we are back and we would invite the testifier to share her wonderful testimonies. You have learned various lessons and you are ready to position yourself to be influenced by the Spirit of God. Testifiers are overcomers. Testifiers are winners. Testifiers are victors. Blasphemers are losers. Blasphemers are always in the realm of defeat. Once you allow your life to be used by Satan to speak against 
the works of God. Your life will be constantly lived in the realm of defeat. The book of Revelation chapter 12 verses 11, it is clearly written, And they overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb, and by the words of their testimonies, and they did not love their life till death. Jesus saw one leper that came back to testify, and he said to him, Let it be unto you, according to your faith. I can see in your faith that your healing is permanent, meaning your case is permanent. It is better to have something that will last forever than to have something that will not last forever. Do you want permanent freedom, permanent deliverance, permanent healing, redemption, blessings and breakthrough? If the answer is yes, learn to live a life of testimony. Did you hear that? Learn to live a life of testimony. If God does anything for you, if Jesus Christ does anything for you, if the Holy Spirit does anything for you, and you decide not to testify, your life will be lived in the realm of defeat. Satan always conquers everyone who fails to testify. He even comes with his dangerous demons to make the lives of such people a place of habitation. Are you one of them? Don't allow your life to be an accommodation for Satan and all his evil agents. Are you a blasphemer? You can allow yourself to come out of the realm of defeat. You can allow yourself to overcome the unseen enemies of your life by living a life of testimony and not blasphemy. If you have been prayed for, if you have been attended to, if God has done one or two things for you, you need to find your way and make sure that you testify. Testimony is a powerful weapon that cannot be conquered by the unseen enemies of life. All right, she is here, and we will be listening to her words of victory, powerful words of testimony. Stay tuned. Shalom. Shalom, man of God. I believe that you have just watched yourself and you saw for yourself your condition during the prayers, what really took place during the prayers. And you are also ready to let the world know the changes that uh, has taken place, that have taken place after the prayers. Kindly go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, shalom, man of God, shalom, everyone, viewers. YouTube viewers on in fifth, I am a Jamaican and I am a secondary school teacher. Can so, you kindly I'm, reintroduce yourself for we lost most of what you have said to poor network connection. Do that again. Okay, my name is Jody Antelfia. I am a Jamaican I'm a Jamaican and I am a secondary school teacher. What do you teach in secondary school? What are the subjects? Okay, currently I am teaching social studies and civics, but I am trained to teach history, social study, and also some geography. Great. All right, you came in with a repentant heart. You confessed all your sins and you were prayed for in the power of the Holy Spirit, tell us what you witnessed and the changes that happened afterward. Okay, so I joined the, meet, the Zoom meeting on the 24th of June, 2019. 
2021, that was last year. And um, I, I had so many burdens. I, you know, I was under a severe demonic attack. Um, I was unable to, to, to do well because at the time I was in college and then when I graduated up until the time when I joined the Zoom meeting, I just started working. It was so very hard. I, I, you know, my spiritual life was down. Everything about me, there were times when I wish I could just die because everything was so overwhelmed and I, you know, I felt as if I, I couldn't go on. No, by the special grace of God, when I joined the Zoom meeting, I, I was privileged to be located by God Almighty. And um, he asked me if I can be bold enough to tell Satan, no, you can no longer hide in me through sin. I said, this could only be God. And when God spoke to his anointed servant and said, can you be bold enough to expose your sinful acts? When I started confessing my sins, I, I saw where you start nodding your head as if you, you know you can see the sins in me. And I said, this could only be God. And you know, whenever I am in his presence, I, I cannot hide from him. So I am just so grateful for the fact that I was located after he asked me to confess my sins and I did um, He prayed for me and then, you know, that was it. The, the demons, they confess, they manifested and by the special grace of God, I am delivered. Could you please identify those powers of darkness that he themselves in you operated in you and spoke out that very day? Okay, so the spirit of witchcraft, I, I was certain of that one, right? Because um, when I came under an attack in 2017, you know, I said to myself that this could only be witchcraft. And then when I came on the Zoom meeting and then you started praying and you prophetically mentioned the spirit of witchcraft, so that was a confirmation. Now, the spirit of Dakumba, I didn't know that that spirit was in me, right? So it was through the prophetic message that I realized that the, the spirit of Dakumba was in me and also the, the serpentine spirit that you mentioned as well. Yes. All right. The world would like to know various activities of these high-ranked powers of darkness. For instance, the so-called evil big man that was hiding in the ocean in form of Dakumba and other powers of darkness. Can you identify how they had been manipulating, influencing your life negatively? Okay, so a lot of things has been happening. I had a severe spirit of stealing, right? And you know, I, I know it's like each time I go somewhere, especially like a supermarket and so on, I couldn't leave without taking something. And each time I come back home, I would be so ashamed. You know, I would start crying and just asking God to forgive me because I was fearful of being caught. Right, so that very day when I was located through the man of God, I, I, you know, that spirit of stealing was captured, you know, and actually, that is actually one of the reasons why I am here to testify that instead of stealing, I am giving generously to the glory of God, and also. After my deliverance, um, I have seen improvement in my spiritual life because I, I couldn't pray, I, I couldn't read and meditate on the word, but ever since my deliverance, um, I had this Bible, right? This small holy Bible, but I decided um, the Bible, it was so, the, the print is very small, right? And I, it was so difficult to read. So I went online, I went on Amazon, and I purchased this one. This is a uh, um, New King James Version. The print, as you can see, the print is very big. So I am currently focusing on building my, my spiritual life. I also have another one, but I decided that I am going to use this one. <laughs> yes, because I really need to build my spiritual life. Ever since um, the prayers, I realized that I, I start getting up like 12 midnight and I started praying between 1, 1.32, thereabout, and um, 
you know, it is just an amazing feeling, you know, whenever I find myself like falling down, I would, you know, I would rise up and I would repent. I would pray and ask God for his mercies. You know, there are times when I feel as if God will not forgive me, but I, I you know, I just prostrate myself in his presence. I, I prayed and I asked him for forgiveness and he is a forgiving God. He's an amazing God. And each time the devil would come to me with all these negative thoughts as if I will not get what the Lord have in store for me, I would just rebuke him because I would say, devil, God is not a man that he should lie and you are the liar. So I, whenever he reminds me of my past, I will always remind him of his future in hell, right? So I am very grateful to God that um, I am improving on my spiritual life. As you can see this Bible, you know, it has taught me so much and um, there, is, there is further to go. And I am just, you know, I am just working with the, the, the leading of the whole because right now, the, Jesus Christ is the only way out. I cannot go back to my former life of sin. So I, I decided to come back again to share my test. God has really been faithful. As before. He has been... You've been listening to fantastic words of testimony. Great changes that have taken place soon after her deliverance. She used to steal in the past, but after the deliverance, that spirit of stealing was instantly destroyed, and she is now giving generously to others. She is self-controlled now, and always repentant uh, at all times, especially when she comes to the presence of God. She said that her spiritual life has quite improved. All right, what about your career? What about your career? She is having currently challenges with her network, but by the special grace of God, she will bounce back shortly. All right, what about your career? Okay, yes, man of God. No, when I started working, Oh, the, the time when I got my deliverance on the 24th of June, I was on a one-year contract, right? And the contract was prematurely terminated the end of that same month. And by the special grace of God, um, I, was, I was out of a salary um, July and August because I got the deliverance the 24th of June. And, the ending of June, they prematurely terminated the contract. So I was so disappointed. Now, in August, there was another position for eight months. So I was actually filling it in for a son who went on vacation leave. So I applied and I got the eight months at the same school and I worked until the 31st, that's this year. And then when that person came back from the eight months leave, by the special currently on a new contract that will last for up until August. So the lady that I was filling in for, she came back and it was myself and three others. We were on the eight months leave and God so have it that those persons they end up leaving after the eight months, but I am still at my place of work, even. You've listened to that, how God has been sustaining her in her place of work. After. Yes, man of God. So God has been very good. I mean, there is also an increase in my salary. When my contract was terminated in June last year, I, as I said before, I wasn't paid for July and August, but it was closer to the ending of the year. I got all of those salary in one, right? So I am, I am very appreciative of, of that. And 
before I wasn't the type of person who normally give or uh, like pay tithes and so on. And ever since my deliverance and ever since God has been merciful to me, you know, I have been partnering with God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit through Kojim and I have been paying my tithes and trust me, it is just an amazing feeling and I just want God to just continue to just give me the grace so I can just continue in partnering with him through his word and by his spirit. Wonderful. All right, you've talked about your career. What about your health and also what about your studies? What are your plans? Okay, all right. <laughs> Very good question when you ask about my plans. No, I am currently a holder of a bachelor's degree in education. I applied to do a master's degree in education as well. And I will start, well, the application is completed. When I applied, you know, the application wasn't completed and then my name came down on the list. And I said, it said that the application was not completed. So I went online and I completed the application. There was a fee that I was supposed to pay and they waived it. So unfortunately, well, I, that was, I was privileged because I managed to apply without paying the application fee. So um, September coming, I should be able to start my master's degree in education. So I just want to thank God for that. Now, in terms of my health, um, you know, I have seen a lot of changes. Every now and then, you know, I might feel a bit weak, and, but, you know, I know it's the work of the devil, and I, you know, God has placed in me that fighting spirit, and I will just always continue to fight and overcome. But in terms of my career, I see where God is working, and I am just here. That is actually one of the reasons why I call, because of the, the breakthroughs that I am having in my career, and I am grateful to God for that. All right. Many things were confessed by these unclean spirits, how they have been operating. Some go to social media handles, possess people, and cause them to scam people use pictures of ministers of God and other uh, high-profile personalities to operate. What do you um, say and what would probably be your words of advice to people all around the world? Okay, that is a very good question. Now, for those persons who are on the live chat right now, on Facebook especially, well, they come on YouTube, but they are not as frequent as on Facebook and on other social media handles. Now, whenever you see, because what these scammers, what they do, they normally come under your comment and they would normally give you a prophetic message right just to lure money from you and you know to deceive you or they might give you some fake prophecies right but it is you now supposed to know the right way in which you want to contact the ministry all the information are posted even now on the bottom of the screen you can see the numbers post um running across you can just call the numbers the partnership number is there the visit number is there both prayer line number they should not go on any of these social media handles and, and and listening to messages posted by anyone about how you can contact the ministry or take any numbers that you are seeing in and oh you should follow the right channel well. all right and what life do you want everyone to live because don clean spirit talked about ministers Many that are called false or fake ones that are possessed by these unclean spirits to operate. And some genuine ones as well. What will be your words of advice for everybody, especially people that are venturing into ministry? Okay, so my advice is that as you always. Speech that when you are connected spirit, viewers, I hope you're watching and there is you're learning from various words of advice coming from 
the person who experienced the other side and now is in the light. All right, go ahead and give your wonderful advice to people that are dabbling into ministries. No, it is best for persons who are going into ministry, it is best for you to seek the face of the Lord. You know, just 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 have a relationship with him. If it's a play, if it's a case that you can go to a quiet place, seek his face, you know, study the word, meditate and it ask him to minister to your heart. Yeah, that, that is my advice to persons going into ministry. Now, for youth and for other persons in general, my advice to them is that they should live a life without sins and sinful desires. That is your, um, your headline. You always emphasize on living a life without sins and sinful desires. You know, I was reading in Romans chapter 6 and verse 12, and it said that you should not allow sin to reign in your mortal body. Um, you know, you just have to just study the word of God, have a, a close relationship with him. When you are connected to God, there is no way the enemy can have dominion. There is no way he can have control over you. So that is just my words of advice. And, you know, I just want to thank God once more for this opportunity to share this testimony so that others can be blessed. Yeah. All right. What about the business world and um, people that are in the system of governance, politicians, leaders, and the like, what would be your words of advice? Okay, the same advice applies, you know. Um, there are a lot of persons out there venturing into business, and they might get a proposal, and they don't really research on, on how um, valid you know, that proposal is, and you know, it's best for them to do their research. It's best for them to know the validity of whatever they are going into. And you know, that is just my advice, not just to persons going into business, but government officials. It is always good to be honest. Honesty conquers all, you know, and that is just my advice. All right, and for children of God, what do you have to say? People go into church. The unclean spirit talks about how they manipulate people, also possess them to work against various ministries. What do you have to say? Okay, my, my advice to those persons going to church is that you should always be connected to God. You know, no matter the circumstances, no matter the challenges or whatever the enemy is trying to do to, to draw you away from God, just always maintain, always be focused, you know? Whenever the, the enemy tries to tempt you, just use the word on him because he's not greater than the word. So if you are already a part of the body of Christ, you just continue to maintain that relationship and fellowship that you have with God. That is the best option. All right, viewers, you've listened to that, and you are learning your lessons. The unclean spirit did confess that they also um, try to make people believe that true ministers of God are false ministers. Why the false ministers of God are true ministers? In other words, they cause confusion and they stop people from identifying the true ministers of God. What words of advice do you have for people all around the world? Very good question. You know, I remember when I was watching the live service this morning and um, a gentleman went up to share how because of the rumors and the gossip that was going around about the man of God, he actually left the ministry. For, for quite some months, for about three months. And then he, he went away to seek the face of the Lord. And then he realized that all those rumors and gossips were a lie. And then he find himself back in the house of the Lord. So my advice is just for you to try the spirit. So if you are not sure about a minister, right, or a ministry, go and seek the face of the Lord and he will direct you, right? The Lord never lies and, and he is sure 
to his promises. So my advice to those persons, just continue to seek the face of the Lord if you are not sure or if you are doubt, if you are doubting about a particular minister or ministry, just seek the face of the Lord and he will direct you. What about those people who are probably sent by the unseen enemies of humanity to spread false rumors, tell different lies, blaspheme, and also incite people to join them in their works of blasphemy? What are your candid advice and message? Well, my advice to those persons is for them to seek deliverance. So find a true ministry like Kojim, right, or any other living ministry and seek deliverance because deliverance is the key. Now, if a person is speaking against a living ministry or minister of God, that, person's, that person or persons need deliverance. What do they need yes. deliverance from and who is influencing them to blaspheme? Okay, so they need deliverance from sins, their weaknesses, because I realize, I come to learn that, that our enemy, are the real enemy, um, they are our weaknesses and they are hiding in us, you know, in the forms of sins and sinful desires, and Satan use those weaknesses to attack the children of God. So, you know, if you can identify, you know, because sometimes, you know, we have to, talk about self-deliverance. So if you can identify those weaknesses in you and pray against them, you are automatically delivering yourself. What if they don't know that speaking against ministers of God, blaspheming, lying against them are actually their weaknesses, are actually sins that they are committing? What words of advice do you have to them? Well, my word of advice to them is for them to seek a living ministry or a living minister. So that ministry or minister can expose the root cause of their problem and the living God Almighty through that minister will put an end to their problems. Viewers, I hope you have listened to this amazing testimony of a life that has been transformed after the unseen enemies that were hiding in her were exposed, destroyed, and their evil works destroyed as well. She is now warming out to further her education. Her career is thriving. Her spiritual life is booming. Her health is also enjoying perfect freedom. And she is now positioned to stand against Satan, stand against the agents of Satan, stand against sins and sinful desire. What a powerful grace. Glory be to God. You've listened to her advice, and I believe as you learn to humbly obey the words of God, your life will be tremendously blessed. All right. Amen. What life do you want to continue to live so that this deliverance and amazing life of testimonies will remain permanent? I, ju I just want to continue to live a life without sins. You've listened to her that the only way to and maintain what she has received is to continue to live a life without sin. Let's hear that part again. Say that yes. again. Yes, so I was saying that I just want to continue to live a life in the Word because when I am in the Word, I will be always connected to God. You know, living a life without sins and sinful desires, always praying against my weaknesses and not my enemy. All right. True enemies, my weakness. Wonderful. And when you are in God, your weaknesses are automatically turned into strength. God manifests his strength in the weaknesses of all his children. His strength becomes the strength of all his children. If you are one, then you are strong in him. Glory be to God. As you have made a decision to make God's word 
the foundation of your life by living a life without sins and sinful desires. We are seeing you coming back again with amazing testimonies to glorify God. God bless you. Amen. Shalom. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom. All right. Do you want to stop lying, living a life of sin? Do you want to stop stealing, gossiping, and blaspheming? Do you want to be permanently connected to God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit? If the answer is yes, surrender your life and receive deliverance from God. Surrender your life to God and receive your deliverance from Him. All right. We are going to watch the screen and see yet someone who was also attended to. And by the grace of God, the person will be invited sooner to testify. As I did say at the beginning, everyone who is part of the Zoom meeting will be attended to. So they have to be in an attitude of prayers. We are in a spiritual warfare. Learn to use your weapons of warfare, patience, perseverance, self-control. Make sure that you are constantly praying in your heart. Once again, make sure that you are constantly praying in your heart. Zoom meeting is not section for discussion. It is a place of spiritual warfare. Connect to God. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom, man of God. You can sit back and freely introduce yourself. Thank you, man of God. My name is uh, Dr. Emmanuel Akoulo Ajigwe Tevu. I'm a public health physician in Ghana, and I'm also working as a director of health services in Ghana. Man of God, I would first of all like to ask for forgiveness from God against sexual immorality, fornication, idolatry, pornography, lust, abortion, self-righteousness, offense, envy, and jealousy, fear, worry, and anxiety. And I want to ask Jesus Christ to grant me career breakthrough, financial breakthrough, marital breakthrough. And also, I want to ask Jesus to have mercy on my family against generational cases. Uh, my family is not doing very well. My siblings are not doing very well. They are not working. They are addicted to alcohol and cigarette. Uh, so I want to ask God to have mercy on all of us and to help us break this generational curse. And also, I want to confess that I have not been committed to to my financial commitments to God in the payment of my tithe and other commitments. I want to ask God for mercy and for favor. And man of God, I also want to ask God to, I want to pray for my family who we were together for the last meeting, but unfortunately today I am at work. They are not with me. So I want to ask God to forgive them of their sins and also capture them for his glory. Shalom. Thank you, man of God. We are going to pray. You can tell them to connect. When I pray for you now, they can connect anywhere they are. Let's pray first. I tell you, you will be completely set free today. Thank you, man of God. Let us pray together. Call the name Jesus Christ and get ready. Jesus Christ. I send the light of the gospel of salvation to your heart. And I say no to darkness. I say no to sins and sinful desires. I command the powers of darkness, generational spirits that are operating within to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, I send the fire of God's deliverance to every member of the family. 
and I command them to be disconnected from sins and sinful desires. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be deliverance, forgiveness, and eternal life. Let everyone be saved by the mighty power of the Most High God. I stand against addictions. I stand against hardship, limitation, setback. And I stand against confusion and disunity in the family. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, tear! Tear! Let there be way out for every single soul. Let there be breakthroughs and blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everyone's sin has been forgiven and everyone has been introduced to God. They should live with God, talk with God, move with God, and do everything with God. How do you do that? Everyone should learn to make God's word the foundation of his or her life. I am seeing people come in for testimonies. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, man of God. Follow these nine easy steps to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministries, Kojim. Step 1. Visit our website, www.kojim.org, and click on Give in the menu. If you're using a mobile device, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner of your mobile device screen and find the Give link. Step 2. Click on Donate on the Local Donations option if you are within Nigeria. Step 3. Kindly send your donations to any of the bank account numbers listed. Or, Step 4. Click on Donate on the International Donations option if you are outside Nigeria. Step 5. Choose between Bank Wire Transfer or Online Payment options. Step 6. If you choose to use the Bank Wire Transfer option, Please see the account details listed therein. Step 7. If you chose the online payment option, please fill the form and submit it. Step 8. Please state the purpose of your donation on the payment slip or the comment notes section of your bank transfer app. LOGIF Partnership Logif Partnership Support the care of the poor, orphans, widows and widowers Offering Use this for your offering, seed sowing, and thanksgiving offering. Tithe, one-tenth of your earning only. To donate to the Church New Site Building Fund. Step 9. Send proof of payment to any of the following. Email donations at cogim.org or you can WhatsApp, SMS or call on plus 234-7043-315-405. Follow these nine easy steps to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministries, Kojim. Step 1. Visit our website, www. Viewers, we are here and we want to join you to listen to the testifiers. Shalom! Hello, man of God. How are you? Yeah, we are doing well by God's grace, man of God. Thank you for asking. You joined alone, and today you are with someone smiling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man of God. Um, today I am home, and um, I wanted my wife to be part of the meeting today. Wonderful. Go ahead and explain to the world what God has done for you after that encounter that day. Yes, um, man of God, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, my name is uh, Dr. Emmanuel Akoulo Ajigewe Tebu. Um, I'm a medical doctor and uh, I'm specialized in public health. 
and I'm also a director of health services um, in a district in Ghana. Um, after joining the Zoom prayer meeting, man of God, I must say, uh, my spiritual life has been revived. There is a, a big revival in my spiritual life. Um, I have a lot of peace, internal peace and joy. I mean, no matter what is happening around me now, I feel very calm and I'm not anxious. Uh, I'm not worried, which were things that I used to, you know, battle with. I used to be very worried about things and uh, wanting things, thinking that I can be able to solve everything by myself or with my power. You know, uh, but now I take it very easy. Um, when things happen, I just say I leave it to God. I mean, God will show the way and he will make a way where there is no way. So I now have a lot of joy and peace within me um, in, in whatever uh, I'm doing. And again, um, my desire and hunger for the word of God has also increased very much. Um, I I like to read the word now. And when I'm reading it, my understanding is different from the way it used to be. Um, I get some understanding sometimes. I wonder how or why I didn't understand it that way when I read it, you know, the first time. And sometimes I'm driving or even working in the office I, I want to hear, I have my hand that to hear the word of God. So I, I will just go to uh, YouTube and play some of your sermons uh, just to listen, even in the office, sometimes in a meeting, you know, and I'll play it and then reduce the volume and it gives me satisfaction. And, and sometimes I also just find myself saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. And start praying, you know, within myself. I feel like praying or just talking to God. I'll just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God Almighty. And it just comes naturally, you know. And, and that is very nice. I feel so so fine and so comfortable. And um, I think that I, I there's a change in my life, in my spiritual life. And my family is also enjoying it because we, we study the Bible together every morning. We pray together as a family um, now more than that before, and we try to also, uh, you know, explain things to our children from the Bible, and, and I think that it's amazing uh, for my family. Um, we are very grateful for this opportunity and for this revival, man of God. All right, Madam is smiling all through. She has seen <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uncommon peace in the family. All right, let's hear from her. What do you have to say? Um, I think I have a testimony even before now. Ever since I found coaching online, actually, we knew you from your days of uh, Prophet TV Joshua. He has been to the spawn before. I wasn't part of it. So when I saw you online and then we started watching, I had this uh, health condition. I had pain on my heel when I stepped on my leg. The pain was so severe. I'm a teacher by profession that I couldn't stand to teach. I had to sit. So when we found you online and I was following miraculously, and even before then, we went for an x-ray. And then it was detected that pain. So when we found you and I was following your prayer and your sermons, Miraculously, the pain went away. I can't explain. I can't tell. I couldn't even locate when. That was even the shocking aspect of it. I just realized that ah, when I step, I'm fine. No more pain anywhere, which I was supposed to test it for my. And then when you joined the coaching prayer too, I realized that I used to have difficulty in breathing. And it wasn't ordinary. It had a specific time it came. And that is when I was about to sleep at night. You realize that I can't breathe 
I'm coughing. I have to sit up, take honey, take a home remedies for some time. Now I have just realized that the pain is gone. When I go to bed and lie down, I sleep. I no more struggle with my breath. There's no more cough. I'm just fine. And I want to thank God for this opportunity and what he has done for us. Wonderful testimony coming from the wife of the medical thank you, Jesus. doctor in Ghana. And thank you, man. Fantastic testimony coming from the woman in question. Not just the husband, but also herself. What do you have to say, viewers? Life is given so that it can be used to glorify God. When God does anything for you, as a human being, show appreciation to God. Return to Him and let the world know what God has done for you. Share your testimonies. On that very day, she was supposed to be part of the meeting, but the husband said that they went for one or two things. And he was prayed for, and I specifically said, I am seeing people joining you to testify. And you are confirming that words. All right, madam, what do you have to tell people? There are a lot of people that received various testimonies, solutions to their uh, problems, even while they are following these um, coaching programs. And up to now, they've not come to testify. What are your words of advice to people like that? My word of advice to people all over the world is that they should come out to testify. And then with their testimonies, it's going to bring more and to encourage a lot of people. In fact, we are now addicted to coaching because it is an enlightenment to us, even in our Christian life. We knew very little things. You hear amazing stories, amazing testimonies, things we normally see and don't understand. So I would like to tell every viewer all over the world that they should come to testify because with their testimonies, they are able to give hope and courage to people out there to wait upon God and that when their time is due, they would also testify. So I encourage everyone to come out and to testify to the glory of God. All right, many would think maybe you've given a lot of money to be prayed for before you received all these wonderful testimonies. How much did you pay? In fact, we paid nothing. Even my testimonies, I have followed your prayer, I have followed your sermons. We should let go, we should forgive. And then just living the word of God, I am experiencing amazing testimonies. In fact, we are unable to even share all because our Christian life as a family has been, you know, much stronger. We live a better Christian life now. We, we have peace of heart. When you forgive, there's a feeling you have. I don't know how to express it for people to understand, but forgiveness in itself, you enjoy a heavenly peace within your heart. So I would encourage each and every one to testify and that we have paid nothing, absolutely nothing. In fact, I didn't even sit to be prayed for, just listening and then doing the word that you ask us to do. The testimonies keep coming. Wonderful. Practical aspects, if you play your role, God will also do his own part. Now, there are so many people that are also listening to live programs like this, and many of them do listen to teachings, various preachings that God has inspired us to share to the world. How do you want people to take those messages? How do you want people to take testimonies 
of other people and how do you advise viewers to take this live program yeah shalom man of god i think that the the we are today testifying because we have had the opportunity to listen to other people and that is what has given us the opportunity to come today to testify and i think that people must begin to be very reflective and take every word, every sermon that you preach seriously. Because I have seen that just listening and paying attention to the sermon alone delivers you from a lot of things. I mean, you are both at work, uh, in the house. I mean, that is so, when I'm hearing those testimonies, I want, it's like there's a hunger to hear more because then my life is becoming better and better. It's like taking in something to dispel death, contamination in my body. You know, that is how it is. So the live programs and even the recorded ones, for me, some of them, I play them over and over because anytime I play them, I get edified. I get edified. And, and that's why my wife said, we are addicted to Kojim now because the moment we go to Facebook and we see the live notification, sometimes I'm even in a meeting and I have to put some, you know, earpiece to be able to connect because I feel at peace, you know. So I think that people, I mean, viewers all over the world should take the sermon, the word, very simple, because it is the word that is building the faith and the hope that uh, we are enjoying now and also um, make time to testify. You know, testify, uh, very, very important uh, in, in this regard. And man, I was just to say, you know, I, I said that I was not committed financially, you know, my obligations to God. And since after that prayer, I mean, I just, I just, I just, I just do it. I don't care whatever happens. And in return, I don't know what happens, money will just come in maybe twice thrice or four times what i have paid you know as my commitment to god sometimes i don't even know where it is coming from you know and and just um last month or so um, as part of my career i was entitled to some allowances that should have been paid to me for almost four or five years now and i tried it once and then it was rejected and uh, through one of my staff, uh, I mean, just got in touch with somebody, and the person uh, said, oh, they can do it. And then they've done it, and hopefully by the end of this month, I should be paid my arrears for all those allowances that they were, I was denied of. You know, and all this is just, um, I mean, just a manifestation of the goodness of God in our lives, just by listening to the word, you know, taking off offense, offense, living a peaceful heart, my, I mean, life, not, you know, looking at other people and doing things and just, and just looking at, just hungering for the, for the world. And, and these things are all happening. And even our children, yeah, academics has, has also improved uh, a lot. This time they went to school, they did very well, you know, and so we, we see that God is taking us somewhere. And um, I've applied for some jobs also, you know, for more opportunities. And I know that God will make a way. We will come back with more testimonies in the, in the name of God. Wonderful. Words of advice coming from the medical doctor, just as you've heard from the wife. And the wife is also willing to talk again. He want to talk and talk and talk, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to let you know that you are just beginning to um, enjoy the proceeds of God's mercy. The mercy of God is too big for a family to exhaust you have many more testimonies that you yourself will be shocked to have 
And by the grace of God, we are looking forward to hearing your powerful testimonies in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shalom. 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 Thank you, my Lord. Wonderful Kojim family in Ghana. They are on fire for God. Glory be to God. We are going to listen to yet another testifier, but then sit back and watch. Shalom. Shalom, man of God. My name is Keya Arsen. Ars Arsen is my first name. The lady beside me is my wife. Her name is Afran Roxanne. So Roxanne is her first name. Uh, we are currently living in Rotterdam, Netherlands, but we are originally from Ivory Coast. Ivorians living in Netherlands. Great. What do you do for a living in Netherlands? I am a data scientist. Um, so originally I was a petroleum engineer, I switched career. I'm currently a data scientist. My wife uh, has a degree in uh, building technician, so civil engineering. Uh, but now she's at home as a stay home mom. We have a, a child. Great. So you are welcome. What do you want Jesus Christ to do for you? I want the Lord Jesus Christ to deliver me um, and to forgive my, my sins. I've had a past life of watching pornography. I have struggled a lot with masturbation and also lies as well and procrastination. I find myself, even currently now, when I want to do something, I keep on saying, I'll do that tomorrow and tomorrow, and it just delays things. And I also, when she offends me for some time, so I have offense, so I feel that I don't want to speak to her. And I know it's wrong, but sometimes it's really difficult so I, I want the Lord Jesus to deliver me from, from that particularly. And from the spiritual side also is that sometimes when I feel that I have an appointment for work or something good is going to come my way, I have a dream where I see a lady. So basically having sex in the dream and then that appointment just falls off. So sort of stag And I also have stagnation at, at work. It's been seven years in my current job. I haven't had any promotion. Um, so... That is more, and I also have hemorrhoids, so piles, um, as far as my health is concerned. So that's a bit about uh, about me. Shalom, man of God. Shalom. Uh, man of God, I want Jesus to forgive my sins before our marriage, but I live a life of sin, um, fornication, abortion, uh, lie, um, many things, anger, um, I think it's all of sin, my own God. I meet many uh, has got um, mm -hmm. many men for fornication, my own God. But um, after a marriage, now uh, I have spirit of hunger. My husband, I cannot answer my, my when he, he speak to me. I cannot answer him uh, in the right way, my own God. I want Jesus forgive me for call sin. You listen to the lady, the wife to the young man that just spoke a while ago. She talked about the life of sin she lived in the past. 
ranging from fornication, life of waywardness before she got married, and she is asking God to forgive her and set her free. Currently, she's having spirit of anger and stubbornness, inability to be submissive and obedient to the husband. And she is tired of that kind of life, just as the man is also tired of sin of anger and unforgiveness in his heart. All right, so you can say everything in French language. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> in French? Okay. Yes. Um, euh, mon nom c'est Afran Roxane, je suis euh, technicienne en bâtiment et euh, je, 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 je vis en Nederlande, ça fait maintenant un an, maintenant deux ans. J'ai un enfant donc je ne travaille pas pour le moment dans ce pays. Et euh, j'ai vécu une vie de péché depuis mon enfance parce que j'ai grandi dans ma cour familiale. Et vraiment j'ai vécu une vie de péché. Depuis très jeune j'ai commencé à fréquenter des hommes pour vivre une vie vraiment de, de débauche et euh, j'ai eu à faire même de l'avortement et euh, mentir, sortir avec des hommes pour, pour le matériel et je voulais vraiment avoir l'amour, chercher l'amour mais je n'ai pas reçu mais grâce à Dieu euh, j'ai donné ma vie au, à Jésus Christ, ça fait maintenant trois ans je crois et euh, le Seigneur m'a fait la grâce de, de me marier avec cet homme qui est, qui est auprès de moi. Et maintenant, euh, nous avons un enfant, mais je rencontre toujours des difficultés. J'ai toujours des maris spirituels. Lorsque j'ai des maris spirituels qui viennent dans mes rêves pendant toute ma grossesse, je n'ai vécu que mari spirituel, ça a conduit à, à une eau, une euh, euh, section. Euh, after that, je prie, je jeûne, mais je constate toujours que j'ai des maris spirituels. Quand on disait « deliver me », et maintenant, j'ai des sévères acné sur le visage. Si vous regardez bien, vous pouvez voir. Ça a percé mon visage. Ça fait maintenant 9 ans, je prie. Mais rien, je prends des médicaments, je fais tout. Mais rien. Et j'ai, dernièrement, en novembre, j'ai découvert que j'ai l'hépatite B. Voici. Well, the screen, she's referring to the sickness, hepatitis B. And yeah. she wants God Almighty to set her free from skin disease. You could see when she showed her face and see mm -hmm. that rashes on her face and also the problem of hepatitis B that she wants God Almighty to set her free from. She opened up and confessed all her sins from beginning to the end. And she also talked about activities of spiritual husband coming constantly to have sexual intercourse with her in the dream. Anytime she wakes up, she gets angry and she become unnecessarily stubborn and disobedient to the husband. All right, today is your day. Smile. God has yes. called you to ask. Once you ask, you will receive. Ask in his name. And you are here in the name of Jesus Christ to ask. Satan will not stop you from receiving. Okay? All right, so both of you should learn to let go of your past life. Let go of your past lives and let the will of God be done. Okay, don't to refer to the issue of the past, his behaviors in the past, are behaviors in the past. Learn to be grounded in the word of God. Let the word of God be the foundation of your marriage, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so we are seeing you coming back with powerful testimonies. Your spiritual life will improve because mm -hmm. you I'm talking to the man, your spiritual life is not growing at all. You don't even observe midnight prayers. You don't even pray again. So you have to allow that grace to come back, okay? You have to create a spiritual, strong spiritual atmosphere. Have Bible class and study between you and your family members, your wife inclusive. Go through the word of God. Through the word of God, you can correct yourself, correct someone else, okay? And also... Learn to be praying. You are not. Your heart is the prayer room. You have to start praying in your heart. Okay? Okay. If anybody stops you from going to prayer room, maybe physical structure, where people go and pray, can they also close your heart and stop your heart from praying? No. If anybody stops you from going to prayer mountain to pray, your heart is the prayer mountain. Can anybody also stop your heart from praying? No. no. If anyone takes the physical Bible from your hand, what about the word of God that cannot be deleted in your heart? So no. nobody has any single excuse not to live a life of prayer. 
You are created to be a spiritual prayer warrior. Amen. You are Amen. created to pray without ceasing. Amen. Right now, you also need to watch. When we say watch, we want you to stand against sins and sinful desires. If you don't watch, you cannot pray effectively. If you don't stand against sins and sinful desires, your prayer will not be effective. So mm -hmm. it is when you stand against sins and sinful desires that you can be said to be watching. When you now pray, you have done the two jobs. The Bible says watch and what? Pray. Mm -hmm. Not just pray. No. Watch and do what? Pray. When you have decided to stand against sins and sinful desires, and with that kind of life, life of purity and holiness, pray to God. Your prayer will be so powerful, become unstoppable. Amen. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Correct. Understood correctly, fully. Great. Right now, let us pray. Okay, so because you have a child and you want to talk about him, but because sometimes when he's old, maybe it's just prayer also. But he's sleeping now. Can we have him? God is spirit. Amen. The child should be allowed to rest. Yeah. You are points of contact, you and your wife. You are standing okay. in proxy, not just for the child, but also for other members of the family. Amen. Okay? Amen. Make sure you too, you stay away from your addiction. You were addicted in the past, stay away from that. Oh? Okay. So let us pray. Call the name Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now I send a fire of God's deliverance to destroy every seed of Satan within. Sins and sinful desires, anger, unforgiveness, spiritual husband, spiritual wife, addiction, limitation, generational curses, Holy Ghost, tear in the name of Jesus Christ. Tear! Right now receive the forgiveness of your sins. Receive eternal life. Receive healing and deliverance. Receive your blessings and breakthroughs. I command every member of your family to be redeemed by the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you evil attacks, spiritual husbands, sicknesses in the blood, hepatitis B, Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. Tear! Skin disease, rashes of all kind on any part of the body. Holy Ghost, tear in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now receive total freedom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So you are free now. You are coming with fresh skin. Very smooth <laughs> skin. <laughs> skin. Amen. Come back you. and share your testimonies. You are free. Amen. Thank you very much, Lord of God. Shalom. Shalom. Let's return all glory to God. Shalom. Amen. Shalom. Shalom, man of God. How are you? We are doing great. Wonderful. Tell us your wonderful names, where you are speaking from, and what you do for a living. Yes. So my name is Keya Arsen, and this is my wife. Afra Arsen. So we are both living in the Netherlands, but we are originally from Ivory Coast. Uh, myself, I'm a data scientist, and her, she's now at home because of the baby, but she's had a degree in civil engineering, so building technician. Let's just see the face of the baby. <laughs> 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 the baby is busy enjoying. All right. So, what has God done for you? Uh, God has done a lot of great things for us. Um, so, before I get into the testimony, there's something I want to say. So, before I was watching your video, the man of God of Paul Jim, my wife was a bit skeptical when she was looking at the video. She was wondering, ah, is this? Is this real, you know, Jesus delivering people, doing miracles? So I always wanted to call for prayer, but I, I thought, let me just pray for God to touch her heart. And once she is convinced, then we can pray, we can come. So I started praying, and I 
I was just shocked because one day she started having interest in the videos, we started watching, and I said, hey, but like, what is happening now? And she's like watching with interest and, and, and wondering what is happening. And one day she called me, I think we should call for prayer. And I thought, what? Like, how is that possible? Like, you never wanted to hear about it. And, and, and I was shocked. And she was the one pressing me, hey, but have you sent the message to the COVID, to the Zoom line, send the message. And I was, and that was wonderful. So that's how basically, she was the one actually pushing us down to call. And that's how we, we came across and we, we joined the Zoom call. Um, so before, before the deliverance, uh, for me personally, I would say I had spirit of unforgiveness and anger. Um, whenever she does something that I don't like, I would just keep offense. And I would even sleep with that. So I'll, I'll go to bed, not talking to her. And every time I do that in my dreams, I see people coming to give me a screen with pornography. And I would watch and they would tell me, you masturbate, masturbate. Because I used to have, I, I was struggling with masturbation as well. So I tried to stop myself. But every time there's a problem and I sleep, they'll come, they show me a screen with pornography, and they say, you have to masturbate, masturbate. And I try to resist. When I wake up, that's when I go to her and, and I myself, basically not willing to talk to her. I don't see myself having offense. I, I'm always reminded that I need to live a life without sin. So we keep on watching the video, and that keeps on building our faith and allowing us to, uh, to walk with God. Um, and to the other side, also the life of, of masturbation and morality, that's something that's no more because I, it's like I have a hatred for those things. So anytime I, I can think about it, it just gives me, like, it, it's just disgusting, basically. So I really, really thank God for having put that, that, that ability to sort of say no to those things. So that is a bit on the behavior side, on the, on the scene side. And before the deliverance also, I wouldn't remember my dreams. So every time I sleep, and she is the testimony for that, when I wake up, she asks me, what did you dream about? I said, I just don't remember. Like, I will, I'll be sitting and say, what happened? And in the dream, I know what happened. But when I wake up, I trust everything is blank. But the same night after the deliverance, <laughs> it's, like, it's like a movie was going before me. Like, I, I knew everything about, every detail about the dreams. And I really, 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 really want to thank God uh, uh, for this because now I know myself. Sometimes I see things, direction from God, and I really, really thank God um, um, for that. Now, before the deliverance, maybe I'll talk about uh, my job. Um, I, because God has also blessed me there. Um, so before the deliverance, I was, I'm was i working my current company. It's now the seventh year. I've been the same level, so I'm a data scientist. I mean, I've been the same level without promotion. And my work, before giving you promotion, you need to complete a program. Um, so it's a program, a technical program. And that takes close to four to five years before finishing it. Um, so before the deliverance, it was difficult because every time I tried to finish it, my boss would add something to do, like something, one difficulty, something more to do. So at some point, I just gave up. I said, hey, I'm not going to do this thing. I don't care about this program. I'll just change job, change companies, you know, and I was just like frustrated. But after the deliverance, I realized that my boss, with whom we had tension, you know, when we talk, I talk to my boss, I can feel that there was some, some tension there. But just after the deliverance, it just changed. Like I, I, I was shocked, like it just changed. He said, hey, um, let's, let's, let's try, Let, let's finish your program. Let's make you finish your program so that you can get a promotion. So I was really shocked about that. Um, so we scheduled a day to do the, um, because my bosses have to interview. Um, they have to sit together, analyze my, my history, my performance. And based on that, they say, hey, we are proving to finish the program. And that normally takes one hour, one and a half hour to happen. It's, it's an interview among themselves. But the day of the, of the interview, they, we sat down, they sat down, they said, hey, Arsene, we are here for your program. We can just get out of the Zoom meeting. We will discuss among ourselves. And then we will call you back to let you know whether you pass the program or not. And I was thinking it's going to take maybe an hour or maybe two hours. So I just left the meeting. 
And just after five minutes, they called me back and they said, congratulations, you passed the program. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, how, how could that happen? Like, I was really shocked because it never happened. Like, they have to spend time, go through your history, see what you've done, your assignments, and based on that, they can even stop you. But in just five minutes, like, what has not happened in seven years? Like, and I was like, man, this is real. <laughs> like, like, God has really done a miracle. So, and not only that, my boss said, actually, we have a promotion lined up for you. So he was telling me that we didn't want uh, no, um, two to three months. So everything is lined up. So there's a job group for it because now I'm at level five. And the idea is to go to level four. So the position is already there for me. And this has never happened. This has never happened. Viewers, this has never happened <laughs> to me. So I, I was really shocked. I told her. She was surprised. She said, this is a miracle. We have to share our testimony. So I really, 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 really want to thank God. This is real. We have been manifested. Uh, and, but God did the miracle. So we don't really have to manifest, actually. God, God is in control. We just have to live a life without sin, cater to the preaching and teachings, and just God is in control. So I really, really want to thank God uh, for this miracle in my life. One other thing, now I'm focused. When I start to work, I can feel that I have the desire to, to excel in what I do. Because I was frustrated. I had no promotion. I thought, hey, why well, give my best anyways? But now I feel like I something pushes me to give my best, to excel. So I really want to thank God uh, for that. And the other thing, which is the last one from my side, I'm going to prophesy that I need to be constantly praying in my heart. I need to have a strong spiritual atmosphere, high Bible study, Bible reading, and, and I can see that there's been improvement in my spiritual life. I get to basically pray at night. I get to wake up in the morning and pray. I thrive in, in, in meditating in my heart. I read the Bible. I have that urge to read the Bible all the time. So I really, really, really want to thank God. Uh, so that's a bit uh, what has happened to my sight. Wonderful testimonies coming from young couples. Many young couples, are you learning and listening? God is the founder of your marriage and should be the foundation of your life. When God is the foundation of your life, you will have no single business where sins and sinful desires, if you used to have anger, hatred, bitterness, envy, jealousy, if you used to have the spirit of laziness, stubbornness, and immorality, once you allow God to be the foundation of your life, you will have no single business with these unclean spirits. He is a living testimony. In the past, he was living in sin, but now he's living a life without sin. And God has come into his life to move his career forward, something that never happened to him for the period of seven terrible years just happened without any single effort. Just as a proof, I'm not sure if people can read it, but this is the email. It says, Shell Advanced Technical Program. So this is a program that I'm in for this one. So I can, uh, so this is the proof that I basically completed uh, the certification, the program. So they gave me confirmation that I successfully passed it. So for people that are looking at me that are doubting, this is true. Like, this is happening to me. So I really, really want to thank God. Wonderful. What does it mean, passing this program? What does it mean? What is the significance? So this is really, really important for professional in this company because the company is really big. It's all over the world. So we need to pass the program to be able to, to, be, able to be professional on our own. So that means we could get jobs in the USA, in Australia, in Nigeria, literally everywhere. And it sets you up for promotion. So without that, I would have never, 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 never had a promotion. So this happened in what, two weeks after the prayer? One week? One, one to two weeks after the prayer. So that was like, and I, and I, and I, and I just gave up on it. Like I said, this is, this is not going to happen. And miraculously, 
put in prayer Jesus in the way. So I really want to thank God. All right, let us listen to your wife. She has been excited. <laughs> Someone who was not willing to associate with the happenings in the City of Jesus International Ministry. Anytime she would say, go and watch your channel, your favorite channel. Leave me and my child. We have our own. So now you have become an addicted, an ardent viewer. Someone who is now promoting the things of God that are happening in the city of Jesus International Ministry. Let's hear from you. There are many that are watching now for the first time. They were once like you and they would want to hear from you. Go ahead. Shalom, man of God. My name is Afran Roxanne. I live in the Netherlands. I got to prayer uh, in the 29th of June. 2021. Um, Mother God, I want to thank God for for my deliverance because before uh, the Mother God, my, my English is not good. You can speak in <laughs> the best language you know, so your husband can translate. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Je veux dire merci à Dieu pour ma deliverance. Avant la deliverance, j'avais des à cause de la césarienne que j'ai eue. J'ai eu des, il y avait une sévère douleur au dos. Et chaque matin, je me plaignais des douleurs dans le dos. Mais après la délivrance, la même nuit, lorsque j'ai dormi, je me suis réveillée. La, la douleur a dis, carrément disparu. So she's saying that um, before the prayer, because the baby came on operation, C-section, cesarean. So after that, she started having pain in the back. So when we sleep, I can, I can really see, like, she wake up in the morning and she really cries out because she has pain in the back, really, really severe pain. And that's not for one day, but it's been throughout. But after the deliverance, the same night, the same night, she says she, when she woke up in the morning, there was no pain anymore. The pain was totally gone. And, and that was, yeah. That's the first thing. The second thing is, uh, la deuxième chose, c'était uh, par rapport à mon, à mon visage. J'avais des, des démangeaisons sur le visage qui étaient vraiment fortes. Mais le même jour, après la délivrance, le, le, le jour qui a suivi, les, les, les démangeaisons ont stoppé par la grâce de Dieu. Ça commençait à sécher. Je voyais mon mari même m'a dit que les boutons commençaient à sécher carrément. Tout a commencé à sécher, mais j'étais vraiment impressionnée. So she's saying that the second thing is regarding her face. Before the deliverance, it was actually itching. And then the thing was back basically a lot itching on the face. But after the prayer, she started feeling that basically the, the whole scratching, because she used to complain to me about it. But she's feeling that everything has started to disappear and the face is becoming, uh, how do you call it? Dry. Small dry. The people's don't come to, 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 dry. to dry yet. Because they were alive. And when they're alive, it itches in, but now it's drying up. I, I, I don't have itching no anymore. Itching. See the, the things now. And for my baby, I for my baby before the deliverance, my son cried and shout in his sleep. But after the deliverance, man of God, the same night and the following night since, until now, my son doesn't cry. Doesn't shout anymore in sleep. Let's see the baby. <laughs> Viewers who watch this screen, the baby is uh, the one you're watching that used to cry in the night, but after the prayer, that attack that had been making him to cry in the night stopped, and the baby sleeps very, very well without very well. crying in the night. <laughs> one, one, one other, um, before, after my deliverance, I, I told you i have nightmare in my dream uh, uh, uh speech has don't come out come in my dream but after the deliverance i sleep well like a baby in the one two after few days i i sleep well but one day i i got attacked in my dream and when i wake up i i had a bad 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 attitude i why i have attack but i have bitterness in my heart i won't I don't want to, to talk with my husband. I keep that attitude for long time, all long the day. And after he prayed, 
But after see the deliverance, I go to my my room. I cry to God. I ask for forgiveness, for mercy of God. And I saw I saw Jesus has delivered me. But after that day, I I had some attacks. But I believe in God. I I don't give up. I know Jesus has delivered me. But I want to in God. For advice for for followers, if you have attack in your dream, don't give up. Maybe I can explain a bit also what she said. Because okay. Go ahead. The thing. So after the deliverance, we did not manifest. And then she was expecting to to see some reaction based on the past attacks. <laughs> so I think she was telling me that um, I don't know, like I know I'm delivered, but so she, she I knew like I was telling her, John, don't, don't doubt, believe God is with you, God has done it, God has done it. So the first two nights she slept wonderfully well. The third night, I think she saw some some attack. So when she woke up, when I looked at her, I saw, ah, this is not good. So I was telling her, don't worry, God is continuing to pray. But that day she felt really, uh, she was sort of disappointed. She was thinking, ah, oh, maybe I'm not delivered. So I was trying to tell her, don't, don't, don't do that. But the whole day she was sad. She was, it was a really bad day for her. She was a bit bitter. But then after that, basically she tried to, she went for, ask for forgiveness. So she's here to ask God for forgiveness as well because of, of the doubt. And, um, but she was, also having attacks. So I think she's also trying to use a platform to advise the viewers that viewers, no matter what happens, whether you manifest, you don't manifest. If the man of God says you are free, you are free indeed. Just 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 believe that word and live with that. You will start seeing the, the manifestation of that. So yeah, so that is <laughs> um, all right. The viewers have listened to that. Once again, can you advise other people? So I'll start with my advice, and my advice is, I think the, the main thing, live a life without sin, right? So the man of God has been teaching us that, and it's really, really important, because even through the other people's deliverance, I've got to see that the real problem in us is actually sin and simple desires. That's the, that's the medium that Satan uses to give you stagnation. Because if you are stagnant spiritually, how can you expect to, to have promotion in your real life? That doesn't make sense. Because the Bible says prosper just as, just as your soul prospers. So just focus on God. Try to live a life without, or live a life without sin and sinful desires. Believe in God. And what you are looking at now is not fake. For those of you that are doubting, this is not fake. I can, you can see my name and you can go on LinkedIn. I, like I'm a professional. You can... I can I can show you. You can go and LinkedIn. Do that have LinkedIn. You can look me up. I'm a real person. Like I, I, this is not fake. This is things that of our life that we have experienced. God has touched our life. This is true. This is really true. This is not fake. So please believe in God. Try to seek for your deliverance and live a life without sin. Pray all the time in your heart, and the best is yet. Wonderful. Yes, Pray all the time in your heart and be in the presence of God at all times. God bless you. You listen to that. If God sets you free, you are free indeed. The way and manner God sets people free differs. If someone who is Mr. A manifests as a result of the unclean spirit in him, that does not mean that someone who is Mr. B will manifest. God can decide to take those unclean spirits out of Mr. B quietly and destroy those unclean spirits without you seeing the physical manifestation. So God is omnipotent, omniscient God or knowing. He is not only omnipotent or powerful, but also omniscient or knowing. He knows how to handle every single human being. He attends to people differently. So we should understand this. In her own case, she was trying to invite doubt and the like. And you know, when doubt creeps into your heart, you are automatically connected to Satan. Satan comes with his evil attacks, nightmares, sadness, unbelief, fear, and the like. So for you to be disconnected, you have to free your heart from doubt and unbelief. Don't begin to tell God, this is how I would want you to attend to me. If I don't manifest like this, I am not being set free. So feel free, okay?
All right. So I'm here to let you know that you have received the grace to live a life without sin. Continue to live in that atmosphere. Don't go back. And as you do, I am seeing radical transformation coming to all areas of your life. And I'm seeing you coming back for testimonies. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you. Welcome, God. Thank you, Jesus. Shalom. And take care of this wonderful young boy. <laughs> Shalom. Thank you. Shalom. Follow these nine easy steps to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministries, Kojim. Step 1. Visit our website, www.kojim.org, and click on Give in the menu. If you're using a mobile device, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner of your mobile device screen and find the Give link. Step 2. Click on Donate on the Local Donations option if you are within Nigeria. Step 3. Kindly send your donations to any of the bank account numbers listed. Or Step 4. Click on Donate on the International Donations option if you are outside Nigeria. Step 5. Choose between Bank Wire Transfer or Online Payment options. Step 6. If you choose to use the Bank Wire Transfer option, Please see the account details listed therein. Step 7. If you chose the online payment option, please fill the form and submit it. Step 8. Please state the purpose of your donation on the payment slip or the comment notes section of your bank transfer app. LOGIF Partnership Logif Partnership Support the care of the poor, orphans, widows and widowers. Offering Use this for your offering, seed sowing, and thanksgiving offering. Tithe, one-tenth of your... Listen to this amazing family. Shalom. Shalom, man of God. Shalom, man of God. How are you? We are doing great, <laughs> fantastically good, by the grace of God. Wonderful. You are always a testifier, and here you are again to share your testimonies. Go ahead and introduce yourselves and begin to testify. Thank you. So my name is Arsen Keia and this is my wife, um, Roxanne Afan. So we are both from Ivory Coast and we live in the Netherlands, in Rotterdam. Um, so by the grace of God, this is the fourth time um, we come for our testimony. And what we've noticed is that every time we come and testify, God opens more doors and the next testimony is greater than the, than the, the, the previous one. So, as you can see in the video, we got prayed for the first time online on June 29, 2021. And now we are in May, so going to June, so almost a year. And if I can recap, honestly, it's been a life-changing event in our life because as you can see from the video, before that we were living a life of sin, lots of anger, um, unbelief, doubt, frustration, uh, unforgiveness and all this the like the man of God was saying also that my life I did not have you know a life of prayer I wasn't praying um, and same for my wife as well but now looking back after the deliverance our life has changed for good because now we are committed to God we are serious with God we are committed to the teaching of the man of God uh, you know we can be in the house without talking about coaching, without talking about the message of the man of God. When I'm working at home, when my wife comes back, she's like, have you seen the man of God is online? Go, let's go online. Sometimes I'm working from home, so I get distracted. And when she comes, she's let's go online. So we are always looking after the, the teachings and we are living those teachings. So we want to thank God for that. The second thing is, there's one thing we missed in our testimony. Uh, last year, when we got prayed for, 
God opened a massive door. We were able to buy a land in Ivory Coast. We always wanted to buy a land, but we never had the means to do that. And in August 2021, so last year, we forgot to give that testimony, but God was so good with us, he gave us the grace to buy a land. Now, this time around, we came for a really massive breakthrough for our life. I remember the man of God, in the last testimony that we saw in the video, the man of God prophesied and said, I can see you coming back with a, a, a testimony, radical transformation in your life. And you were like, wow, radical transformation. What can that be? <laughs> and, and it turns out that basically um, in my current work, I got promotions, I got so many awards, God has blessed me so much. But this time around, um, I got an offer, a company located in Qatar, contacted me for um, a, a, a lead data scientist, because now I'm a senior, but the position has to do with a lead data scientist. So it, it is kind of like a massive promotion. So when I saw the interview, I was like, who oh, can these people take me? Like, I, I don't think I am qualified. I don't think these people can, can take me because I was, you know, those things always happen to other people, but to yourself, it doesn't happen. So I was like, no, this can never happen. And so we are partner of OG Ministry. And I remember every time we were in the partnership meeting, the man of God would pray for us and would give us words of advice and, and counseling. And he would prophesy saying, I can see you coming back with a testimony. And we were like, we receive, we believe that. And every time we had a partnership meeting, after the man of God said, I can see you coming back with testimony, the next week, we get a meet, an invite for the interview. So I will do the interview, and the interview will go extremely well. They will give me an invite for a, a next round, and we have another partnership meeting. The man of God prophesies again, I can see you coming back with testimony, and we say we receive. And the next week again, we have another interview. But just to cut it short, um, it was, it was just in two days, we had the interviews, I got the job offer, and basically now we received everything. And this position, um, it is like, I don't know how to explain, like it is a, a, a great breakthrough because in terms of salary, I'm gonna get five times the salary I'm getting in now, which is significant, but you know, and then they're gonna be paying for my, how, my housing, um, I have flight tickets, accommodation, insurance. Honestly, it's like, it is just beyond, like it, it, it is just a massive breakthrough. And I don't, know, I don't have any words to explain that because um, it is like an expatriate position. So everything is covered for us. We are gonna be, you know, for me it's a promotion as well. My family is gonna be catered for my wife and my child and we were like, we have to come and share that testimony because we do strongly believe that this would have never happened if it wasn't in the hand of God in this coaching ministry through the life of the life of man of Christopher Oji. This is really a miracle. Like this is a radical change for our lives. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. So the lady that was recruiting me, she said that it was the fastest um recruits that she's never seen that before because when they came to me it looked like they really wanted me like the, the manager said this is the guy we want let's have him now and then she was telling me that and i was like like you know my, my, my color is black and sometimes for these high level positions you would tend to get people that have you know different colors and we were like can they take me like but god somehow elevated our profile to them and she was so surprised. She said, young man, this is, this is unbelievable. Like, this is really fast it, and it can only be God. So I really want to appreciate and thank God for this mighty, 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 mighty breakthrough. Because it's going to allow us also to be able to, to, to be kingdom builders, uh, sow in the ministry of God, uh, um, share what we have, the needy. So this is what we have been praying for and God is putting us in that position. So we feel really undeserved for this grace, but we really want to thank God and, and really appreciate you, man of God, for your time, for your dedication, your selfless 
education. We, we've never paid money for, to get prayed for. Everything was free. And then you keep on praying for people. You keep on showing up. Even now, it's like midnight in the Netherlands. You're still there praying for people. So we really want to thank God and appreciate your life for all of these massive testimonies that God has done in our life. Yeah. All right. So Madame is happier than ever. <laughs> money has come. <laughs> she is happier. All right, what do you have to say, madam? My Lord God, um, <laughs> my Lord God, I want to thank God because <laughs> I don't have the word to do. To... <laughs> I'm so happy, my Lord God, for your life, my Lord God. If not, if not you, your teaching, I don't think that we'll be here today. Just thank God for your life and mm. for your teaching, my Lord God. That has helped us so much, and we have seen the hand of God in every area in our life. Man of God, and you told us also to seed, to, 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 to build. You say in the partnership that everyone should go in the presence of the Lord to let, let God talk to your heart, and what God put in your heart, act on it. Man of God, that we are Jesus, and man of God, God that is, God is too faithful. Amen. We thank God because. I don't have the word, man of God. I'm so happy, so, so happy. And thank God for your life. And thank God for Jesus Christ also. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Wonderful, joyful testimony coming from the lady in question. She went as instructed to the presence of God to ask for anything she desired. And they placed their demand. They really asked God and God answer them and today they are celebrating and testifying glory be to god continue to live a life without sins and sinful desires mm -hmm. and then come back again with bigger than this testimony oh um, yeah, we receive man of god, man of god i don't know like all, all of this has happened online and i was telling her Maybe if we go to coaching, then I'll be president of the Netherlands. Because <laughs> coaching so much, but if I go to coaching and come back, then... But this is just like... It's just a... <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> All right, viewers, you are going to see more. They came and joined the Zoom meeting for prayers. And today they are testifying. There are still people we are about to attend to now. Don't go away. Stay tuned and witness everything by yourself. Shalom. Follow these nine easy steps to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministries, Kojim. Step 1. Visit our website, www.kojim.org, and click on Give in the menu. If you're using a mobile device, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner of your mobile device screen and find the Give link. Step 2. Click on Donate on the Local Donations option if you are within Nigeria. Step 3. Kindly send your donations to any of the bank account numbers listed. Or, Step 4. Click on Donate on the International Donations option if you are outside Nigeria. Step 5. Choose between Bank Wire Transfer or Online Payment options. Step 6. If you choose to use the Bank Wire Transfer option, Please see the account details listed therein. Step 7. If you chose the online payment option, please fill the form and submit it. Step 8. Please state the purpose of your donation on the payment slip or the comment notes section of your bank transfer app. LOGIF Partnership. LOGIF Partnership. Support the care of the poor, orphans, widows and widowers. Offering. Use this for your offering, seed sowing, and thanksgiving offering. Tithe, one-tenth of your earning only. To donate to the church new site building fund. Step 9. Send proof of payment to any of the following. Email donations at kojim.org or you can WhatsApp, SMS or call 
on plus two three four seven zero four three three one five four zero five. Follow these nine easy steps to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministry. When the centurion believed in Jesus Christ, the one God has sent, he was allowed by God to stand in proxy for his sick servant. If you want to stand in proxy for someone, what do you need to do? You got to believe in God, in Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit. The father of the demon-possessed boy did not believe, but he was trying to stand in proxy. He was interceding, trying to find his way out so that his sick boy could receive healing and deliverance. That never happened until he believed in God. The greatest spiritual assignment that is given to all human beings on earth is to believe in the living God Almighty, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. If you believe, you will receive. If you do not believe, you will not receive. Once you believe in God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, you will be connected, not just to God, but to His heavenly blessings. The blessings are available, but only to those who believe. If you come to God, what do you have to give Him instantly? Your belief in Him. What do you have, viewers, even as you're watching? You can give out your doubt, your fear, your unbelief. You can begin to ask, can all these people that have prayed for like this receive their freedom just like that? The works of God are mysterious. They are hidden in the mystery of grace. The gospel of God's grace challenges and changes everything. To the power of the gospel of God's grace, nothing in this world is impossible. If anything is impossible for you, that does not mean that God cannot do it. It is just very easy for God. If we are connected to God, the impossible will become possible. Do you know how your nails, as you have your fingers, do you know how your nails grow? You only see them growing, but you don't know how they grow. Why do you think you can figure out how God works? Let us free our heart, play our own role, which is to believe in God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. And then we can leave the rest for him so he can accomplish his works. God bless you. Thank you for understanding in Jesus Christ's name. The name Jesus Christ is the name that is given to bring salvation to all sinners, to bring salvation to the lost, to bring healing to those who are sick, deliverance to everyone who is oppressed, and to set all captives free. Within the name Jesus Christ is a divine access to God and His heavenly blessings. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ is the strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. There is no salvation in your fears, in your doubt, in your unbelief, in lies and blasphemy. Salvation comes from only Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego went to the blazing furnace without fear of the fury of the oppressor, and they experienced the presence of the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who did not only bring them out of the blazing furnace, but also placed them in a position of power, authority, and grace. The same Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he is the one working in our midst. Before they went into the blazing furnace, 
rumors were flying everywhere, stories, panic, and a lot of words of intimidation and campaign of calumny were all flying everywhere. But these men were simply men of prayers and faith. Their integrity stood the test of time and their God became a national God that must be worshipped, not just within that region or province, but also in the universe. Decree was made that everyone in this world must bow down to the God of Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego. The life of prayer that is driven by the Holy Spirit cannot be influenced, cannot be negatively affected, cannot be stopped nor pulled down by anything. As you watch, let the light of God in you ignite in you the spirit of prayers so you can continue to conquer the unseen enemies of life. Are you ready? Let us see what Jesus Christ has to do in our midst today. God bless you. Shalom.
viewers, the name Jesus Christ is the name that is given to bring salvation to all sinners, to bring salvation to the lost, to bring healing to those who are sick, deliverance to everyone who is oppressed, and to set all captives free. Within the name Jesus Christ is a divine access to God and His heavenly blessings. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ is the strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. There is no salvation in your fears, in your doubt, in your unbelief, in lies and blasphemy. Salvation comes from only Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the Living God. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego went to the blazing furnace without fear of the fury of the oppressor, and they experienced the presence of the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who did not only bring them out of the blazing furnace, but also place them in a position of power, authority, and grace. The same Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he is the one working in our midst. Before they went into the blazing furnace, rumors were flying everywhere. Stories, panic, and a lot of words of intimidation and campaign of calumny we are all flying everywhere. But these men were simply men of prayers and faith. Their integrity stood the test of time and their God became a national God that must be worshipped, not just within that region or province, but also in the universe. Decree was made that everyone in this world must bow down to the God of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. The life of prayer that is driven by the Holy Spirit cannot be influenced, cannot be negatively affected, cannot be stopped nor pulled down by anything. As you watch, let the light of God in you ignite in you the spirit of prayers so you can continue to conquer the unseen enemies of life. Are you ready? Let us see what Jesus Christ has to do in our midst today. God bless you. Shalom. included in God's master plan for creation. At the beginning of this online meeting, we talked about the book of Galatians, chapter 2, from verses 20 to the end. And now we are going to be looking at the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 14, we shall be taking our Bible study from verses 25, Matthew chapter 14, from verses 25. Now, in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. Verses 27 of Matthew chapter 14. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, 
Do not be afraid. Verses 28, we are coming to the point you are going. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, Come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. I hope you are taking note of vital points here. We are trying to come up with a message, very short message today, titled, The Picture of the Life of Believers. The Picture of the Life on the Water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Then those who were in the boat came and worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Find time to read everything from the beginning to the end. We are talking about the picture of the life of believers. Believers are forward lookers. Believers do not concentrate on where they are. Believers focus are always on the one they believe on. Whom do you believe? If you truly believe in Jesus Christ, your spiritual eyes will be fixed on him and not on your circumstances. I mean, and not on the circumstances of life. Whether the circumstances of life are pleasant circumstances or unpleasant circumstances. Your life on earth is not given to you to concentrate on earthly things. As you are living in this physical world, God has not created you to focus on these earthly things, material things of this world. God did not create you to focus on the storms of life. Violent waves of trials and temptation. People's opinion about you. What people say about you. You are not expected to focus on your sickness, disease, and on your pain. When Peter was forward looking to Jesus, he was walking on water. The impossible event became possible for him. When he began to consider the circumstances of life, the storms and the violent waves, he began to think, where are you? Where is your life settling? Many have allowed their lives to settle in the realm of fear, doubt, and unbelief. There is no salvation in fear. There is no salvation in doubt. There is no victory in unbelief. There is no salvation 
in your weaknesses. Believers are forward lookers. They focus on Jesus. They exhibit the life of faith. If you are talking about faith, you are talking about something that is not based on what is seen, what is heard, what other people say, or what circumstances look like. A life of faith focuses on God and his divine sufficiency. Tell me anything you need that cannot be supplied by God. I have not seen anyone. There is nothing you need in this physical world that cannot be supplied by God if only you believe and focus on him. Believers are not doubters. Believers are testifiers and not blasphemers. Believers are full of faith and not doubt or fear. Those who believe have divine energy to overcome their fears. Fears operate not only on the outside of human beings, but also on the inside. What is it in you that is causing you to panic? These are things that make these are things that make you an unbeliever, meaning a fake believer. Life is a mission. It moves from one place to another. Peter had to move. What about you? Your financial level or status cannot be permanently placed in the realm of stagnation. It has to move. How do you see it? What about your health? You have incurable sicknesses. Do you think your life will remain like that forever? It has to move from the realm of sickness to the realm of good health. Faith enables your life to move from one point to another. Faith in the heart of true believers of Jesus Christ enables their lives to move from one point to another. Why are you not moving? Why do you believe that you will be sick forever and die with the sickness? Why do you believe that you will be poor forever and die with poverty? Why do you believe that you will remain in the realm of ignorance forever? Why do you believe that you cannot be used by God to make things happen? Why? There is no situation that is currently permanent. Situations are changeable. Your situation is changeable. It has to move. You have to move. The word of God and the promises that are attached to the word of God cannot become real and living unless your faith in God acts on the word of God. What are you doing? Peter said, if you are the one, allow me to come to you. He allowed his faith to step out and walk toward Jesus. What are you doing? Where you are? Why are you there? Why are you in the realm of sickness? Why are you there? You got to move. If there is no sickness, there will not be any need for good health and perfect healing. By his stripes, you are healed. If there is no poverty, there will not be any need for blessings. He took your place in poverty and made the blessings of God available to every believer. Why are you still poor? Why do you believe that you will die in poverty? Why? We are talking about the picture of the life of true believers. 
the picture of the life of true believers is the picture of the life of faith. Mountain climbing is an exact picture of the life of faith. While you are set, you don't concentrate on where you are. You fix your eyes on where you're going. To eliminate fear and the like, you do not need to look beneath. If you have failed exam before, why do you think you will never pass again? If you have been disappointed maritally, why do you think that the yoke of disappointment will not be broken? Why? Why are you fixing your eyes on those things, terrible things that had happened to you? Why? The book of Philippians chapter 3, let us read quickly so we can bring this message to a quick end. The book of Philippians chapter 3, let us read from verses 12. Now that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. This is the exact picture of the life of true believers. Therefore, let us, as many as are mature, have this mind, and if in anything you think otherwise, God will reveal even this to you. Nevertheless, to the degree that we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us be of the same mind. Brethren, join in following my example and note those who so walk as you have us for a, for a pattern. As you have us for a pattern. For many walk of me, I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who set their mind on earthly things. Are you getting the exact picture of the life? of true believers. They don't set their minds on earthly things. What is the cause of war, violence, divorce, separation, unforgiveness, offense, bitterness, anger, lack of affection? What do you think is the cause? Many can kill their fellow human beings just because of what they believed had been done to them. Many can kill because of possessions, positions, wealth, properties. Why are you not speaking to people? Why are you selecting people to talk to? Why? Why are you becoming so popular on social media handles? Are they for the salvation of souls? Or you are using this platform to promote killing, stealing, and destruction? How many people's destiny have you destroyed on your social media handles? How many lives have you separated and painted black? 
Just because you are looking for subscribers and those that will like and share. Why have you become a veritable instrument of destruction in the hands of Satan in the name of gaining subscribers and followers? Repent. We are talking about the picture of the life of true believers. Anything you do for selfish, classic or material reasons are things that make you a fake believer or an unbeliever of God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. If you do not believe, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Life is a mission. It moves. This world is a place where everyone is passing by. All of us are moving to eternity. Where will you spend your eternity? You can't live here forever. I cannot live here forever. No one stays in this physical world forever. Everyone is moving. Where are you going to? Why do you concentrate on things that are in this physical world? God bless various nations with many natural resources and things that are capable of being used to glorify God. How do you use them? Let us all concentrate on the giver of these natural resources and not on the natural resources alone. If you want to have God and enjoy his blessings, you got to believe in him. How do you believe? Believers are doers of the word of God. Believers do act on the spoken words of God. Believers are not hearers. They are not deceivers. They are not hypocritical. They are not pretenders. They are actually the doers of the word of God. What are you doing with your mineral resources? What are you doing with God's talents in you? What are you using it for? Many are talented to sing for God. How do you use this talent? Many are talented to work for God. How do you use this talent? Many are giving various skills. How have you been using them? And for whose glory have you been using them? If you value your talent more than God, if you value what you are blessed with more than the blessing provider, you are a fake believer. You are an unbeliever of Jesus Christ. If you want to believe, believe in God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Those who truly believe in God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, are true believers. They are people that will be given eternal salvation. What is the picture of your life? How do you see your own life? Anytime people think about you, what come up in their mind? Any time people look at your character or lifestyle, what picture do you paint in their heart or mind? Apostle Paul was extremely bold and he told the people to follow his example. What about you? What is it in you that can be copied or emulated by people around you? What will your children learn from you? What about your siblings? What about your younger ones? What about your husband and your wife? What will they learn from you? Many are displaying malice, envy, jealousy, unapproachable character, unwillingness to repent. 
arrogance, stubbornness, rudeness, and the like, are these things that should be copied from you. There are various generational curses that are everywhere as a result of copied life of sin. People are tired of copying the life of sin. They are tired of copying the lives of addiction, waywardness, rebellion, disobedience, arrogance, and the like. Picture yourself in the word of God. See what you can do to truly repent and have a glaring picture of a true believer. Because you can. Let us read ahead. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who set their mind on earthly things. For our citizenship, for our citizenship is in heaven from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body that it may be conformed to his glorious body according to the working by which he is able even to subdue all things to himself. Glory be to God. Do not allow Satan to set the traps of feelings in your heart. Feeling is not faith. Feelings are not faith. Doubt is not faith. Fear is not boldness. Do not allow Satan to use your present circumstances to cause you to doubt. Pay any genuine price to live a life of faith because you can. A life of faith focuses on God, on Jesus Christ, and on the Holy Spirit, and not on the circumstances of life. What can separate you from God? Is it your sickness? God is the healer. Is it your disease? God is the cure and the miracle worker. Is it your hardship, joblessness, poverty? God is the blessing provider and the way maker. Is it your debts that are too many to be paid off by you? Jesus Christ is your Redeemer and your divine advocate. He paid for the debts you owe. Is it your sin or your sinful desire? Jesus Christ is your Savior. While you were still living in sin, he died for you. He is your mediator. Is it the guilt in your heart and conscience the blood of Jesus Christ has already cleansed you. The words he has spoken has already made you clean and well. Is it the family background you are coming from? 
Behold, you are a member of the household of God. If anyone is in Christ, the person is a new creation. The old things are passed away, and all things are new in Christ. Your citizenship is heavenly one, not earthly one. You are a citizen of heaven. You are moving towards heaven. No ancestral spirit or power of darkness has any single right to draw your life to hell. We are all children of Zion, and Zion itself is the mountain of holiness that every child of God is expected to climb without fear. We must be forward-looking as genuine believers. Mountain climbing in this manner is the exact picture of the life of true believers of God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. As you are listening to this message, picture yourself in this manner. Forget about where you are coming from. Forget about where you are. Focus on God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. For these divine personalities are welcoming you to where you are going. If you have God, you have all. If you have Jesus Christ, you have all. If you have the Holy Spirit, what else do you lack? As you are listening to this message, I believe that your life of stagnation, backwardness, limitation, fear, doubt, unbelief, has already come to an end. And your new life in God, Jesus Christ, has just begun. The life of a believer. Let us pray. Father, we bring into your eye the picture that your children are expected to have, the picture of the life of true believers, not doubters. You gave Peter the grace to believe. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Anyone can believe. You say, anyone who is willing, let him take the free gift of the water of life freely. Whether they are educated or not educated, wherever they are, whoever they are, they can believe because you have enabled them. Right now, I stretch my hand with all your authority which you have given to me and I command their doubts to be turned into faith. I command their unbelief to be turned into belief in their heart. I stand against all storms of life, circumstances of life that are promoting fear, doubt, unbelief, panic, sins and sinful desires and I command the evil spirits behind them and their circumstances to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, I can see these evil spirits and the evil circumstances being destroyed. in the name of Jesus Christ, Fear! 
I send the fire of the Spirit of God to Satan, Lucifer, snake, idols. I send the fire of the Spirit of God to spiritual husband, every spirit of fear, doubt and unbelief, spirit of death, in charge of sicknesses and diseases, where are you? Who gave you the right to be where you are? God is everywhere present, and I command you evil spirits in the lives of people to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, fear the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! Fear! I declare everyone in the world completely delivered and set free by the mighty Spirit of God. Right now, receive your freedom. Receive! 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 I command the river of God's healing to flow into your health into your soul, spirit, and body. Receive your healing. Receive! Receive! Healing in your soul, spirit, and body. Healing in your blood, cells, and tissues. Healing in your organs. Receive! In the name of Jesus Christ, I command your spiritual eyes to be permanently fixed on God, on Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Receive your blessings. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And Amen. I believe that this short message titled The Picture of the Life of Believers has enabled the belief in your heart to be permanently formed. And I believe that your life has been spiritually connected to God and His heavenly blessings forever. Get ready for your multiple testimonies in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Viewers, you have seen the fire of God's spirit has been ignited. The kingdom of Satan is burning and we are switching into action. What is the action? To believe and see the works of God being displayed even as we start attending to people one by one. Get ready to witness this. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Shalom man of God. How are you? We are well, thank you. And how are you? Glory be to God. We are doing extremely well. Kindly introduce yourselves. Um, I'm Doris. I'm Alema Akombelwa, living in South Africa, originally from Zambia. And this is my husband, Dr. Mlema Akombelwa, with me. How are you, sir? Introduce yourself and then... Let us know what you want God Almighty to do for you. Shalom. My name is uh, Dr. Malema Akombelwa. I'm a, a lecturer 
and I live here in South Africa. What do you teach people in university? I teach engineering. I'm a land surveyor. Great. And which university do you teach? This is at the uh, University of KwaZulu-Natal in Durban, in South Africa. Wonderful. What is your country of origin? We are originally from Zambia. And what do you want God Almighty to do for you? I'd like God to forgive me my sins for unbelief and not um, spending enough time um, reading the Word of God with my family and also for bitterness and anger because of what has happened to me um, because of stagnation that I have had in my life and losses that I have suffered. So I would like God to forgive me my sins. All right. What else do you want God to do for you health-wise, career-wise, and marriage-wise? Career-wise, I, uh, I would like God to help me with the stagnation uh, so that I can get promotion in my work. I have stagnated in my work for a long time. And uh, I, uh, for a long time, I, I, I have been, I have not uh, moved. And in my marriage, I would like uh, God to help me and my wife as uh, because of the strain that we have having uh, financially. Sometimes we have a lot of differences and it is as if we are drifting apart. I would like God to help us to bring us together again to be at the center of our marriage. Okay, what about your health? Health-wise, uh, I, I haven't uh, faced uh, much problems. Okay, make sure you check um, yourself. Try as much as you can not to take anything that contains excess sugar. Check your sugar um, intake. It's very important. Yes, man of God. All right, so we are going to pray for you. Stay away from anger. And I want you to know that the source of the problem is not coming from human being. Don't trace it down to members of your family or to anybody. You have already done the right thing, which is to look within you and to find out those things that you are doing that are not godly. Once your sins are forgiven, uh, your life will be turned around for good. You are talking about um, stagnation, but that is not what I'm seeing. You are looking at where you are coming from and looking at where you are going. You are already testifying, but your confession has to be genuine and you have to play your role. You are not spiritually strong and you don't pray at night. When it comes to prayer, you are very, very weak. That has to stop. Did you hear what I said? Yes, no, but yeah. I, that, that is correct. I, I actually, I, 
I slumber a lot when I start to pray. Whenever I start to pray, I, I find myself asleep. And a lot of times my wife is the one who does the praying and I find myself asleep most of the time. It's not supposed to be like that. You are the head of the family. You should lead by example. So you have to take charge. Okay? Study your Bible, meditate and pray. I will give you this um, advice. Don't stop praying. Don't ever stop praying. Yes, ma'am. As you can easily breathe in and breathe out, so also you should pray without ceasing. Don't stop praying. Okay? Yes, ma'am. I'm God. seeing you testifying already. That is why I'm telling you what you should do to make that happen. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Let's hear from you, madam. Yes, ma'am. Of God. Yeah, um, I also just want God to, first of all, I just want to thank God that um, uh, when I wrote uh, the email, in fact, when I was writing, I told my husband, let's uh, send to um, Kojun because I've been following and watching uh, the men of God that were previously by our later uh, father, TV Joshua. And he said to me, you have to construct an email for me. And I'm like, and I'm going to construct an email for you for prayer. So I really got upset. And I just said, I'm going to write alone. So I wrote. And just within a few days, I got the answer back. And I was very excited and anxious. So um, I was just like, this is my destination. And everything that I go through today is coming to an end. So I am very thankful to God that you've come forward to, to pray with us. And I just want God to forgive me, I think, because of um, I'm a believer, I love the Holy Spirit, I'm a Christian in the past, I've, I've confessed my sins, but I just have a lot of challenges in terms of um, uh, reading the Bible. I'm very prayerful, but I get attacks. Immediately I want to read the Bible, I get a headache, headache. Like something is really pounding on my head. And I just feel like something is struggling on my neck and things like that. And when it comes to marriage, it's just like I'm bitter in a way because of the way my husband has been behaving. Everything I have to push, so sometimes it leads me to really talking and you just feel bitter as a woman because we are talking. So I just always sit down and ask God to forgive me. And I'm saying it's in front of everybody else. I want God to forgive me for maybe being disobedient. I mean, we are seen as we seen every day, maybe for talking too much in a way that I may offend somebody, you know, and just not sometimes being it by myself and maybe sulking. I just want God to forgive me for all my sins and just to get into God's presence. That's what I long for mainly. And I'm, I am coming from where I get attacks, spiritual attacks. Sometimes I can't even sleep. Like I get attacks, like something is strangling in my, my heart, my chest and all that. That's really been my main point that I've been wanting prayer, like proper deliverance. We've been praying for the last five years with our family friend and he's really led us to the Lord and we've understood a lot of things and deliverance of um, administration of deliverance. But it's also just been very difficult. Like in my career, I'm a social worker and I have a master's in child care and protection law. I can't work. I have not worked in South Africa. I used to get just um, a bit of a part-time job here and there. My papers have been stuck with home affairs, God knows how long. The last time I got my visa in South Africa, actually from my undergrad, masters i studied without a visa to the point where the university just said you have to finish your degree if your visa won't come so after we prayed the visa was released and they said we don't know why your visa has been held so much within a week of prayer the visa came so when my husband applied for his permanent residence together with mine mine was rejected his came that was 2019, 2018, 2019, mine has never come. 
up to today. I can't work, I can't do anything, I can't bank, I can't just do anything. And a lot of times I've been seeing this spirit of rejection when I pray, and I just feel like something is, is just not right. And because of that, we always talking about financial when he says it's not enough. I'm like, if I worked, this wouldn't be happening. So, you know, as much as it's not his fault, it brings anger to, to him when I'm talking about my papers because I can't, I can't wait. I'm just strange diseases with my, my girls. I've got two girls. Uh, my younger one just had a graduation last week, Thursday. She's an, ar an architect now and doing honors. And my older one, she's a major of English, but she did media and communication. She went back to Zambia. She's working in Zambia now. So it's just that we've had strange diseases with my husband and my children to the point where the doctor who was seeing my girl told me, this is coming from you. You have to pray for your children. I think what kind of diseases? Um, my younger one, she, she was actually supposed to be on the prayer line, but she's got Zoom meetings tomorrow early in the morning for her honors class, so she's going to sleep. Um, I had fibroids. First, I bled for 10 years in the years we were living in the UK. I bled for 10 years, 10 continuous years. The doctors didn't know what to do, didn't know what to say. They actually told me, the highest physician said to me, we have looked into everything. We don't know what is wrong with you. And then when we came to South Africa in 2009 from the UK, my younger daughter started getting sick when she was 14 going to 15. She really got sick. We took her to the doctor. There was no answer. They said, oh, she's depressed, she's tired. Until one day, I was really sick that day, bleeding heavily, she passed out. And I said to my husband, please take her to the hospital for me. When she was taken to the hospital, they found that she had a cyst and it has turned torsion, like it's coiled and it was so big it even had hair and kind of like teeth. That's what they took out of her. And this doctor, he was an Indian man. He told me, this is not coming from God. Pray for your children. And he asked me if I had another daughter. I said, yes, I have two girls. And he said to me, bring your other child too. That's when I took my younger, my older daughter as well. She also got operated on within two weeks, within four weeks of my younger one, getting an operation, my older one got an operation. And in 2017, I got an operation as well of fibroids. They removed 26 fibroids, 26. Madam, I, there is an issue coming from your lineage, your background, yes, your foundation. Yes. Okay, you people recently decamped to worship um, the living God, but the root has not been, the root where you are coming from has not been finally um, disconnected. That is the cause of the problem. Yes, that's the reason I, I just thought, you know, it's not easy to just get to the phone or to the phone with somebody you haven't sat with, with the things I hear you say when I'm watching you, your channel about fraud, fake pastors, and what it wasn't easy. And when it is uneasy, people should know the right thing. As people yeah. are watching now, they should look at the down part of their screen and see the numbers scrolling. These numbers are not Frosters numbers. These are the regional, original numbers of the City of Jesus International Ministry. If Satan blinds your eyes, you will not see those numbers. You will now begin to look for frosters. How can somebody be watching and be saying, how can I connect? Such person needs deliverance. The reason is because the numbers are already there on the screen, the down part of your screen scrolling. These are the right numbers you, you should send your detailed information to. As I do say, if you want to be attended to, it's not supposed to take longer time. You yourself have been the cause. How did you do that? How did you cause that? Send your detailed information to this City of Jesus International Ministries. 
prayer line numbers. There are two. They are WhatsApp lines. As you send your detailed information, they don't even need to call you. You don't even need to speak to anybody. They will reply. They will send you a message. The detailed information has to do with your names, where you're speaking from. If you have medical related issues, you attach your medical report and explain your issues. Simple. And they will attend to you. How can you just say hi and they now respond with some things you need to feel that you don't need to pay any money and you just keep quiet and you want to be attended to? It is not possible. It is when you finally respond that you will be attended to. If that takes you one year, two years, three years, that is when you will be attended to. There are many that have been sent Zoom IDs to connect. Some will say, I'm in the office, I'm working. Some will say, I'm not ready now. The same people will come to the live program to say, how can I connect? So it is just very easy. People should make this in very easy. Okay, as I said, the, your foundation needs to be um, that of God. You have to be disconnected from where you are coming from. It is not just you. It is a family issue. People find it difficult to have settled homes. They don't have peace. As you are scrambling to get a job, people find it difficult to get jobs in your place. If they do, they can't give account. It's either they are addicted or they cannot give account of uh, the money they are getting. So it is a family issue. Himself has his own challenge also. But then let us look at God, not the challengers of life. Focus on God. You listen to the message. I hope you listen to the message. Yes, we do. What lesson did you learn in one sentence? That we shouldn't focus on our problems or worldly things, rather we focus on God. So who are you focusing on now? Well, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. All right, so we are going to pray for you. The ancestral spirits, the idols, are attacking people in the family. If you are a woman, they will give you a spiritual husband, monitoring spirit that will be monitoring you yes, to stop everything in your life. If you are a man, they will also give you a spiritual wife and cause you to be addicted. This is what is happening. But today, God will set you free. Now, focus on Jesus and get ready for your deliverance. Amen. Amen. Viewers, I hope you are watching and listening. In her own case, the powers of darkness from her side ganged up, teamed up, to attack everything. She needs separation. She needs to be separated from these evil forces. Mm -hmm. For her to be truly separated, she has to focus on God. She has to be forward looking. Right now, open up the door of your heart and call the name Jesus Christ for your deliverance. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. I send fire from God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, to your idols and spiritual husband, Holy Ghost, from the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot hide. You have caged her for so long, tormented her career for so long. Find the name of Jesus Christ. 
the man should make sure that she turn the camera closer to her so we can see her close. Turn the never Jesus Christ. What are you doing in her? Speak and answer me quickly. What are you doing in her? Turn the name of Jesus Christ. What are you doing in her? What have you done to her so far? Her career? Her life? Speak louder. What have you destroyed? What do you mean by everything? Her life. Her life, her life, her life. How did you destroy her life? How? Oh, she's a millionaire, this one. She looks after everyone. She takes care of everyone. Even someone passing on the road, she takes care of them. We don't want that. We don't want that. Who are you, evil spirits? that have destroyed everything and don't want her to succeed. What are your names? <laughs> Speak louder. <laughs> Say that clearly. Everyone. Queen of the coast. We uh, entered the, she was very young. How did you enter into her when she was very young? What form did, did you take? It's very long time this was done. What form did you take to enter into her life? I sent for to the black mamba serpent, queen of the coast, and sensual spirits, spiritual husbands, idols. I sent for to the marine world, and I command all of you to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Now answer me. You can hear me clearly. Speak quickly. What form did you take to enter into her? Speak louder. I'm manifesting her husband. How? I go to her sleep. I was carried in her husband. In her sleep, in dreams. How do you come to her? What are the evil things you do? We just take everything. We were destined to have twins, two boys we took. We just didn't want them to be happy. Nothing, just hatred. Because she's done everything. No one has got into the level she is. She's clever. She speaks of PhD, this, that. She's done school, this. She doesn't stop. We don't want that. She's a millionaire, this one. We've taken everything from her. We just don't like her. That's all. What did you do to her career? She said that she is not working, everything is blocked. What do you know about these things? We have blocked it. We have blocked it. She can't wait. We don't want her to do something to 
How do you operate, you queen of the coast? What are the lives of sin you are pushing her to be living? Explain how do you mean you said you hold everything? How did you achieve that? Who are those people you have been using to achieve this kind of thing? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> if all of you are destroyed now, what will happen to all her documents? Yeah. Speak louder. Yeah. What is it in the city of Jesus International, Minister and me, Christopher Oji, that will cause all these documents to be instantly released and set this woman completely free? Yeah. Speak louder. Speak louder. What is in Christopher Oji and in the city of Jesus International Ministry that will get all these documents released, set this woman free, and open her ways of blessings? Speak louder. Remember, we are not bargaining. Speak quickly. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> right now, I sell fire to you, queen of the coast. Remember the snake. Idols, witches, and wizards. <sighs> and I command all of you to be destroyed. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. She told me. <laughs> She talks about the children, the daughters, and she talks <clears throat> about bleeding, fibroids, and various operations. What do you know about them? <laughs> what do you know about them? <laughs> The mysterious sicknesses of the daughters. What do you know about them? <laughs> Speak louder. We wanted her to suffer with her children because she's got beautiful children. We just want her children to suffer. Not to have children with a man, not to have marriages, we just want them to suffer. Are you aware that you, unclean spirits, are undergoing total destruction now, and are the children, the mother, and also the husband of this woman will be totally set free? Are you aware? <sighs> Speak louder. <sighs> Fear the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
I sent fire to the marine world, to the queen of the coast. I command your evil crowns to be destroyed. <laughs> your evil thrones to be destroyed. I send fire to the wombs of the daughters, and I command your evil sicknesses and diseases, fibroids, cyst, and the like to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. It is happening already. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> that has already happened. We are not beginning. I send fire to the spiritual husband and to the snake. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. I send fire to all powers of darkness in this body, idols, witches, and wizards, Lucifer, Satan. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> I send fire to all her documents, her files, her certificates, her spiritual life, her marriage, every member of the family, and I command genuine deliverance to take place. Let there be spiritual separation. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. You will be the one to confirm. Fire! I send fire to her spine, her back, her womb, the face, the mind. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. The monetary mirror is completely destroyed. The queen of the coast is totally destroyed. The wicked mamba, the serpent, have been destroyed. The spiritual husband is totally destroyed. Turn the name of Jesus Christ! I command her life, her blessings, her finances and marriage, her children, her destiny and future to be moved and completely taken out of the kingdom of darkness and to be permanently placed into the kingdom of God forever. I can see that happening. In the name of Jesus Christ, the moving objects, satanic cobwebs, are totally destroyed. Pull out your garments. Pull out everything you have planted in her. Everything. <laughs> Remove the joblessness, setback, failure, fear, confusion, depression, bitterness, lack of affection. Put them out. Fear the name of Jesus Christ. Uh. 
Este. ¡Fin de nuevo! ¡Jesus Christ! I send fire to every part of our body where the evil powers are located. Her face, the eyes, the eyes, the head, the hands, the womb, the back. Turn the mirror, Jesus Christ. Right now, I command her and everyone you are possessed to be completely delivered and to be given a new heart from God. The new heart is coming now. Receive! Watch. The new heart is entering now that cannot be controlled by snake, serpent, spiritual husband, and all the powers of darkness in this body. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. <sighs> Amen. Completely delivered. Watch. Drop your spectacle and speak freely. Drop your spectacle and speak freely. Your names. What happened to you during the prayers? Say that clearly. <laughs> Why are you shedding tears? What happened? The husband can position the camera so he also can be accommodated. Why are you shedding tears? What happened? Uh, it's the Lord, man of God, I'm going to so when you said Jesus, I know because I've been going to deliverance. Even when I pray by myself, I know I feel the snakes moving in my body. When I just command the python to leave, especially the no scream like this, so I didn't have control. I just screamed. And, yeah, I just feel a light in my head. I've been experiencing headaches for three weeks. Um, I could take medication, it won't go. Only when I pray, it goes away. So even prayer has been difficult because the headache sometimes is so much, I can't read anything. Yeah, so it's just emotional. Now remove your hand and check. How are you now after the prayers? Mm -hmm. I feel lighter. My head feels very light. I think what has been so much of a problem is my head. And I just used to feel like something is wrapping around my neck. Like it's choking me out to my husband. Like I feel like something is choking me. Then I really get a bad headache. And it's been going on only when I pray. I feel better. But I know it doesn't go away completely. But now, what do you believe has happened to you? I believe in God has taken it away. I feel different. It's just that right now it's confusing. I feel cool, like something is cooling me, uh, especially my legs. 
and I was feeling like my head was really shaking now. I can't feel it. Check yourself and tell the world how you are now after the prayers. My head really has been a problem and I just feel different. I feel my head feels really lighter. It feels so light, though I'm feeling like I'm shaking, but I'm feeling so light. And my chest, even earlier when you played the video, earlier when we started watching, something was just sitting here. I was like, it's sitting here. Now I can't feel anything on my chest because I was feeling this thing. I'm telling my husband that, you know, when he was preaching, and when you pray just before you started the testimonies, I was actually feeling something like it's popping out of my chest. But now I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. It's just not there. It's Who just, has it's, set you free? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I know he's done it before, and I know he will still set me free, and I'll still be free. I'm just so happy. I think I'm just emotional because it's just been too much, especially when I see my kids sick and my husband and I, we have such a good relationship, but sometimes we can't just talk. We are the best friends. We live together, but you see yourself like, how do I live with a man who is actually there, but is not your husband? So it's just, I think I'm just so emotional and I didn't expect that I was going to get this prayer today and I only started watching the channel. I know about Christopher Oji, and I watch your preachings. I subscribe and watch, but it didn't. I just said to myself, like, I'm going to write, a, I'm going to send an email. I sent an email. I didn't receive feedback. I said, I'm going to get WhatsApp and call. And I wasn't expecting anything so quickly. I was feeling so excited when I saw the message come yesterday, and I was like, this is too early. So even yesterday, I was like anxious, anxiety, and checking, but I was happy. I don't know why I was feeling happier inside myself just before the prayer. So I think it's just so emotional for me, like this screaming, like I, I couldn't even control myself. I couldn't control. And I just feel lighter because it's like something presses me on my body. Those things that have been delivered, I mean, destroyed by the Father or the Spirit of God are not meant to return. So free your heart. Your deliverance is permanent. Make sure you stay away from a life of sin. Come back. Your documents in the home affair and other areas will be instantly released. So you have to push forward, remind them, and this time around they will work on them. And you will have you. everything you're supposed to have. Okay? Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Tell your children okay. to connect. They need prayers of deliverance. It is very important. Okay. Thank you very Thank you. much. God bless you. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. Sir, you have witnessed things happening in your own eyes and in your presence. What do you have to say? Just say thank you to Jesus. Thank you to Jesus. Your ways are opened. You get ready for your testimonies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Madam God. Shalom. 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 They have to take note of the prophetic messages and make sure they obey. All right. We've just started and we are going to continue. As I said, everyone who is part of this Zoom meeting for prayers here will be graciously attended to. They have to be in an attitude of prayers. They have to get ready. Let their spirit rise up um, to receive prayers. They have to concentrate and obey the rules. Shalom. Hello. Kindly introduce yourselves. My name is Uti uh, Dahel Masamola. I'm from South Africa. And this is my wife, Ruth Masamola. 
Yeah, both from South Africa. All right. What do you do for a living? I'm a full time minister. I'm an apostle. We have a church. Uh, we are we are ministering here in, in South Africa. Um, now we the, we are, the church is closed now. We we are trying to um, embark to another journey to start another ministry in a certain area. Okay, where are you speaking from in South Africa? Which part? Which province? Limpopo, sir. Limpopo, that's what? Wonderful. Limpopo. Yes. All right. What do you want God Almighty, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit to do for you? I want God to forgive me my sins. I have a, a bit of an anger, and I have a... Uh, uh, a problem of pornography and masturbation, and uh, I had uh, a problem, uh, uh, generational curses. Ever since I've been born again, I've never been delivered from all those things that uh, follow me from my uh, gen my mother's house, my mother's place side, and my father's side. Both they have some problems. Uh, um, so recently. We have started a ministry. I'm 12 years in the ministry right now. Uh, everything that I've started is not working all right. It's not coming all right. Uh, we've been struggling going to one place to another. Um, my wife, she's uh, she's not getting a job. She's now uh, at uh, what do you call? Practical. Practical. They're doing practical in uh, a certain uh, department, education. So they've, they've not, I, I'm praying, I, I, I'm asking God to permanent, permanent her. And then my kids, so that my, my, my daughter is doing grade 12, I'm asking God to grant her opportunity to pass well and protection for my family and my, my, my kids. And also God to open doors for the ministry. And I pray for my family to be delivered from their ancestral spirits. All right, it is not a crime to choose to worship God in spirit and in truth. Satan has got no right. Even the idols have no right to keep monitoring your life, stopping you from worshiping God in truth and in spirit. So the forces of darkness that have been actively fighting against your life will be destroyed any moment from now so get ready for that let us hear from your wife madam kindly introduce yourself and tell us what you want god to do for you i'm ruth nasamola from south africa in limpopo currently staying at Kulukwami. i want god to forgive my sins uh commit to abortions from past years, I uh, want God to forgive me, and also I'm ready to pray these days. I want God to strengthen me to continue to pray each and every day. I want God to help my family. My brothers are drinking too much. My mother, she's sick, chest pains, and asthma. So I love God to help me. All right, we are going to pray for you. God loves every repentant soul. The time to be ashamed of yourself is not this time because you have already confessed. Confession is like handing over your sins to God. They are no longer part of you. You are no longer going to be punished as a result of those sins that are confessed. No. It's not like, what will people say? Will my problem be solved like that? You must know that your problems are already solved now, even as you're speaking. 
Amen. So you must form that belief in your heart. Amen. Okay? Feel free, you have confessed, the enemies have lost the battle. Meaning the victory belongs to you, your husband and your family. Get ready for prayers. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Now call the name Jesus Christ and get ready for deliverance. Jesus. Jesus. All of you should come together, open up your heart and call the name Jesus. Jesus. Again. Jesus. Again. Jesus. Put Christ. Call the name Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you tormenting them? They have the right to choose whom to worship. Why are you afflicting them, causing them setback, limitation, hardship, joblessness? Who gave you the right? I send fire from God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, and I command deliverance to take place. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ! Yeah. I send fire to your spirit and I stand against the forces of darkness that have been hiding to operate. Holy Ghost, fill the name of Jesus Christ. Leave them alone. You wicked spiritual wife, spiritual husband. Marine agents in charge of ministry destruction. Your end has come. Holy Ghost, fill the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! Fear! I command your sins to be forgiven. Right now, receive eternal life, and I stand against demons. I stand against forces operating in your dream world. Holy Ghost, fill the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! Fear! Your spirit of snake that slows down everything in their lives. I command you to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, fill in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, receive your complete deliverance. Receive complete redemption. Receive eternal life. Receive the spirit of righteousness and a kingdom of God into your hearts. Receive! In the name of Jesus Christ, I command your life to receive blessings. Yeah. Receive your breakthroughs. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. Amen. Yeah. So get ready to testify. Read the book of Psalm chapter. Ninety one, Psalm chapter sixty. Take note of verses ten 
or Psalm chapter 60, and then read Psalm 18. Psalm 18. Isaiah 61. Come back for your testimonies. Shalom. 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 Thank you, man of God. Thank you. Viewers, I hope you are praying along. Remember, in this part of the world, the assignment has already started. This is Monday. Meaning the assignment has already started. Shalom. Shalom, men of God. You can shift back. I do not believe that there is anything that Satan has destroyed that will not be restored by God. God himself is the restorer. God restores everything for his own glory. God cannot be stopped by Satan and all his evil agents. If there is anything that is destroyed in your life, if there is anything that is causing you pain, making you to be unhappy, depressed, and confused, you must know that they are not coming from God. They are coming from Satan. Satan had been defeated many years ago, 2,000 years ago. He remains a defeated foe that will be constantly defeated by all the children of God. You are not inferior. You are not too weak to be used by God to conquer this evil enemy, Satan himself. You must not be intimidated and forced to surrender to Satan's threats and evil strategies. You are born as a winner, one who wins with God. You will continue to live your life as a winner. Your ignorance should be turned into knowledge so you can take your position in the believer's authority. We are called to tear down the kingdoms of Satan and to set all the captives free. They do not need to pay money for this, for we are not the one doing the job, but God in us operating to set his children free all around the world. Feel free to receive what God has for you. They are yours and must remain yours. In other words, they are yours and must not be taken and kept nor destroyed by Satan. Good health is yours. Complete healing, total freedom from pain and the like are yours. Blessings that come with uncommon peace from God. Blessings that will last forever are yours and must not be destroyed by Satan. Total freedom from sins and sinful desires are also yours. So these are the things that God created you and members of your family to experience, I mean to receive. If you have not received them, get ready to receive them now. 
for the one that gets Satan and his evil agents and kingdom destroyed has positioned himself to fight for you. I have never seen where Satan conquers God. God always conquers and he will conquer for you today. If Satan is coming to your conscience, to your heart, to your soul, spirit, and mind to tell you that you have committed grievous sins that cannot be forgiven by God. Remind him, let him know, and let him respond to you. Who did Jesus Christ die for on the cross of Calvary? For himself, Jesus, or for you, the sinner? If the answer is for you, the sinner, then he has got no spiritual right. To use your errors, your sins, your mistakes, and the like to hold your blessings. If sins are committed, they are committed to be forgiven. Who forgives sins? God himself. Who redeems sinners? Jesus Christ himself. He used his blood to pay the spiritual sacrifice that was not paid by any human being. There is no other sacrifice that needs to be paid for your redemption. He paid with his own blood. I mean, Jesus Christ paid with his own blood your full and complete redemption. Your heart must not accuse you anymore. Your conscience should hear the voice of God and must stop accusing you. You are created to be free within your conscience, within your heart, and within your mind. You are created not to be condemned by anyone. Jesus went for that condemnation, to the blame, to the punishment, took your place in sin. So you can be presented to God as someone who has no single sin. Start seeing yourself in that way and start living your life in that way. This is why we have this online service. It does not matter where you are. It does not matter what you are going through. It does not matter the magnitude of your troubles, the one who is capable of saving your life and reaching you with long-lasting blessings is about to fight for you. Get ready to welcome him. God bless you. If you see anything that you cannot do happening now, don't give that glory to me. I'm a human being. We are all spectators watching what God will do any moment from now. Do not return glory to me. Return glory to God himself, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. If you can't do anything, God can. If you can't say anything, God can. If you can't stop anything, God can. If you cannot save, God can. If you cannot deliver, God can. If you cannot cure or heal, God can. If you cannot heal, cure, forgive, Shalom, men of God. Kindly shift back and speak freely. Introduce yourself. Thank you very much. I am really happy to be part of this meeting. My name is Precious Matzewanzira. I am from Zimbabwe. I am currently working as a procurement officer for a local authority here in Zimbabwe. Wonderful. What do you want God Almighty to do for you? I would like God to forgive me of my sins, fornication, sexual immorality, lying, all evil deeds which I might have done, 
knowingly or unknowingly, prayerlessness, and also the issue of not studying the word of God or meditating upon it. What else do you want God Almighty to do for you, health-wise, career-wise, and marriage-wise? Uh, thank you, man of God. I would like God to restore my health. As I am speaking right now, I am feeling something in my stomach. Uh, after the hiccups of the network, uh, when I was praying, I felt something was moving in my stomach. I also feel uh, there's a moving object. I remember when I was 18, I even showed my little uh, auntie, I saw something that was moving just above my knee. And up to today, I'm now 38 years old. This thing is still moving in my body. When I'm asleep, I also feel a spirit, or it's more like a wind that cometh to me when I'm asleep. The more that the spirit will be drawing closer to me, I will be losing power. And the spirit then will attack me. Then I will start to pray in my dreams. I will even speak in tongues in the dreams. And then I will overcome. I also see myself in the dream mingling with the, my dead relatives. At the same time, it was in my dreams. I feel something always choke me. Even after the prayer, the midnight prayers, when I go to sleep, something come choking me. I don't even know what will be happening. Also, my man of God, in my dreams, I also see bulls attacking me. And it's only the spirit of God that will then uh, give me the strength to fly high so that I will escape the attack of these bulls. So it is, this is also my, my prayer request, man of God. And uh, in my business also, a man opening investment, that's the name of my company. I also pray that God will open the doors uh, for the company. Not only that man of God, I am also a world of master of science degree in supply chain management. But like I said before, that I am a procurement officer for a local authority. But there are people who are just holders of degrees, but they are, they are occupying higher positions than mine. I also want God to restore my marriage. I want God to break the chain, familiar spirits. My sisters are not getting married. I've been praying, oh God, set them free. Oh God, break the chains. They are not getting married. My mom, she has not been feeling well. I came in this room two days ago. I prayed for her, and I said, oh God, you, my mom, she's our the pillar of strength. She's a prayer warrior, she saved you. And I, I'm happy to say that she's a recovering woman of God. All right, don't worry. Your issues are not um, big enough. They are just very small that God can easily handle. No Amen. matter how big your circumstances look like, God Amen. owns your life and has the grace to uh, destroy these circumstances and set you and members of your family free. Amen. So focus on God, not on these circumstances, and get ready for your freedom. You may have been suffering for long but this moment is your moment of freedom free your heart Amen. and get ready for that are you Amen. ready to be set free and truly delivered i am more than a ready man of god when do you want to be set free right now in the name of jesus now call the name jesus christ by faith and Jesus. get ready for your freedom. Jesus Christ. Let your heart connect to him. Call the name Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Again. 
Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command your sins to be forgiven. And I command your life to be totally separated from evil spirits. The Holy Ghost, fill the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be spiritual separation. You idols, spiritual wives, neck. Queen of the coast, spirit of sexual immorality, witches and wizards, I send fire to all of you and I command your evil presence in his life to be destroyed. Holy Ghost, fill the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! Leave him alone. Right now, receive your complete deliverance, healing, blessings, and salvation. Receive eternal life. Receive. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive a pure heart. Both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. And amen. 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 So get ready for your amazing testimonies. No one will be able to stop these testimonies. Come back and share them. Amen. Thank you, man of God. May God continue to bless you for the work that you are doing for us. Glory be to God. He has listened to the message. He has to be forward-looking. He must know that all his problems are solved. And he has to believe that. Your only assignment is to believe the one God has sent to you. Who is the one God has sent to you? His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God. He has been sent to set you and members of your family free. Viewers, don't forget that we are also going to offer prayers for viewers all around the world. So don't go away. Shalom. 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 Shalom, men of God. Introduce yourselves. Yes, I'm the father of the house. My name is uh, Zakaria Mukwira. I am from Cape Town. South Africa, but we are original from Zimbabwe. And mm -hmm. here is my wife. And my name is Nomsa Mukwira. I'm calling from Cape Town, South Africa. I'm original from Zimbabwe. Um, my name is Deborah Mukwira, and I'm originally from Zimbabwe. Um, my name is Darren Mukwira, and I'm also from Zimbabwe. My name is Sepo Chide Mukwira. Also from Zimbabwe, my parents, my brother, and my sister. <clears throat> All right. What do you want the living God Almighty, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit to do for you? Yes. Thank you so much, uh, man of God. I've been waking, uh, waiting for this uh, great opportunity. Yes, I want to confess of my sins. Um, I am a sinner. I have the spirit of anger, uh, also the spirit of lust, self-righteousness, uh, also the spirit of uh, adultery, 
in the family. Uh, the reason why I came uh, to this um, seat of Jesus is that I had problems uh, with my children, as it were, because um, some time, uh, two years ago, we were prayed for, but uh, they seem to be lagging behind. So as uh, parents being uh, caretakers, so I noticed that uh, my firstborn was not uh, sleeping in the house, uh, getting to be wayward, being uh, drinking alcohol, uh, sleeping around, and also smoking. And then my second child also joined in also uh, doing the same uh, smoking and also at times drinking. And then lastly, my daughter, uh, she was doing very, very well uh, in school. But last year, when she was about to, hear, to write her end of year metric, she began to be wayward and was not also um, listening to our advice. So many times we were quarreling, even fighting, and then also refusing also to take part in uh, going to the church. So this is the reason why I came to Hojim, so that God can intervene to help uh, my family. All right, let's hear from you. Yes, um, I came to the Zoom meeting because of my family. First of all, I will speak about myself. I like God to help me from the spirit of unforgiveness and anger and grudges. This is the main point. This is the main thing that is troubling me so much, the unforgiveness. I want to get rid of this spirit that is tormenting me for, for many years. And I want to receive, the only thing that I want to receive today, I want to receive the Holy Spirit. I don't have anything that I can ask from God. It's only the Holy Spirit. And the other thing that I'm uh, asking God to help me is deliver my kids for me. Especially my first son, he is a brilliant boy. He, is, he has a, a diploma in photography, but now he's just wasting his life around smoking and drinking, alcohol, sleeping around. As you can see, he's now looking like an old person, but I'm not happy as a mother. I'm not happy to tell the truth. I'm not Let happy. him see the God so we can see him again. Yes. Yeah. And then, yeah. then my son, my second son, is also supposed to do chefing course. So we are working on taking him to do the course. But now, because he is at home, he's starting to drink and smoke again. And then he sometimes gets slow in thinking. So I want to go to help me to deliver my son. And then my daughter, she was a brilliant girl. She used to pass the school every time. But when she arrived grade 12, at the end of the year, mm -hmm. she failed. Now she's writing again this year. Tomorrow, she, today she's writing uh, physics, uh, maths mm -hmm. and physics, she failed. So I want God to help me to, to deliver these kids for me. I know I come from a family of ancestral spirit. Sometimes I feel the uh, the the snuff. the snuff smelling in my nose, and there's something that it's like I'm carrying something in my back, mm -hmm. and then the pain in my heart. So, because I always pray, I say, God, one day this thing will get off me, and I'll be free and free indeed. Okay, let us hear from them, starting from the your eldest child, this, your son. Go ahead. Um, Shalom. Shalom. Men of God, um, I personally struggle with Introduce yourself <laughs> and how old you are. Okay, my, my name is Tepo, and I'm 26 years old. I just wanted to ask God, to help me change my life, make me a, a different person, because I'm, 
addicted to smoking weed and I drink a lot. I I have anger issues. I love friends and I phone I fornicate. I'm just like I'm challenged with disappointment, so it, it tends to make me find alcohol as a thing that's gonna make me feel better about myself. And I, I was studying electrical engineering, and then I dropped out last year because I would find myself sleeping in class, and I would I just if bad friends, I just. I make bad decisions in a lot of cases, and I find I, I do something without thinking of the end result. I just do things. I just want to ask God to help me with that, to help me think properly and to make us be good also, because men of God, we sometimes, we stay as a family every day, but I wouldn't say I know them, because we do we don't communicate. The only time we talk to each other is when we shouting to each other. We we never talk. I don't know, but I need help. Don't worry, go on. If you are willing to be helped, you should be willing to repent. If you say, God help me, it means you are saying, I drop my past. Don't go back to them. Okay? Let me encourage you. There is no one in this world who is righteous. Everyone is a sinner. Everybody. So don't condemn yourself. Don't say, I dropped out. The end has come to my career. I don't think I can make it again. So let me just calm myself down by drinking alcohol, smoking, and becoming wayward. You are still very, very young. So what happened to you um, simply serves as a life lesson for you to know uh, how to appreciate God, and how to appreciate a life without addiction. Do you understand now? Yes, men of God. So at what age did you start um, living this kind of life, smoking, drinking alcohol and living waywardly. I would say since I was 14. Okay, so there is nothing that is destroyed by Satan that cannot be restored by God. You just have to stop admiring Satan and his urge to commit yes. sin. Yes, Admire God, love him with all your heart and he will set you free. Yes. If you are serious, you will go back to school by the grace of God and complete your course. Yes. The only thing you need to do is to tell yourself that you can do it. If the urge come to smoke, tell yourself, no, I was not born a smoker, so you cannot come and control me. If the urge comes for you to go and drink alcohol, you can tell yourself, no, I'm created to obey God. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I can use it to drink alcohol, I can smoke, and I cannot use it to commit sexual immorality. Did you hear that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, so nothing is destroyed yet. You are still brilliant, you are still focused, your focus is not broken. Okay? Yes. Thank you, thank you, Mary, for this. So, do that so you can go back to school and continue your studies. Let's hear from your yes. younger brother. Introduce yourself. Uh, shalom, men of God. Shalom. Uh, my name is Dar my name is Darren Dapen Guira, and uh, uh, I came here today. Uh, How first of all, old I are you? To, I am twenty years old. Okay. okay, I came here today. I wanted firstly to for forgiveness because I committed a sin of um, watching pornography, um, 
addicted to masturbation, smoking, drinking, what do you drink? Sorry. What do you drink? Drink alcohol. Um oh drink alcohol and I smoke also vape in pipe. And uh, also spirit of anger. And also man of God, I also wanted to pray about my college as I what applied for Sheffield College and uh Ever since I applied, nothing has been moving forward. So I went to drinking alcohol and smoking pipe as a way of like comfort to me. So I'm asking God for forgiveness for the sins that I committed. There is no comfort in sin. There is no comfort in addiction. There is no comfort in, I mean, drunkenness. There is no comfort in smoking. There is not even anything called enjoyment in sexual immorality. So if you want the comfort of life, then you should look for God. God is holiness, self-control, and the like. As I said to your elder brother, Satan is just trying to destroy you, destroy your elder brother, destroy your younger sister, so that this family will become a useless family. You should not allow that. You have not destroyed beyond repair. Your life is not destroyed beyond repair. You are still very young. So you've learned what it is to be addicted. You also should learn what it is to quit. You can say no. I refuse to be useless in this family. I cannot continue to be addicted. I cannot continue to live a life of sin. So no matter the strong urge and conviction to continue, you should repent and say no. Resist that temptation. Okay? That which you submitted that has not been working, that does not mean that it will not work. When you fully repent and try again, you will get it. What did I say? I must uh, find a way to stay away from sin. And then when I do that, then the things that I uh, apply will work. It will work, okay? You can reapply and everything will work. Let's hear from your sister. Uh, shalom, men of God. Shalom. My name is Deborah Shandel Mugwira, and I'm 18 years old. Um, I would love God to forgive me from the spirit of fear, anger, failure, as well as stubbornness, rebellion, and um, yeah, that's all. And especially failure last year, I wrote metric and um, when I got my results, they didn't come out nicely. So it really confused me and thinking like what I should do next. But I know God has a way for me. Yeah. All right. Failure is not um, permanent. Failure um if properly managed, can produce success. Okay? Sometimes people get themselves better taught when they fail. So your experiences in life are the best teachers. Anytime you fail, you should also know that you can still succeed. Don't let the weight of failure drag you to the pit of destruction, pit of sin. Okay? So you can continue what you are doing, 
rewrite, but you have to study first. You have to start preparing as if you are writing an exam. Go back to where you have stopped, meaning you know the things you do not know. Something you're supposed to know so you can write and pass, which you did not know. Go back to those things. Don't say I'm too big. Don't say I'm shameful. It is a shameful thing. Go back and start learning them. You can learn them. Okay? And once you know them, then you can apply and write again. And by the grace of God, you will pass. Did you hear what I said? And stay away from ungodly groups. There are unclean friends you are associating yourself with. You have to stay away from that. You are addicted to social media handles. Got to repent. You watch this, you watch that. Likewise, all of them, they do the same. Everybody should repent. Did you hear what I said? Yes. All of you are blessed and talented children. Satan has seen your talents and what you are becoming. So he has just decided to afflict you people with this kind of sinful lifestyle so he can destroy the destiny God has for you. But he has failed. Okay? As you repent, he has failed and will continue to fail. Let us pray. The parents should stop looking at them as failed children. Life never completely closes the door to divine opportunities. There is grace for someone to repent. Once you repent, you should not be seen as, as, um, an, I mean, as someone who is still living in sin. Don't begin to tell. You started again. You started again. Okay, learn to speak to them in a very matured way and lead them in the path of holiness. Okay, are you all ready for prayers? Yes, yes. now open up the door of your heart and call the name Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ again. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command all your sins to be washed away by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Receive forgiveness and eternal life. I stand against Satan the destroyer. These are children of God. You've got no right to destroy them. I send fire to you, evil spirits, and I command you, evil spirits, to be destroyed. Leave them alone. Holy Ghost, fill the name of Jesus Christ. Fire! You wicked spirit of addiction, idols, Sexual immorality, drunkenness, laziness, stubbornness. Holy Ghost, fill the name of Jesus Christ. I command your life to be sanctified and blessed by God. Let your destroyed destinies be restored by the mighty power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Play your individual roles. Study your books. Okay? Resist temptation. Obey the words. The words of God. And come back for your testimonies. Shalom. Shalom. Satan has lost again. He cannot continue to write on this family. To destroy their lives their careers, and their destinies. They are children of God and must not be touched by Satan.
שלום. Stay tuned, we will be right back. Follow these nine easy steps to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministries, Kojim. Step 1. Visit our website, www.kojim.org, and click on Give in the menu. If you're using a mobile device, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner of your mobile device screen and find the Give link. Step 2. Click on Donate on the Local Donations option if you are within Nigeria. Step 3. Kindly send your donations to any of the bank account numbers listed. Or Step 4. Click on Donate on the International Donations option if you are outside Nigeria. Step 5. Choose between Bank Wire Transfer or Online Payment options. Step 6. If you choose to use the Bank Wire Transfer option, Please see the account details listed therein. Step 7. If you chose the online payment option, please fill the form and submit it. Step 8. Please state the purpose of your donation on the payment slip or the comment notes section of your bank transfer app. LOGIF Partnership LOGIF Partnership Support the care of the poor, orphans, widows and widowers. Offering Use this for your offering, seed sowing, and thanksgiving offering. Tithe, one-tenth of your earning only. To donate to the church new site building fund. Step 9. Send proof of payment to any of the following. Email donations at kojim.org or you can WhatsApp, SMS or call on plus 234-7043-315-405. Follow these nine easy steps to part Beware of fraudsters. Shalom. It has come to our notice that some fraudsters parade themselves as Kojim representatives. Please do not accept any phone numbers or bank details from anyone other than those published on the Kojim official website, www.kojim.org. Our official bank details are listed on our website, www.kojim.org. give also, our official phone numbers and email addresses are listed below. The prayer lines, plus 234-906-628-0263 or plus 234-813-303-0917. The testimonies line, plus 234-815-960-2829. The donations line, plus 234-704. 3315405 Our email address is info at kojim.org Freely I receive from God. Freely I give. Beware of fraudsters. Shalom. It has come to our notice that some fraudsters parade themselves as Kojim representatives. Please do not accept any phone numbers or bank details from anyone other than those published on the Kojim official website, www.kojim.org. Our official bank details are listed on our website, www.kojim.org. give Also, our official phone numbers and email addresses are listed below. The prayer lines, plus 234-906-628. 0263 or plus 234-813-303-0917 The Testimonies Line plus 234-815-960-2829 The Donations Line plus 234-704-331-5405 Our email address is info at kojim.org Freely I receive from God Freely, I give. Viewers, anywhere you are, we appreciate your genuine love for God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Christopher Oji, 
by the fruit of the Holy Spirit in me, I shall be known. God bless you. Be in an attitude of prayers. Let your heart, your mind and conscience, let your soul, spirit and body connect themselves to God, to Jesus Christ and to the Holy Spirit. This is what we mean by be in an attitude of prayers. Have you connected your life to God? If the answer is yes, let us pray. Father, we thank you for we are here as children and you are with us to get our sins forgiven. You are with us to get our lives sanctified by the purity that is only found in your holy words. You are with us so we can enjoy your mercy and favor. Your children are here before you asking for the forgiveness of their sins, asking for your divine mercy to speak for them, asking for your river of heavenly blessings to flow into their lives and family. They want to be separated from hardship, sickness, disease, setback, loneliness, rejection, evil attacks, demonic possessions, and the influence of the evil spirits. You said at the beginning, let the light be separated from the darkness. And it was so. Let the lives of your children be separated from Satan, Lucifer, snake, poverty, hardship, disease, sins and sinful desires. Shalom, men of God. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Matapelo Mokhosi. I'm from Limpopo, but currently in Val University of Technology during my last year. What course are you studying? I'm studying safety management. Great. And what do you want God Almighty to do for you? Um, I'd like God to forgive me for my sins, which are smoking, drinking, um, lying, uh, pornography, masturbating, unforgiveness. Okay, so um, how has this life of sin affected your health, your career, I mean your studies? Um, it has affected my studies uh, in a way, in a way where I'm a bit. Oh, my course, my course is for three years, and I'm currently doing it for four, four, four years, six months now. So I was a bit back. It drew me a bit back. It took most of my time because of drinking and smoking. It gave me a setback. How did you come study. about these kind of habits and at what age? I started when I got here, when I got to varsity. And then you were how many years old when you started that uh, lifestyle? Uh, 2015, I finished my trip, I was 18, 19, 20. I was 20, 20 or 21. Do, 20 or 21. Do you believe that God will come into your life now and forgive you and set you free? Yes, I do. Yes, I believe you will. All right, then sit back, open up your heart for him to come in and call the name Jesus for your salvation. Call in him Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Let your spirit connect to God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Now call in him Jesus Christ again. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. 
I send the fire of the Holy Spirit to your heart. And I stand against spiritual husband, idols, snake, queen of the coast. Fear the name of Jesus Christ. Leave her alone. Leave her mind alone. Fear the name of Jesus Christ. I command the spirit of addiction, sexual immorality, masturbation and loss to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now receive the forgiveness of your sins and total deliverance. Receive eternal life. Receive a pure heart. Receive your blessings and breakthroughs. Fill her with the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God has forgiven you and set you free. You got to prepare for your exams. Okay? Thank you. And I'm seeing you, you passing this time around, not fairly. So you, Amen. you need to give yourself um, a spiritual task. Study your Bible and study your books and stay away from your past, okay? You can do that. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Viewers, anywhere you are, remember that you are greater, more loved, more valued by God than any unseen enemies. Even if you have committed sin, you are not condemned by God. If you are seeing any condemnation, they are happening because of the activities of evil spirits within. God does not condemn his children. He knows that his children are not perfect. He allowed Jesus Christ to pay the price. Feel free to come to him. Don't condemn yourself. And don't become suicidal and depressed because of your lifestyle or past life. Let us continue to listen to others. Shalom. Hello, man of God. How are you? We are very blessed. Thank you. We thank the Lord for this grace to have you, man of God, pray for us and our families. Oh, wonderful. Kindly introduce yourselves. Um, my name is Susan Busangabanye, and this is my mother sitting beside me. Introduce yourself. My name is Nancy Maina, and I'm um, from Kenya. Yes, we are both from Kenya. Wonderful. What do you do for a living in Kenya? Okay, um, I am currently working um, uh, in the family business, and my mom? I am retired for about now almost 20 years, so okay. I have my house. Okay, so what do you want the living God Almighty, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit to do for you? I would like uh, the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive me for my sins, to heal me uh, for diabetes, which is affecting my eyes, high blood pressure, soul and legs, uh, piles, and I would like uh, the Lord to deliver me from, uh, from anger, fear, doubt, and impatient. Also, I'd like to be delivered from eating at night 
dreaming with dead people, familiar spirits, and also for salvation for my husband and for my son, my daughter's marriage and my son's marriage, of God's will to be done. All right, let's hear from her. Go ahead. Okay. Um, man of God, I'd like to ask our Lord Jesus Christ to forgive me um, uh, for um, um, a jealousy, for envy, um, uh, for the sin of um, uh, unforgiveness and holding offense, for the sin of pride and arrogance, for uh, having a judgmental spirit, um, from, uh, I'm a spirit of anger. When I get angry, I tend to put people down. Um, a, uh, I all, yes, I'm a, and then I'd want I'm a, the Lord Jesus Christ to please I'm a, a, uh, show me the way to go as far as my marital life is concerned. Um, uh, I am currently separated from my husband. We've been separated for now about five years. And I'm, uh, I've been waiting I'm, uh, for God to release me. And I don't really know uh, I'm, uh, whether um, I'm, uh, we are to stay together or to be apart because I'm, uh, uh, we both come from I'm, uh, a a lineage whereby there's polygamy. Um, my husband uh, currently has four children from four different mothers, myself included. Um, so um, uh, I've been uh, praying for God's intervention in that matter to show me the way to go. Um, I'd also want career breakthrough. Um, uh, uh, a financial breakthrough, business breakthrough. Um, I'd also like to pray for my father. Uh, currently, he's going um, uh, through a court case um, uh, with a uh, uh, Kenyan authority um, uh, that um, uh, a, a God may intervene in that court case because it's um, uh, giving him quite some stress. I'd also like to pray for my daughter. She's 21 years old. She's been suffering from seized menstruation um, from the time her menstrual cycle started when she was around uh, 11 years old. She's been having maybe um, uh, 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 her menstruation once or twice a year or not at all. Um, I'd also want to pray for her for um, uh, um, she suffers from obesity. She's been struggling to lose weight um, and also to pray for her educational breakthrough. She finished her um, uh, if, uh, uh, upper sixth form uh, about um, uh, two to three years ago. Um, she's been working in um, uh, a field that she's very interested in, but she's uh, been unable to make up her mind about the cause in university that um, uh, 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 um, uh, she should undertake. She's very undecided as to what to study. So um, uh, that is giving um, uh, my parents and myself some concern. Um, uh, we've been praying for more clarity clarity from our Lord Jesus Christ. I'd also like to pray um, uh, for salvation of uh, all my family members who are not saved and um, uh, for deliverance for, 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 for my family from the spirit of anger, from the spirit of pride and uh, 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 arrogance, from the spirit of jealousy, from all ancestral spirits, family idols, all curses, etc. All darkness. I just want darkness to be eliminated from my family, man of God. All right, you can tell your child to call for counseling. Yes. Okay. Let us pray. What was the cause of the um, marital challenges you're having? What happened between you and your husband? that brought about you staying somewhere and him staying in another place. What happened? Okay, um, um, there had been rumors that he had fathered a child and um, uh, he had denied it. And um, uh, he started um, uh, sleeping out a lot and he would say that um, uh, he's on business trips. And then the, I got a phone call and I prayed about it. Uh, uh, the phone call was from um, uh, the mother of the child who he got. And um, uh, uh, 
uh, eventually um, uh, I found out uh, by mistake that um, uh, uh, he had sired a, a son and um, uh, 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 he had been denying and um, uh, he, he, he didn't accept or deny, but the truth was out. And then um, uh, I told him that um, uh, I cannot be in a polygamous relationship. And um, uh, uh, I said to him that I would rather be alone than be with somebody who um, uh, has, um, uh, uh, is deceiving me in the marriage. Were, um, you not, still... were you not aware that he he was also having uh, various kids from various women at the beginning. Were you not aware? Yes, I was aware. So um, you two doubled into that kind of situation from the beginning when you were not repentant. Yes. So we are going to pray for you and you. let the will of God be done. Amen. Now free your heart and get ready for prayers. Amen. Call the name Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. Father, I ask for the forgiveness of their sins. Give them eternal life, healing and deliverance. I stand against evil spirits that are hiding to push them to live a life of sin. All evil spirits in charge of sicknesses and diseases, marital challenges. I send fire from heaven and I command these evil spirits to be destroyed. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire! Right now, receive your complete deliverance. I command your future to be sanctified and blessed by God. Receive your blessings. Receive your breakthroughs. Receive complete healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So Amen. you are free today. Amen. Thank you, men of God. Shalom. Shalom. A wonderful family from Kenya. They are going to testify soon. The mother should reduce her level of um, sugar intake. She should avoid sugary things that contain excess sugar. And she should get ready for her testimonies. The daughter as well, all of them have been touched by God. Shalom. 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 Tell us your names and where you are speaking from. My name is Susan Salmon. I'm in the US. I'm originally from Jamaica. What do you do this for what do you do for a living and what do you want God Almighty to do for you? I am a dressmaker. I want the Lord to forgive me of my sins, um, unforgiveness, malice, bitterness, anger. Yeah, um, Immorality, sexual immorality um, in the past. Yes. Shalom, man of God.
What else do you want God Almighty to do for you? Um, I need a breakthrough in my business. Um, since I've come to the U.S., um, I've not gotten a consistent clientele, and so things are not moving as I would like. Um, there's you know, stagnation, and I procrastinate sometimes, um, starting some things and not getting to finish. And um, presently, um, my marriage is not doing doing good. Um, my husband um, says that we are not on the same page, and so the relationship is not moving. And so um, I'm presently in the process of you know, looking somewhere to live. And um, I want the will of the Lord to be done in my life. I want to know what direction to take so that um, I, I want the will of the Lord to be done. I need his direction and his guidance. I could fulfill my purpose. What happened that led to you um, getting another place, looking for another place? What is happening to your well, life maritally? Well, my husband says he doesn't see us, um, the, the relationship going anywhere. He says that we don't communicate well, and so um, the house is, is about to lose the house as well. And so he said that we will not be moving together, so I should find somewhere to go. I'm not sure exactly the, the problem. He keeps saying that we don't communicate very well. Um, so. Do you have yes. children for him? No, sir. What happened? When we got married in 2015, I was actually married before when I was in Jamaica. I've had two miscarriages and then we met um, in 2012, we got married in 2015. I moved here to the U.S. in 2016. What do you believe that God himself, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit will do for you? I believe, especially since I've been connected um, to this ministry, at least I've, um, since 2014, I found out about Prophet TV Joshua. I've been following the scorn, and I'm a partner there, and I've been following the ministry and everything that goes on pretty much. And so I believe God has already made a way, and I'm trusting Him as His will be done. All right. Let's hear from the sister by your side, but then who is she to you? She's my friend. All right, let's hear from her. Go ahead. Shalom, man of God. Shalom. My name is Denise Roberts. I'm, as we, we're living in the, in the U.S. We're from, I'm from Jamaica. What do you do for a living? I work with kids. And what do you want God Almighty to do for you? I want the Lord to forgive me of my sins, anger, stubbornness, disobedience, disobedience, pride, lust, bad habits, sexual immorality, pornography, masturbation, lies, addiction to worthy things, offense, unforgiveness, indiscipline, procrastination, attention deficit, unbelief, doubt, fear, stealing, and laziness, and prayerlessness. All right, you've talked about your spiritual life, and that's why you're looking for forgiveness. What about other areas of your life, like your health, your career, your marriage, and your destiny? I'm sorry? 
What about other areas like your health, your career, your marriage, and your destinies? What do you want God to do for you? For my health, if I'm sick, I pray that he'll heal me. And, re and I pray for good health. Uh, marriage, me and my, none of my sisters are married. So I pray that he'll open our marital destiny, uh, restore marital destiny. And for our destiny, I want to walk in my God ordained destiny. All right, let us pray as you are willing to be delivered. Both of you have spiritual problems. They are coming from inside. The enemies are hiding within. You need total deliverance. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. Okay, let's believe in God and allow him to set his children free. Call the name Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You have to allow your heart to connect. If you believe in Jesus Christ, call his name for your salvation. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I send fire to witches and wizards, marine agents, and evil spirits, anti-marriage spirits. What are you doing in them? You serpent, the snake. What are you doing in them? They belong to God. I send fire from God down to you, evil spirits. Holy Ghost, from the name of Jesus Christ. Fill your hearts. Fear. You snake. You know you cannot hide. You wicked spiritual husband, you know you cannot hide. Fear the name of Jesus Christ. I sell fire to the deepest part of the married world. And I stand against the evil spirits that are attacking your destiny. Holy Ghost, fear the name of Jesus Christ. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Fear. I sell fire to your marriage and I stand against. All anti-marriage spirits, spiritual husbands, in the name of Jesus Christ. What are you doing in them? Why are you destroying them? Fear! Fill your heart. Fear. Fear. I command all evil marriages in the kingdom of darkness to be destroyed. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. I sell fire to the rings, evil crowns, fear the rings and crowns, fear, 
Pull them out quickly! Turn the mirror! Jesus Christ! You have been hiding for long and you cannot hide here. The fire is coming down heavier, going straight down to every part where the evil spirits are hiding. Turn the mirror, Jesus Christ! Live their jobs and careers. Fear! The spiritual husbands are undergoing total destruction. The idols that have been hiding to attack their lives are undergoing total destruction. Turn the mirror, Jesus Christ! The wicked marine spirits, the wind of darkness, cannot hide. I send far to the snake. Move! Turn the name of Jesus Christ! What are you doing here? Speak and answer me quickly! What are you doing in her? What have you done to her marriage and her career? <coughs> speak out and speak quickly. What have you done to her marriage, her career and her health? Towards the screen, the irresistible fire of the Holy Spirit is going down to all the evil spirits, tracing them one by one, tracing them one by one, and destroying them one by one. All of them. Uh. Turn the mirror, Jesus Christ! Oh. I send fire to the womb and to the snake and spiritual husband and I command these evil spirits with their evil poisons to be destroyed. Christ. Answer me quickly. What have you done to her? <coughs> I sent fire to the tongue. Fire the tongue. Fire the tongue. I turn your no to yes. Now speak. What have you done to her? What have you done to her? I send my fire to everywhere you are hiding in the water, in the air, in the darkness, 
Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. I sent fire to the back, the spine. Where you are moving, you smack. I sell fire to the mind, the shoulders, the brain, the heart. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Where are you in this body? Speak louder. Answer me quickly. Where are you in this body? Jesus Christ. Now answer me quickly. Where are you? What have you done to her, her marriage? <sighs> what have you done to her marriage and her career? <clears throat> Speak clearly and louder. What have you done to her marriage and her career? <clears throat> Speak louder. In the name of Jesus Christ, what have you done to our marriage and our career? You are speaking quickly. <laughs> I command your tongue to be loosed, and I command your evil secrets to be exposed. What have you done to her life? What have you done to her life, her marriage, her career, and her destiny? You evil spirits. What have you done to her? How did you destroy her life? <laughs> no! I sell fire to her evil crowns on her head. And I sell fire to her mind that you are controlling. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. <sighs> you wicked spiritual husband, snake, idols. I sell fire to your covenants and your evil rings. You cannot say no. I send a fire you have never witnessed before to all of you in the lives of these ladies. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove your covenant rings. Put them out. Pull out the rings. Pull them out quickly.
Let's see what you are doing. Pull the lens out. <coughs> Raise the fingers and pull them out. <coughs> I send more fire to the fingers and to the wings therein. Turn the never to eyes. Turn your heart, your heart, your heart. Your heart and your mind. Fear! 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 Spirit of madness, depression. Monitoring mirrors. Spirit of seduction. Seduction. Weakest neck and serpent. Turn the devil, Jesus Christ. None of you will escape. I send more fire to the river, to the oceans, to all swines, golden world, witches and wizards. Turn the devil, Jesus Christ. Fear, you spiritual husband. What have you done to this lady? What have you done to her and her marriage? Speak louder. I sell for her to her tongue, her mouth. The tongue. <laughs> Right inside. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. I send for her to her womb. Her back. Where you are calling, you snake. <laughs> <laughs> Tear her back, her back, her spine. Tear! Tear, you snake. What are you doing in this body, you snake? Speak louder. <laughs> <laughs> Fear! What are you doing in her? Why are you laughing? What have you done to her? <laughs> I sell for to witches and wizards and to the snake. <laughs> I'm going to kill her. <laughs> Why do you want to kill her? Why? I don't like her. <laughs> Who are you that wants to kill her? What are your names? <laughs> what are your names? And her sister, I'm going to kill them both. <laughs> what are your names? Who are you? That I'm sorry, you can't make me talk. <laughs> I send more I fire every to day. Every day I answer. <laughs> Say that again. I arrest her every day. <laughs> How do you arrest this lady every day? How? I harass her every day. How do you harass her every day? How do you harass her every day? How? <laughs> Who are you that have been harassing this lady every day? <laughs> what is your name? I'm not telling you. You are already uh, speaking. Right now, I send fire to your evil secrets. The fire is coming down. 
In the name of Jesus Christ. Now answer me quickly. Who are you? I ain't gonna answer you. <laughs> Who are you that have been harassing this lady? What have you <laughs> done to her life? <laughs> What have you done to her marriage, her career, and her destiny? <laughs> I tie everything up. <laughs> Explain. I tie everything up. <laughs> uh, she tried to go to school for what? <laughs> What lives of sin have you been pushing her to live so you will continue to tie down her life? Her I career? distract her. <laughs> I force her to porn and masturbation. <laughs> and I make her sleepy, 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 sleepy. <laughs> she cannot touch that Bible. <laughs> How many people in the world have you caused to masturbate and also caused to sleep and forget about your careers? How many? How many? How many people have you possessed like this in the world and destroyed? <laughs> this is not your first time. I will be back. I will be back. I will be back. I will be back. <laughs> if I go, I must come back. <laughs> we are not beginning. You are here for total destruction. You know this. If is... I go, I must come back. Oh. <laughs> you know that this is the city of Jesus International Ministry. We will not allow this to happen. Now, speak quickly. How many people have you possessed and destroyed in the world? Mm -hmm. I, don't tell, I don't have to tell you anything. <laughs> You've got no choice. You are already speaking at God's will. How many people have you possessed and destroyed <laughs> in the world? The fire is destroying both demons, all the evil powers that are hiding in two of them. Watch. Remember during the time they were speaking, I did tell them that they have unclean spirits, unseen enemies that are hiding within. I send more fire to your snake, spiritual husband, witches and wizards in this body. <laughs> Find the name of Jesus Christ. How many people in the world have you possessed and destroyed? Like this. How many? <laughs> Speak louder. How many people have you possessed and destroyed their lives like this? <laughs> How have you been harassing her and where, spiritually or physically? She can't sleep both. She can't sleep. <laughs> I let her hear the voices. <laughs> who are, she can't sleep. Who are those voices she has been hearing? <laughs> who used to speak to her? <sighs> she did. She's the only one that hears them. <laughs> Who are those voices? My friends. 
Who are your evil friends? What are their names? Madness. <laughs> Death. Are you referring to suicide and depression? No. They're going to make you crash and dead. <laughs> if death and the like are your friends, who are you that are speaking? Who are you? Speak louder. <sighs> Say that again. <clears throat> Apart from the spirit of death, madness, what other evil spirits are hiding in this body? <laughs> what other evil spirits are hiding in this body apart from madness and spirit of death? Who else? Say that louder. In the name of Jesus Christ, I send fire to you, serpent. Now speak quickly. What have you done to members of our family? <laughs> Two steps forward, one step backward. <laughs> what have you done to our marriage? You snake. She's not supposed to be married. Why? Because she married to me. How? Everyone is married to God and no snake. What are you saying? Let her, let her sit up while you snake speak quickly. What have you done to her friends? Look at her friend. What have you done to her? You snake. <laughs> what have you done to her marriage, her career, her health and destiny? You snake. I'm from the ancestors. Say that again. I'm from the ancestors. How do you operate? What have you done to her? I block everything. And everything is okay, and then I block everything. You were hiding at the beginning of this prayer section, and finally you are speaking. Why were you hiding before? Because I don't want to go. But you are finally exposed. You snake. But if I go, I must come back. You are no bargaining here. You are. I always come back. I always come back. Listen to me. This is the city of Jesus International Ministry where all evil spirits are not cast out but permanently destroyed. 
What about you, spiritual husband? What have you done to her, her career and marriage? Snake has spoken. What about you, spiritual husband? What about you, spiritual husband? Speak quickly. I sit beside her on the bed. Physically or spiritually? Spiritually. What happens to her when you do that? She will never get married. She stagnated. <laughs> her money goes. <laughs> you don't know how to spend money. She spends money so easily. Just spend it and give it away. Spend it and give it away. She don't save anything. What does she spend money on? What have you been pushing her to spend money on? Food. I don't want her to look that she needs to be fat. <laughs> How many people have you possessed in this manner and caused to be fat, as you claimed, you spiritual husband? <laughs> How many all around the world? How many? <laughs> <laughs> How many have you possessed and affected the appearances in this manner, you spiritual husband and snake? How many? Say that again. Millions. <laughs> How do you normally cause people to get fat? Loneliness. I feed them. <laughs> Spiritually or physically? Let this lady sit back while you speak freely. Let her sit back while you snake and spiritual husband speak freely. You say you do cause them what? Loneliness? How? Explain. I keep them by themselves. They don't they don't want to go anywhere. They, she don't even want to go to the store. <laughs> she orders everything online. <laughs> she only goes to work. Has to get gas, you get gas. <laughs> She'll go to church. <laughs> mm. She talked about lives of sin. Who pushed her to live the lives of sin? Speak quickly. It's me, oh. <laughs> Why are you happy? Because she's not happy. So when people are not happy, you evil spirits are happy. Say that clearly. Answer me quickly. These are mere signs. Speak and answer quickly, verbally. How did you possess this lady? And how many ladies do you normally lie by their side, <coughs> you spiritual husband? How many ladies? How many women or ladies all around the world have you possessed? And destroyed. How many do you normally lay by their side and stop from getting married? How many? You spiritual husband, how many? What cult? Are they aware that they are possessed by your spiritual husband? You said you cannot count. 
Are they aware that they are possessed by you, spiritual husband? Yes or no? <sighs> Are they aware that they are possessed by you, spiritual husband? Yes or no? <laughs> Speak louder. Those ladies, are they aware that they are possessed by you, spiritual husband? Yes or no? The ones who are possessed in the world. I dream them, but I wipe away the memory. What is it in me, Christopher OJ, that exposed you, even when you do not want to be exposed? And that will destroy all of you evil spirits. Speak louder. I'm done talking. You are speaking already. You have no choice here. This is a place where God causes you to speak. Now answer me. What is it in me, Christopher O.G., and in the city of Jesus International Ministry that has finally exposed you and that will destroy you evil spirits? The fire is coming down from heaven and entering everywhere, the tongue inclusive. Answer me quickly. What is the name, Christopher O.G., that will destroy all of you? You said it. Is what? <laughs> Say that louder. What is it? What is the name, Christopher Oji, that will destroy all of you evil spirits? I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Why? Why? I don't like you. What is it in me that you evil spirits hate? You have light. If I have the light, what do you have? Light or darkness? Light or darkness? B. Speak louder. B now. Meaning? Darkness. 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 Right now, you evil spirits in the life of this lady, the next lady, speak. What are you doing in her? <laughs> speak louder. <laughs> Fear the name of Jesus Christ, you snake, and spiritual husband. Speak louder. <laughs> Who are you and what have you done to this lady? <laughs> Speak and answer me quickly. Who are you? <laughs> What have you done to her, her marriage, and her career? I send more fire to all of you, snake, spiritual husband, idols. You, 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 witches and wizards, turn the name of Jesus Christ, you wicked queen of the coast. Now speak. You, you. Speak and answer me. You, 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 you,
<laughs> what have you done to her? Her marriage and her career. <sighs> what do you mean by that? Say that clearly. Explain. Mm. Mm. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. What do you mean by nothing? Mm. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Ah. What have you done to her marriage, her career, and her health? No. Speak louder. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. I send fire to your snake, spiritual husband, queen of the coast, serpent, from the name of Jesus Christ. Now speak clearly. What have you done to her? How did you destroy this lady? How? Hmm. She she is talking about marital problem. Who is the cause? Who is the cause? Say that louder. Me. Who are you that mm. cause her marital challenges? Mm. Speak louder. Me. Me? You have a name. What are your names? Who are you that cause her married to challenges and cause her to have nothing, to destroy everything? Who are you? Speak quickly. Who are you? Answer me quickly. I send fire to the queen of the coast, queen of seduction. And I send fire to the spiritual husband, the snake, and I do in this body. In the name of Jesus Christ. How did you destroy her marriage and her career? How? How did you destroy her marriage and her career? You are speaking already and you cannot hide. How did you destroy her life? Explain! <sighs> I send fire to your evil rings, the tongue, and I send fire to the crown, the voice. I send her to the voice and to the heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, now speak quickly. How did you destroy her life? How?
<laughs> the unclean spirits thought they could hide. But this is the city of Jesus International Ministry. There no power of darkness can hide. I set more fire to her heart, her voice, and I set fire to her womb and her spine. For the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> I command your evil secrets to be exposed. Now speak quickly. Speak and answer me quickly. How did you destroy her life? How? How did you destroy her life? <laughs> I sell fire to the marine world. I sell fire to the oceans. The moon are triangle. Indian oceans. Atlantic oceans. I sell fire to her voice and I sell fire to Jamaica. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! You must speak. Fear! Every part of her body. Fear! Fear! Your evil crown. Your evil clouds. Fear! Fear your clouds. I sell fire to the head. Your evil clouds. Fear! No, 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 no. No, I don't want to go. I sell no fire to. The deepest part of water. No. I sell fire to the deepest part of water. Bermuda Triangle. Indian Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. Pacific Ocean. And I sell fire to every part of our country, Jamaica, and I command witches and wizards, all evil spirits there, to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. You, 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 Check and see what is happening to all of you. And your evil you kingdoms. Christ. Oh, you Christopher. You Christopher. No, no. No, no. What have you done to her life so far? Her marriage, her career, I and destiny. Destroy. I destroy. Explain how you destroyed okay. them. It. How did you destroy everything? How? <coughs> Speak louder. No, no. Mm. Your no has been turned to yes. Now answer me quickly. How did you destroy her life? Her marriage and her destiny. How? Speak louder. Yes, 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 yes. Who are dreams to? 
Mm. Who are mm. you that used to come to her in the dream and destroy mm. everything? Who are you? Mm. Mm. Speak louder. Mm. Who are you that have been coming to her dream? That have been destroying her in her dream world. What is your name? Hmm. Huh. Say that clearly. Say husband. <coughs> what about you, snake? What are you doing hmm. here? Hmm. Destroy. What lies of sin have you been pushing her to live? Speak louder. I don't want her to serve God. Why? Why? I don't want to serve. I don't want it. I don't. Who else is hiding in this body? What about you, Queen? Queen of the Coast. Yes. What about you, Queen of the Coast? No career. No gifted. She is gifted. What have you done to her gifts? Hmm. Hmm. Bury them. Bury them. Bury them. You were hiding hmm. at the beginning of these prayers. Do you think you can hide in the city of Jesus hmm. International Ministry? Uh, Speak louder and answer me quickly. You have been hiding. I don't know. I don't know. Right now, the power of God that will destroy all evil spirits in the lives of these two ladies are coming down from heaven. They are getting closer. The mighty fire of God's anger, fire of the Holy Spirit that will destroy all evil spirits in these two ladies are coming down. Now they have descended. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every part where you are hiding. Every part I say far to the evil voices speaking to their ears. Madness. Spirit of death. Snake, depression, rejection, laziness, dirtiness, disobedience, sexual immorality, masturbation. Leave their voices, leave their marriages. 
Name your mind. I send forward to the spirit of seduction, power of seduction in their eyes, on their face. And I send fire to the weaker queen of the coast. And the Asian serpent. Where are you hiding in their spine? Where are you hiding in their womb? Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Simultaneously, the power of God is descending heavier than ever to call these two ladies to receive instant deliverance. I command you spiritual husbands to be destroyed. Now remove your covenant rings. Pull them out quickly. Pull out your covenant rings. Remove them from their fingers. Do that quickly. Pull them out. They are not your wife. They are married to Jesus Christ. Pull out your evil rings. As you are removing them, let them be destroyed. Raise your hands and pull them out. Let us see what they are doing. Pull them out. Raise your hands and pull these evil rings out on camera. Do that quickly. The second lady, do the same quickly. I sell for her to the womb where you are hiding to move. You snap. Your evil sicknesses and diseases in the womb. I sell fire to your evil crowns on their heads. Kill your crowns. Pull them out. You wicked. Why a sin? I sin for these ears. Pull them out. I sell fire to your monitoring eyes. And your evil meetings. Tear on your monitoring eyes and mirrors. The triangle of Satan, spirit of seduction. Tear! I sell fire to Lucifer. I sell fire to Lucifer. And Satan in this body. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Remove your shame and disgrace. Remove spirit of confusion, loss of memory, forgetfulness. Depression, <laughs> sexual immorality, <laughs> masturbation, <laughs> turn the name of Jesus Christ. I sell fire to the spirit of confusion, mental disorder, spirit of spirit of fantasy, pride. Anger, anger, unforgiveness, 
Bitterness. Anger. 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 Turn the name of Jesus Christ. I send fire to witches and wizards and your coven world, your blood bank. I command them to be totally destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. You cannot say no. In the name of Jesus Christ. All your moving objects, astral projections, poison. Spirit of addiction. I command them to be permanently destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. You cannot go out and come back to this body. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> You thought you could go out and come back. There is no hiding place for you. What is happening to all of you evil spirits in their bodies? spirits in their bodies. What is happening to your evil works and kingdoms? <laughs> Viewers, I hope you are watching. Two in one deliverance <coughs> happening live and direct here in the city of Jesus International Ministries <coughs> Zoom meeting for prayers. <coughs> I set fire to their destinies, their marriages, their careers, <coughs> their health, <coughs> and their families. And I command the evil works of Satan to be permanently destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. All ancient covenants, evil rings, evil marriages with serpent, spiritual husband, idols, Satan, Lucifer, and the powers of darkness, I command this evil marriage or marriages to be separated and destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. I command them to receive new hearts. I command a new heart to be given to them. The new heart is coming. The new heart is coming down from God and is entering into them. Receive! Receive! You cannot say no. The new heart has entered. The new heart has entered. Receive! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
completely delivered now two of them they are returning back to their normal senses being completely taken out of the kingdom of darkness and permanently placed into the kingdom of God forever kingdom of light forever <laughs> they are free now <laughs> they are completely free Jesus. <laughs> thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Why are you saying thank you, Jesus Christ? What happened to you? What happened to you? Shake it, shake it, shake it. Were you aware? Were you aware that you were possessed by spiritual husband snake and the queen of the coast? I've been having um, dreams, um, like somebody having sex with me. Sometimes I don't see, but I feel like. I wake up and I feel I feel like when somebody's having sex, but I don't see anybody or I'll dream but I don't remember. The unclean spirits said they do hide your dreams from you. I don't remember my dreams. And I, I wake up and I know I've dreamt but I don't remember, and sometimes I only remember pieces. At the beginning of this, I did say that you and this lady need to be delivered because there are unclean spirits that were hiding in you. And now you are confirming that what I said is nothing but the truth. How do you want to start living your life now so you can enjoy your deliverance and powerful blessings? A life totally free from sin and sinful desires. That everything that God has in store for me that I will enjoy and be free from sin and as I love God with all my heart to make his word a standard for my life every day, to please him and to have that, that, that characteristic of Jesus Christ, even in my very motives and my thoughts. God has given you the grace to live a holy life. So 
get ready to return with multiple testimonies. What you've been looking <laughs> for are graciously <coughs> given to you. So cry no more. It is time to celebrate. Thank you, Jesus. Let us hear from you. Were you aware that you were possessed by snake, queen of the coast, awesome. and ancestral spirits, and spiritual husband? I knew, I knew something was going on, but I wasn't sure what. I know something spiritual was going on, but I wasn't sure. Wasn't sure. I used. I always get dreams of snakes. Snakes attacking me. Uh, people telling me that they're gonna kill me. That people coming to visit me, telling me that they're gonna kill me and somebody else. Uh, I hardly sleep. It, the unclean spirit. The unclean. The unclean spirit claimed that the spiritual husband used to lie by your side. And that sometimes I and in doing so he has not been um permitting you to get married to any man. Sometimes I like I would wake up and I feel like like I'm in the between the sleep between sleep and awakening stage and I feel like something's beside me. Like I feel like something's beating, like you know when a heart's beating like a pulsing. I feel like something's beside me. And sometimes I feel like some, something, somebody sits on my bed. Something's always come to press in me, I hear. I hear things that nobody hears in I hear. I hear people like in the house talking around the house. Just yesterday, I heard a voice like my brother that was outside, outside my door, my window, but he was in his room. I hear a lot of stuff. I have a lot of evil experiences. They were the ones responsible for the strange voices you were hearing. They wanted you to run mad, to become mentally disordered. And those voices are simply voices of madness and spirit of death. And the unclean spirit also claimed that they caused you to eat a lot. You keep ordering food online. You don't go out to buy your food. You sit at home. Once you have money, you'll be ordering food anyhow and eating. That's why you get fat. What do you have to say? That's true. That's very true. I don't even like to go to the grocery store. I hate going to the grocery store. I hate it going to the grocery store. Because I don't like to be, well, I don't like to go anywhere by myself. But going to the grocery store, I have to be going by myself. So I don't. I don't go. I rather order and write. I even did it this week, this past week. So, have you ever been delivered like this before? I've been to many deliverance, many deliverances, and they always come back. What do you believe has happened to you now? Total deliverance. <laughs> Meaning you are not expecting any unclean spirit to return to your body anymore. No, man of God. All right. How do you want to start living your life so you can enjoy this wonderful deliverance you've received? I want, I want to live a life totally pleasing to God. I want to read my Bible, pray, fast, uh, live a Christian-like life. A life that is pleasing to Jesus. If you want to avoid this kind of um, stature, what are you going to do now? Since the unclean spirit claim they push you to be eating all the time, eating all the time, and sleeping all the time. And that resulted to this kind of um, appearance. What do you want to do to get back to your normal size? I want to start working out, eat less, resist any temptation that wants to make me uh, order stuff online or eat. And whenever it's time for me to pray, I'm going to try to get up instead of sitting down. Get up instead of sitting down and read my Bible, stand up, walk around. When I said that you possessed evil spirit and also she possessed evil spirit, that both of you needed deliverance. 
none of you said anything. You were just looking at me like this. And at the beginning of the prayers, it was as if you were not possessed. Finally, you were possessed and delivered. What do you have to say? <laughs> Thank God for his fire. <laughs> You have been watching other people receiving deliverances, and you have sometimes commented, and you never believed that one day it would be your turn like this. I never expected today will be my turn. Why? If you, if you had told me yesterday that I was going to get delivered today, I would tell you that you're lying. <laughs> So you watched other people and you saw them being delivered and they are also what they also watched you and they saw you being delivered. There are still many that are saying this is not true. Are you sure that this is real deliverance? You have experienced everything by yourself. What message do you have for doubt in Thomas's? Uh, free your hearts, have a hope in heart. Because Kojin ministry is real. Jesus Christ is real. Let's come with a hope in art. Who has delivered you and his sister by your side? Jesus Christ. If someone stands somewhere to say, what is happening in Kojin is not real, it's fake. People are being paid for to pretend as if they are manifesting. What will be your sharp reply to people like that? Uh, I would call that person foolish. <laughs> foolish. And I would pray that they have an encounter that they will actually come and seek the advice themselves. Did you pay any money to register? Did you pay money for deliverance? I wouldn't have any to give you, man of God. <laughs> I wouldn't have any to give you if I had to pay. I didn't pay any money. Zero dollars zilch. Nada. Nothing. Deliverance is free. Didn't pay any money either. Let's hear from your co-sister. Go ahead. I did not pay any money. Um, anybody that says deliverance is not real is, is I would say, not of God. Um, the first time I, I saw deliverance was at the scorn. And how it even came on my phone was, was a mystery where I found Prophet T.B. Joshua and the ministry. And I just fell in love with everything that was going on. And I, I've, I've been baptized since I was 13. And I was saying, where was this all this time? I've been in church and was not taught about deliverance. I thought, okay, I was baptized. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm speaking in tongues. And I... I think I'm on my way. And though I would have bad dreams and I did not understand that, you know, sometimes you pray, sometimes you don't, sometimes you think it's a part of the journey. And I did not understand about deliverance. And so I kept following and, you know, partnering and, and everything. And I, I was praying and I hoped, you know, I've gone through deliverance before but i've never really manifested like this and i've always said i want this whatever spirit is in my life i want it to speak and say whatever you know it has done in my life and so today i am really glad that it has happened because when i when i saw that you were having the zoom meetings because i'd watch them um all day i'll put it on and i watch it all day but when i realized i was watching and i heard that if you want to be a part of the zoom you you know i follow the instructions i say okay i'm gonna do it i say god if it works you know i'd be grateful and it was just last week i believe or the week before i messaged in and about two or three days after i was answered and i saw my phone i was so excited and then i got the message yesterday because she i did not even tell her about it but she messaged me yesterday because we were going to go to church together today. So when I got the message yesterday, she was already coming over to my house. So when she came, I said, well, um, I signed up for the Zoom meeting on Kojim. And so we will not be going out to church, but we'll be going on the Zoom meeting tonight. So I am so grateful to God. And I'm so grateful to you, man of God, for 
allowing God to use it in such a powerful way and being so humble in doing it. All right. So God is faithful and we must continue to return our glory to him and appreciate his works of faithfulness. Wonderful deliverances we are all witnessing happening here in the city of Jesus International International Ministry. Glory be to God. As you have been delivered by the word of God, you have to make God's word the foundation of your lives so that what you have received will remain permanent. The burdens in your marriage have been removed and destroyed and the troubles in your health, your life, and career are also removed and destroyed. Get ready to come back with greater joy and smiles on your Amen. faces to testify. Shalom. Amen. Shalom. They have to keep their heart busy, pray without ceasing, meditate on the word of God, and also put the words of God into practice. Stay tuned. We will be right back, viewers. Stay tuned. Beware of fraudsters. Shalom. It has come to our notice that some fraudsters parade themselves as Kojim representatives. Please do not accept any phone numbers or bank details from anyone other than those published on the Kojim official website www.kojim.org Our official bank details are listed on our website www.kojim.org slash give Also, our official phone numbers and email addresses are listed below The prayer lines plus 234-906-628-0263 or plus 234-813-303-0917 the Testimonies Line, plus 234-815-960-2829. The Donations Line, plus 234-704-331-5405. Our email address is info at kojim.org. Freely I receive from God. Freely I give. Follow Beware these nine of fraudsters to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministries, Kojim. Step 1. Visit our website, www.kojim.org, and click on Give in the menu. If you're using a mobile device, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner of your mobile device screen and find the Give link. Step 2. Click on Donate on the Local Donations option if you are within Nigeria. Step 3. Kindly send your donations to any of the bank account numbers listed. Or, Step 4. Click on Donate on the International Donations option if you are outside Nigeria. Step 5. Choose between bank wire transfer or online payment options. Step 6. If you choose to use the bank wire transfer option, please see the account details listed therein. Step 7. If you chose the online payment option, Please fill the form and submit it. Step 8. Please state the purpose of your donation on the payment slip or the comment notes section of your bank transfer app. LOGIF Partnership LOGIF Partnership Support the care of the poor, orphans, widows and widowers. Offering Use this for your offering, seed sowing and thanksgiving offering. Tithe One tenth of your earning only to donate to the church new site building fund. Step 9. Send proof of payment to any of the following. Email donations at kojim.org or you can WhatsApp, SMS or call on plus 234-7043-315-405. Follow these nine easy steps to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministries. Kojim. Step 1. Visit our website, www.kojim.org, and click on Give in the menu. If you're using a mobile device, click on the three horizontal lines.
Right now, it is time for prayers. Be in an attitude of prayer. Free your heart and your mind. And ask for mercy and forgiveness of your sins. Ask Jesus Christ to have mercy on you, forgive you, members of your family, members of your tribe, citizens of your country, your leaders, people of your continent, and everyone in the world. The forgiveness he gave out on the cross cannot be withdrawn by him. Ask him to offer that forgiveness to everyone, you inclusive. Ask him to remove the stain of the guilt of sins and sinful desires in your heart, mind, conscience, thoughts, words, and character. Ask him to soak your life in his precious blood, the blood of Jesus Christ, and to make you pure, holy, and worthy again. Ask him to give you the grace to run the race of holiness to the end so you will be able to spend your eternity with God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit in heaven. Ask him to sanctify and anoint your weekend. Ask him to command the incoming week to be sanctified, blessed, and positioned to favor you and members of your family. Ask for his grace or protection to fall upon you when you go out and come in, when you sleep, and when you wake up. He has said a thousand shall fall by your right and left hand side, but they shall not come near you. Ask him for his grace or protection. Ask him to protect your children, your family, your career, your health your soul, spirit, and body. If he protects, you are protected indeed. If he does not protect, you are wide open to Satan, the attacker, and destroyer of life. Ask him to protect your life and save your blessings from being devoured by the devourers of life, Satan and his evil agents. Ask Jesus Christ to give you the grace to always do the right thing and also to be doing the right thing so that when he comes, he will find you not sleeping in sin, but active, rendering godly services. Not just to God, but to your fellow human being. You don't want to be abandoned on the day of rapture. You want to be found not sleeping in sin, but active, rendering godly services to God and your fellow human beings so you could be taken to heaven. Make sure you are praying. At this time, this is a very, very, very vital prayer point. Tell him that you do not want to lose heaven. You don't want to lose your soul to Satan. You don't want to give your life to Satan. You want to give your soul, spirit, and body to him and to him alone, Jesus Christ of Nazareth the Son of the Living God. Make sure you are praying in this manner. Ask him to remove sicknesses and diseases, pain of life, hardship, poverty, fear, doubt, unbelief, failure, obstacles of life, loneliness, disappointment, joblessness, hopelessness, depression, infirmities and the spirits behind them. Ask him to control your life, the lives of your husband and children, the lives of your wife and children, the lives of members of your family. He should deliver them from sins and sinful desires, from addictions, from hardship, from poverty, and from the hands of Satan. Ask him to free the whole world from the spirit of death. And all powers of darkness in charge of wars, violence, disunity, misunderstanding, envy, blasphemy, divination, sorcery, idolatry, sexual immorality, marine spirits and agents, Satan, Lucifer, snake, and the powers of hell. We are in the world as his children and we are not part of all these evil things. Ask him to deliver your life, your soul, to separate your life from darkness. Ask him to make you his own shining example, shining light to the world of darkness. 
He said in Isaiah chapter 60, Arise and shine, for your light has come. Ask him to make your very life his shining example, his glorious light that will always dispel all shades of darkness in this dark world. Ask him to make you very, very honest, sincere, faithful, truthful, humble, patient, joyful, meek, kind, righteous, wise, and self-controlled. Ask him to destroy evil attacks, moving objects, satanic cobwebs, evil movements in your body that are injected by Satan and all his evil agents. Ask him to destroy all, not some. You want total freedom. Enough is enough of arthritis. Enough is enough of satanic cobwebs. Enough is enough of HIV AIDS, hypertension, diabetes, tuberculosis, sacral cell anemia, depression, asthma, fever, weaknesses of the body, lumbar spondylosis, weak erection, low sperm cell, ceased menstruation, fibroids, barrenness. Enough is enough of hepatitis A, B, C, skin disease, ulcer, cancer, kidney problems, kidney stone, liver problems, liver disease, poison of all kinds, ranks and authorities in your life and in lives of people in your family. Pray your way out. Ask God to remove them. Ask him to lead you to do his will, to fill you with the spirit of generosity. You have so many good dreams of good things you want to do that will glorify God. Tell him to fill you with the spirit of generosity. Ask him to give you that inner grace to accomplish all your dreams. God himself is the father of dreams. As the father of dreams, tell him to strengthen you to accomplish your dreams. You want to be a real and genuine child of God. You want to be a kingdom builder. You want to stand against sins and sinful desires. Ask him to strengthen you to achieve all these dreams. You want to be highly anointed and empowered by God to act on God's behalf. Ask him to give you the grace. You want to represent him in your mind, in your thoughts and in your word, even in your secret lives, you want God to be promoted. Ask him for that grace. Ask him to disconnect you from all addictions and weaknesses. You want him to be promoted in your secret lives. Him alone, not Satan. Him alone, not evil spirits. Him alone, not lust. Him alone, not lies and fears. Ask him to anoint your career. Ask him to anoint your job and break all yokes of setback, limitation, envy, jealousy, stagnation, and the like. The anointing that God gives breaks every yoke. Ask him to anoint your career, to break every yoke of limitation, hindrance, setback, jealousy, racism, Envy, joblessness, poverty, hardship. Ask him to anoint your health to destroy every sickness and disease in yourselves, in your blood, in your organs, in your systems, and on your body. Your body is the house that is anointed by God to be his divine temple, not a place of sickness and disease. Ask him to anoint your body with fresh anointing that will destroy every sickness and disease that is hiding in you and in your family. Ask him to anoint your name and your names. Let your names be anointed by him. Ask him to anoint your names. Let the anointing of God in your names begin to break every generational curse or evil spirit that use your name to operate. 
to cause you setback, limitation, poverty, hindrance, joblessness, and the like. Ask him to anoint your names and to destroy all evil spirits that are using your names to operate, to cause sickness, disease, setback, disappointment, and the like. The name Jesus Christ was highly anointed and commanded to be the name above all names. Ask God to anoint your names. Let your names signify blessings, holiness, purity, breakthroughs, salvation, redemption, eternal life, forgiveness, sanctification, humility, righteousness, and the like. Make sure that you are praying. Ask God to anoint your dreams and to destroy all evil spirits that are assigned to carry out nightmare activities, spiritual attacks, and the likes in your dream life. Ask God to anoint your dreams with his fresh anointing that will break every yoke. Make sure that you are praying in your heart. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you will find. Ask him to touch the heart of the leaders of your country to make them obedient to God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, not idols, not Satan, not marine spirits, not occultic powers. Ask God Almighty to use them to promote peace, prosperity, spiritual atmosphere that will enable people on earth to worship God in spirit and in truth. Ask God to use them to create laws that will allow people on earth to worship God in spirit and in truth. Now specifically ask for the grace of long life. Ask God to give you long life and prosperity. Ask God to add more years to your years on earth and give you the grace to live a life without sins and sinful desires throughout these years. Ask for eternal life and ask God to establish his kingdom and spirit of righteousness in your life and family. Ask God to make you his spiritual prayer warrior that will always pray not only for yourself but also for everyone in the world, nations in the world, continents in the world, and the universe. Tell God that you want to be constantly praying without ceasing. You want your heart to be constantly connected to God through his word and by his spirit. All the time, ask for that grace from God. You don't want your heart to be a spiritual prostitute, wandering from one sins and sinful desires to another sins and sinful desires. You want your heart to be completely connected to God through his word and by his spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command your prayer points to be anointed and answered by God, both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now receive the grace to enjoy God's spiritual covering forever. Receive this grace of divine protection. I command your life to be anointed and redeemed by God forever. Receive your healing and deliverance. Receive your blessings and prosperity. Receive the marks of Jesus Christ in your soul, in your spirit, in your body, in your family, in your tribe, in your nation, in your continent, in the world and in the universe, both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, congratulations. Your prayer points are permanently answered by God. And the manifestations of all the things you have prayed for will begin to be seen not just by you, but also by everyone in the world. So give thanks to God you are blessed and free. Give thanks to God and rejoice. Let your spirit accept the fact that you are truly set free, forgiven, sanctified, blessed, and protected.
Hello, man of God. How are you? I'm, I'm good. What about you? We give glory to God. Introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Kubo Odolike. Uh, I'm originally from Togo. I live in Prague, in the Czech Republic. I'm an entrepreneur, and uh, I come before God, God to ask for forgiveness for all the sins that uh, I've been doing. Like, uh, I confess for, for fornication, lust, porn, masturbation, anger, abortion, entitlement, lack of prayer, and I, yeah, entitlement, like lack, lack of prayer. All right. What else do you want God Almighty to do for you? Uh, actually, uh, God has been doing already since my life. So this is like a continuation of uh, his work. Uh, sometime like five years ago or seven years ago, uh, I started losing my jobs. Like everywhere I go to for work, I lose the job. And it was great companies. Like for no reason, I, I lose the jobs. Then I uh, I set up a business, and less than one year, I put myself like in great debt, which led to other problems with my marriage, and and now I try to I try to fix the marriage, which. We started like in a good uh, notice, but when we get close, something happened. Like it's something that is pushing the my fiance away. So and as well, my family, my my younger ones, like we were very close. But all of all of a sudden, like there's division in the family. Like my my brothers, both my brothers and sisters. And as well, my father had been ill for some sickness now, like, and my mother as well. So I'm asking God for the deliverance, for deliverance uh, to my family. Uh, my fiance to restore our, our relationship and as well, you know, uh, to deliver me from ancestral spirits marine spirits and monetary spirits. Monetary spirit and financial breakthrough uh, for my career and and my finances. All right, let us pray. Yeah. To listen to him. He wants God to have mercy on him, forgive him and set him free from his past and present sins. He also won't go to intervene, set the members of the family free, and allow peace and reconciliation to take place. So before we pray, I want you to know that for um, the family members to be restored back, everybody needs to forgive and forget. Okay, pass the message to everybody in the family. There is need for forgiveness, tolerance. There is need for everybody to overlook the wrongs done by other people. I'm sorry, can I add something? Like, uh, my fiance, like, she was very prayerful. And things like some few months ago, she lost, like, uh, a prayer attitude. When you talk about God to her, she doesn't, she doesn't pray and it becomes a big worry. Even today, she's supposed to be on the flight right now to Prague back. I told her that we should attend this together, but she said that she should she not. So I'm praying as well she should get delivered and she should get closer to God. All right. And most importantly, make sure you follow the process of marriage. Don't allow sexual immorality or any other sinful attitudes 
to crowd your eyes and cover your eyes from doing the right thing. So do the right thing, follow the process of marriage, and get it completed. Okay. Let us pray. Call the name Jesus Christ and get ready for prayers. Jesus Christ. Let your spirit cry out to God. Call the name Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the light of the gospel of Jesus shine upon your soul, spirit, and body. I command sins to be forgiven, and I command darkness to be turned into light. You spirit of lust, fornication, setback, limitation. What are you doing in him? You ancestral spirits, I send fire from heaven and I command all of you evil spirits to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, say in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your life be sanctified. Receive complete healing deliverance, blessings, and breakthroughs, both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. amen. All right, the doors are opened for your breakthroughs. Thank you, and the fire of God's zeal in your heart has been rekindled so you can begin to love your Bible studies, meditation, things of God, prayer and fasting, again. Thank you, man of God. There is a revival already going on in your career. As I said, follow up and complete the process of marriage so that you will not find yourself committing sin in that act, okay? Okay, all right. Thank you, man of God. Don't fail to come back for your testimonies. I will definitely come back for my testimonies. Thank Shalom. You. Shalom. Wonderful brother, a Togolese, residing in the Republic. Shalom. Shalom, man of God. You can shift back and make sure that your environment is free from noise. Yes, sir. But I'm over myself. I, I um, I'm separated from my husband. I have my kids with me, and I really need prayers. All right. Introduce yourself. Where you're speaking from? What you do for a living? and what you want God Almighty to do for you. Go ahead. So my name is Janet, and um, I'm in Canada. And um, I am uh, like admin assistant right now, and I'm gonna be studying as like, a, I've been working at reception, even though like I have um, like bachelor's honors in, in health and, and HR management. I hope, so the, I, I hope the child is taking good care of. If the child needs your attention, we can allow you to attend to the child, and then we'll get back to you. In my house, is just me and my kids. I hope, and I need the man of God. I hope he's not demanding for your attention now. Yeah, I'm gonna go get him. Please, I need a prayer. I'm coming. <laughs> All right, viewer, it's very important that we also respond to the needs of the children. She has to take care of the kid. It's very important. We will get back to her and let her care for the kid. We will get back to her shortly. Shalom. 
שלום, שלום. Stay tuned. When the centurion believed in Jesus Christ, the one God has sent, he was allowed by God to stand in proxy for his sick servant. If you want to stand in proxy for someone, what do you need to do? You got to believe in God, in Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit. The father of the demon-possessed boy did not believe, but he was trying to stand in proxy. He was interceding, trying to find his way out so that his sick boy could receive healing and deliverance. That never happened until he believed in God. The greatest spiritual assignment that is given to all human beings on earth is to believe in the living God Almighty, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. If you believe, you will receive. If you do not believe, you will not receive. Once you believe in God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, you will be connected, not just to God, but to his heavenly blessings. The blessings are available, but only to those who believe. If you come to God, what do you have to give him instantly? Your belief in him. What do you have, viewers, even as you're watching? You can give out your doubt, your fear, your unbelief. You can begin to ask, can all these people that have prayed for like this receive their freedom just like that? The works of God are mysterious. They are hidden in the mystery of grace. The gospel of God's grace challenges and changes everything. To the power of the gospel of God's grace, nothing in this world is impossible. If anything is impossible for you, that does not mean that God cannot do it. It is just very easy for God. If we are connected to God, the impossible will become possible. Do you know how your nails, as you have your fingers, do you know how your nails grow? You only see them growing, but you don't know how they grow. Why do you think you can figure out how God works? Let us free our heart, play our own role, which is to believe in God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. And then we can leave the rest for him so he can accomplish his works. God bless you. Thank you for understanding in Jesus Christ's name. When the centurion believed in Jesus Christ, the one God has sent, he was allowed by God to stand in proxy for his sick servant. If you want to stand in proxy for someone, what do you need? Hello, man of God. Um, introduce yourself. Tell us your names, where you're speaking from, and what you do for a living. Okay. My name is Abigail Ayim. I mean, um, the U.S. I'm from Ghana, and I'm home health aid, and I also break hair. What do you want God Almighty to do for you? Um, I want to start by confessing my sin. I have a spirit of lust, anger, watching porn, 
masturbation, evil thoughts, I have to abortion and also unforgiveness. What else do you want God to do for you? I want God to help me with my um, citizenship and also my husband document and help my kids, protect them and help them with their school. Okay, so do you believe that will be supplied now? The help you're looking for will be supplied to you? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm very, very happy in my heart. I'm talking to you right now. And when you were preaching earlier on, you spoke about being a citizen in heaven. I was so touched. I'm very grateful, man of God. Thank you. All right, so let us return our thanks and praises to God. Focus on God and then call the name Jesus Christ for your salvation. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for forgiving her of her sins. Let her life be truly sanctified by you, through your word and by your spirit. Give her eternal life. Amen. Let your kingdom and your spirit of righteousness be established in her heart. Amen. I stand against evil powers that are hiding to cause confusion in her life. I command this evil spirit to be destroyed. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire! Fire! I send fire to your spiritual life, even your dream world, and I stand against idols, spiritual husband, spirit of limitation, death, and setback. I command these evil spirits to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, fill in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, receive your blessings and breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And amen. Amen. God has set you free now, and I'm seeing you testifying. Not just you, but also your family members. Shalom. Thank you. Thank you. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, man of God. How are you? Introduce yourselves. Yes, man of God. My name is Sap Prophet Chua, and I'm here with my fiance Gilbert Nyamiatu and my son Joseph. We are here to give our testimony. Man of God, um, we were delivered by you, by the grace of God, on September 20th, uh, September 19th, 2021. And that same day after our deliverance, um, not up to like just about 15 minutes after that, I received a call from my daughter. And she said, Mom, I want you to speak to someone. And I said, Who is it? And she gave me the phone and she said, Speak. With Eric, and I said, Who is Eric? He says, Eric wanted, wants to marry her. It was amazing for me because it was like um, almost four months I didn't speak with her. We had a problem and we would let, we, we, we stopped talking to each other. And that day she called me and received that call, and that's what she told me. And right now they're about to get married. The guy paid the dowry and the, 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 um, yeah, the right price. But right now, there are some things going on. I don't understand. It's as if the enemy wants to come in between. I don't understand. So 
yeah, asking man of God to, you know, I don't know what guide us concerning that right now, but we are just giving a testimony for so many things that have happened. And um, um, we to me and my uh, fiance, we've been obeying God since then. He gave us directives and we've been following those directives. And we are about to get married too and a divorce came through. Just after, right after the uh, um, deliverance, there is a uh, divorce paper that were pending and we finally received them and we are preparing to get married too, the right way. And uh, yeah, and at my workplace, a lot of things are going on because I refused to take the vaccine. They put me on leave without pay, but I've been trusting in God and everything is going step by step. We're at, at the level of the court now and I'm still waiting that things are going from level to level. And I'm hoping and praying that God will uh, settle that part of uh, my life. And concerning my spiritual life, everything is like, I'm, 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 I'm praying and I'm seeking God. And I believe that God is taking me from level to level. And I pray that um, my spiritual life just keep keep growing. Yes, so far, man of God, and it's it's amazing. But since our deliverance, um, we are we are living the grace of God. All right, yes. let's hear from him. Introduce yourself, sir, and then tell us what. Yeah, uh, my name is um, Gilbert Nyamayatu. From Congo, but living in, in, in Canada, Congo Democratic. Uh, man of God, I'm full of joy. My life, I'm very, very happy because peace, peace, peace. I have peace. Um, everything, my children in Congo. Um, here in, in Canada, um, we are living life of communication in a peaceful way. Um, my grandchildren, I'm in connection with them, calling them and um, me um, many times um, a month, and um, I'm very happy. My life, my Christian life, I'm now um, certain. I have never um, doubt of Jesus Christ, but now I'm I'm certain. I have conviction that I'm in the right way, and um, I don't say that I'm perfect, but um, I don't spend my time for um, many things that are not important for in my life my family um, and I take time to to listen to word of God um, through your, your video um, and um, you know to read my Bible and to meditate um, after the difference man of God my financial financial um, situation changed because now I'm in uh, retirement, but as, as soon as we were uh, delivered, I, had, I bought a um, farm, pig, pig farm in Congo. Um, and we have at least 50, um, uh, um, at most 50, a pigs, and we have um, a, bought a property in capital city, in Kinshasa. Um, we are trying now to know if we, we have a opportunity to uh, to to get um, the rights the, 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 to to leave Canada and to to to, to travel. Uh, we plan and to come to Nigeria we, if we have a time. 
that God is given us. This, this side is very, very important. Um, we thank God for that. Um, there is a improvement in the projects. About this project, we have farming, but also transportation. So now there is a, a big land in uh, 50, I mean, the five, uh, 500 and five, yes, 500 kilometers from Kinshasa. They have property. Uh, they, they want to, to um, ask to buy. So the things are moving very, very quick. I've never had opportunity to have this kind of project, but as soon as we, we were delivered, projects it came right in, uh, in, the, in our mind, and my, my fiance and I, we, we began to, to think about it. Also, man of God, um, I have uh, two great children born. Um, one yesterday, and another another at the, the three three weeks ago. So family is growing. Um, thank you, man of God. Wonderful and viewers, I, I believe you have listened to them sharing their amazing testimonies. Um, remember that we are prayed for. When were you prayed for? Which date were you prayed for? And, um, the same day, um, September the 19th, uh, two, 2021. 19th of September, 2021. All right. Yeah. So, 19th. yeah. Um, what words of advice do you have for people who are watching and listening to you? Um, many people? Well, um, yeah, the advice is for me, because, uh, mm, please, because the English is not my, my language. <laughs> the, no, so, you're so doing not, well. Language. Go ahead, sir. Yeah. For me, for me is, I'm telling to people, even my, my the people from, uh, from Congo, uh, the French speaking uh, countries, I'm telling them, Jesus is the real. He dies for us, uh, rose from the dead, and Jesus is living. And there is no thing that is more important in the, this, this life because we are all of us were in a journey. So there is no um, a healing, no deliverance, no joyful life, peaceful life without Jesus. Everything that we can't have by our own by um, our own our own power, our own intelligence, nothing that uh, doesn't belong to to Christ. Everything is God, is one who created, is the Word who became flesh in the world in us in, with us. So I tell them, go back to Christ. People who are fighting over uh, many things, they have to set um, aside differences and try to follow Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Wonderful words of advice coming from him that people should go back to God for all man's needs are in God, and God is willing to give them freely to his children. So, madam, what are your words of advice? Yes, man of God, um, I, I still have more, like, um, one more time, not say my son, <clears throat> he also got married, he paid his diary, and um, he got, they just bought a house. 
So a lot of things are happening. So, you know, there are too many happening. And yeah. So my word of advice is that a lot of people don't believe in miracles that, you know, when you see God, that you have to put God first, see God first and everything else will follow. Seek the kingdom of God first. And that's what I tell people around me. And I tell my children, I tell everybody, I said, put God first and everything will come. And people don't have patience to wait. And the Bible said, well, it said, it said uh, delay, as they say, is not denial. That God will do what he will do when he wants to do it. And God's time is God's time is always the best. Yes, so I would love people to understand that that God is for everybody, and He's He intends for us to live life in abundance. All right, you listen to her summarized words of advice, and I believe you are going to make use of that. All right, your son is enjoying himself, and we give glory to God. Now, you have to come together and allow the word of God to be the foundation of your lives. By living a life without sins and sinful desires. And I'm seeing you coming back with greater testimonies. Amen, man of God. Thank you, man of God. Thank Wonderful you. Wonderful family. And I want you to know that if there is any other thing your heart is dreaming to have in God, you should know that God has already supplied them. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, man of God. Shalom. Thank you. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. Wonderful family. They have to follow the process of marriage and complete that and come back for their powerful testimonies to the glory of God. Shalom. Shalom, man of God. Introduce yourself. Well, my name is uh, George uh, M. Chilea. Um, I'm calling from uh, Chipata, Zambia. What do you do uh, for um, a living, and what do you want God Almighty to do for you? Well, I'm, I'm a trained IT professional, but uh, I'm currently unemployed. Uh, I would like to ask God to ask to forgive me for my sins. I would like to ask God to forgive me for my sexual immorality, for watching pornography, for masturbating, and uh, for uh, uh, disobe disobeying his uh, instructions. All right. What else do you want him to do for you, health-wise, career-wise, and marriage-wise? Yeah, so uh, health-wise, I want God to set me free from the sickness of epilepsy. Uh, this illness has, has uh, hammered my, my family, it has hammered me, my brother, and my sister. Are you saying are right you now. saying that it has become a generational curse? Yes, yes. As I'm speaking right now, um, I injured my myself on the tongue uh, in my sleep. So uh, I, I, I want God to free me, to free me and my family from that illness. I would also want God to uh, grant me some career breakthrough because I haven't been employed for some for quite some time now. I'd also want uh, God to to heal my father and my mother from uh, my father suffers from uh, some heart conditions and my mother has been suffering with uh, high BP. Distance is not a barrier. Okay, uh, Distance is not a barrier. You are standing in proxy for members of your family. Let us pray now. Call the name Jesus Christ and get ready for prayers. Jesus, 
Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your sins be forgiven. Receive a pure heart and receive eternal life. I command Satan and his evil agents that are hiding to cause trouble in your life and family, to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive complete healing and deliverance from generational curses, epilepsy. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your life of testimony be restored. Let everyone be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. And amen. Amen. You are set free from this epileptic attack. You just have to stay away from your sins. Stay away from sinful amen. desires as well. And come back for your Amen. powerful testimonies. Shalom, man of God. Shalom. Stay tuned. Right now, I stretch my hand in the name of Jesus Christ and I command your life to be separated from Satan, Amen. Lucifer, Amen. serpent. Amen. I command your life to be separated from sins and sinful desires. Amen. I command your true spiritual identity to be separated from poverty. Hardship, Amen. sickness, and disease, Amen. doubt, fear, and unbelief. Amen. I command your life to be separated from condemnation, Amen. guilt. Amen. I command your life to be separated from accidents, Amen. sudden death. I command your life to be separated from violence, Amen. war, Amen. killing, stealing, and destruction, both now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. let there be spiritual separation. Amen. Be separated from shame. Be separated from disgrace. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command your life to be separated. healing. And a firefighter by, by profession. 
but uh, right now I'm currently not working. Uh, I want son of David to have mercy on me today because I have sinned against him and against my family. Uh, I was unfair in my marriage. And I want God uh, to restore back my career. And uh, I have got a problem of a, 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 a low spam count. And I want God to uplift me spiritually to, to grow. Uh, and I want God to give me business breakthrough. What are the sins you have committed? Mention them. Go ahead. Uh, I was... I, I was having the, the, the spirit of lust uh, and humanizing. Uh, and uh, a way back, you'll find that I can take maybe some of the things of which doesn't belong to me uh, without any permission. So what do you believe that God Almighty will do for you? I believe that uh, God Almighty will deliver me and God Almighty will give me a breakthrough. Let us I believe in him. Let us pray. Call the name Jesus Christ for prayers. Jesus Christ. Again, Jesus Christ, you serpent, spiritual wife, marriage breaking demons, spirit of adultery. Why are you tormenting him? Why do you want to destroy his marriage and continue to make him jobless? I send fire from God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit to you, evil spirits. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire! I command his sins to be forgiven. Right now, receive eternal life, healing and deliverance. Receive your blessings and breakthroughs. Let your life of testimonies be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Make sure you study your Bible more than ever. Make sure you always meditate and pray in your heart. Amen. Don't Amen. stop. Amen. And then come back for your testimonies. Nobody will stop you this time around. Amen. Shalom. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, man of God. Introduce yourself. My name is Marva, and I'm from Jamaica. What do you do for a living, and what do you want God Almighty to do for you? I work at a cashier at a small mini mart. All right, for me at first, I need God to cleanse me of my sins sexual immorality, unforgiveness, and 
One minute. I think I have it right now. Um, I know I have unforgiveness. Okay, I'm bitter. I have bitterness and I have anger and sexual spirits and fear. I need God to help me with those sins. And I realized in 2018, ever since I've got married, I've realized everything turned upside down. I realized my skin full of sore, my head. In 2019, when I got pregnant with my son, I have a seven month child, almost died, both of us. And last year, August, my husband walked out on us. So I need prayer and forgot to have his own way in my life. And eventually I realized that my prayer life is really weak right now. Really, really weak because of circumstances in my life. You've listened to the message, the picture of the life of true believers. They are always forward lookers. They don't concentrate on their circumstances. So let us pray. As you learn to focus on God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, you will be restored by him. Call the name Jesus Christ mm -hmm. for prayers. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I stand again the giants that are hiding to torment your life. Ancestral spirits, spiritual husband, witches and wizards, idols. What are you doing in her? I send fire to all of you evil spirits, and I command all of you to be destroyed. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Live her marriage, live her health, her career, and her destiny alone. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, receive the forgiveness of your sins. Receive eternal life and the kingdom of God into your life. Receive the grace of righteousness. Thank you. Receive Thank your you, blessings, both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, man of God. Shalom. You are Thank coming you. back with powerful testimonies. Get ready for them. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. She's free. Satan cannot stop her from being forgiven. She is totally forgiven, and the guilt of sin in her heart have been washed away by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Shalom. Shalom, my name is God. Introduce yourself, your names. My name is Ruth and Maxwell. And where are you speaking from? I am speaking from Jamaica. What do you do for a living? Well, I am a student. I just completed my law degree. And I want to start law school in September. What do you want God Almighty to do for you? I want the Lord to firstly forgive me for my sins that I've committed willingly. Um, I want him to also deliver me from the spirit of fear and anxiety and depression and suicidal ideations. I want him to also free me from addictions and generational curses. 
um, I want him to also give me a new heart and a mind that will serve him wholeheartedly and not just sometimes. I want him to also favor my family and bring salvation to my family members. Are you ready to repent? If yes, identify your sins. Go ahead. I've been struggling with masturbation and pornography since I was seven years old. I've been sexually abused many times um, by family members as well as other persons. Um, it's something that I've also noticed in the family, um, the spirit of incest. Um, I want to be free from the spirit of anger as well and bitterness. Let us pray. Now free your heart, leave your device and sit back and get ready for prayers. Now call the name Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. I send the fire of God's deliverance to your life. And I stand against snake. The ancient serpent moving in the family in charge of sexual immorality. What are you doing in her? Why are you attacking her? Why do you want to destroy her life, her career, and her health? I send fire to you wicked demons, and I command you to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Let her life be delivered. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire! I send fire to all of you, spiritual husband, spirit of lust and masturbation. Leave our mind and senses alone. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Fear, fear, heart. Fear. I send more fire to the kingdoms of darkness. Mary world. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Fear! Why are you tormenting her life and destroying her mind? Why? Fear in the name of Jesus Christ! Let her sins be forgiven. Let a lie be fully redeemed by the power of God. Right now receive your healing and deliverance. Receive! Receive! All spiritual obstacles and powers of darkness. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. The fire has been released by God to go down to the root of all her problems, get them uprooted and destroyed. Watch.
every part of her body, her mind, her conscience, her back, her face, the evil covenant, the Holy Spirit is going down to destroy all of them and give her total freedom. The snake cannot escape. The spiritual husband cannot escape. Witches and wizards and the idols in charge of incests cannot escape. In the name of Jesus Christ! I send fire to the family and everyone you are possessed in the family, and I command them to receive deliverance. Let there be spiritual separation. In the name of Jesus Christ, you cannot destroy her life and her career. The snake is undergoing spiritual destruction. Watch. In the name of Jesus Christ, move, you snake. Move. All satanic rings and covenants, I send fire to them and I command them to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. I send more fire to all seas. Rivers, oceans, the deepest part where you are hiding in the ocean, you wicked snake. In the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her? Speak louder and speak clearly. What have you done to her? Was the screen spiritual warfare that is waged in the power of the Spirit of God is what you are witnessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I sell fire to the deepest part of water, oceans, rivers, seas, and I command all satanic agents and powers to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, Remove everything you have planted in her life. Stagnation, guilt, condemnation, fear, depression. Remove all. Put them out quickly. Remove the sicknesses and diseases, the fibroids, infections, spirit of lust, seduction, masturbation, remove them. Pull out your evil crowns and rings. In the name of Jesus Christ, what are you removing?
What are you removing from her? Speak quickly. Covenants. What covenants? That she made with her cousin when he raped her. Who are you that caused that scene to take place? Who are you? Speak louder. Who are you? What are your evil names, you unclean spirits? Incest, masturbation, pornography. These are the sexual immorality, pride, lust. Who are you that caused these kind of sins? Are you the snake, spiritual husband? Yes or no? Yes. Speak louder. Yes. How many people all around the world have you possessed, caused to be raped, caused to have incest and other lives of sin? How many all together all around the world? Many. Speak louder. Many. How do you go about possessing people? How? You snake. How do you possess people? How do you possess people? You snake. You know how. Speak quickly. How? What sin do you use? Sexual immorality, pornography. Say more. What have you done to her career, her health, and her destiny? Speak quickly. What have you done to her career, health, and destiny? What have you done to her career, health, destiny, and spiritual life? Speak quickly, you snake. Christ, answer me quickly. What have you done to her life, her career, her health, and her destiny? Answer me quickly, you snake and spiritual husband. What have you done to this lady's career, her health, and her destiny? Viewers, I hope you're watching. Pretentious powers of darkness that try to hide, not to be exposed. 
but they fail to realize that this is the city of Jesus International Ministry, where God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit operate. There is no hiding place for evil spirits. There is no hiding place for unclean spirits. As you watch and meditate, stay tuned, we will be right back. Right now, I stretch my hand in the name of Jesus Christ and I command your life to be separated from Satan, Amen. Lucifer, Amen. serpent. Amen. I command your life to be separated from sins and sinful desires. Amen. I command your true spiritual identity to be separated from poverty. Hardship, Amen. sickness, and disease, Amen. doubt, fear, and unbelief. Amen. I command your life to be separated from condemnation, Amen. guilt. Amen. I command your life to be separated from accidents, Amen. sudden death. I command your life to be separated from violence, Amen. war, Amen. killing, stealing, and destruction, both now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. let there be spiritual separation. Amen. Be separated from shame. Be separated from disgrace. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command your life to be separated from fear. Be separated. Be separated. Be separated. Be separated. In the name of Jesus Christ, Right now, let your spiritual identity be permanently connected to God, Amen. Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let your family and destiny be connected to God Amen. and His supernatural blessings, Amen. both now and forevermore. Amen. Receive your healing. Receive! Receive! Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Spiritual separation 
from the kingdom of darkness. Spiritual separation from evil attacks, from nightmares, from bad dreams. Receive! 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 Complete freedom from pain. Complete freedom from rejection. Complete freedom from failure. This apartment receive your blessings. Receive. Receive the wisdom of God. Receive divine knowledge from God. Receive understanding. Receive the joy of the Holy Spirit. Receive the peace of heart that comes from God. Eternal peace. Let there be peace in your heart. Let there be peace in your family. Let there be peace in your nation. Let there be peace in the world and in the universe. Receive the grace of protection. Receive the grace of victory. Receive. Receive. I command your words to be anointed by God. Receive. 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 I command the works of your hands to be anointed by God. Receive. 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 I command your journey to be separated from accidents. To be separated from the spirit of death. To be separated from accidents. To be separated from plane crash. To be separated from crisis. Disasters. Both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. These prayer points have been soaked in the blood of Jesus Christ forever. And cannot be stopped from being attended to by God. I am seeing your unanswered prayers being answered by God. Mark this statement. I am seeing all your unanswered prayers being answered by God. I am seeing revival in your spiritual life. Revival in your career. Revival in your destiny. Revival in your country. I am seeing forces of terrorism being destroyed. I am seeing revival. Revival in your nation. Revival in your continent. Revival in the world. Revival in the universe. Let there be revival. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to cover yourselves with the blood of Jesus. 
cover your life, your true spiritual identity with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Your character, your behavior, the thoughts in your heart, the voices in your mind by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover your words, your actions, and your inactions by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover your journey in life. In the physical world and even in your dreams by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover your businesses, your career, your destiny, your wife and children, your husband and children, members of your family. This very month of May 2022 and the rest of the months to come by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover your doings, everything about you by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover the food you eat, anything you drink in form of water and the like by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover the air you breathe in and the air you breathe out by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover every step you take, every decision you make. Every plan you have by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover everything you put on, your dresses, your clothes. Everything that comes into contact with your soul, spirit, and body by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are covering everything, not some. Everything. Cover the place you are living, your house or houses. Your office or offices, your colleagues in the office, your political parties, and other political parties by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover yourself, the leaders and followers that are living in your country by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover the foreigners that are also living in your country by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover the rivers, the seas, the oceans, everything that is created that are visible and that are invisible by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Satan has nowhere to penetrate. Cover everything by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover ministers of God, members of various ministries, people of other religions, by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Everyone must be saved. Cover everybody. Cover them, cover them. Pray for them. Cover them. Cover them. Cover every moment of this month by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Let them favor you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now it is time for prayers. Be in an attitude of prayer. Free your heart and your mind and ask for mercy and forgiveness of your sins. Ask Jesus Christ to have mercy on you, forgive you, members of your family, members of your tribe, citizens of your country, your leaders, people of your continent and everyone in the world. The forgiveness he gave out on the cross cannot be withdrawn by him. Ask him to offer that forgiveness to everyone, you inclusive. Ask him to remove the stain of the guilt of sins and sinful desires in your heart, mind, conscience, thoughts, words, and character. Ask him to soak your life in his precious blood, the blood of Jesus Christ, and to make you pure, holy, and worthy again. Ask him to give you the grace to run the race of holiness to the end so you will be able to spend your eternity with God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit in heaven. Ask him to sanctify and anoint your weekend. Ask him to command the incoming week. 
to be sanctified, blessed, and positioned to favor you and members of your family. Ask for his grace or protection to fall upon you when you go out and come in, when you sleep, and when you wake up. He has said a thousand shall fall by your right and left hand side, but they shall not come near you. Ask him for his grace or protection. Ask him to protect your children, your family, your career, your health, your soul, spirit, and body. If he protects, you are protected indeed. If he does not protect, you are wide open to Satan, the attacker and destroyer of life. Ask him to protect your life and save your blessings from being devoured by the devourers of life, Satan and his evil agents. Ask Jesus Christ to give you the grace to always do the right thing and also to be doing the right thing so that when he comes, he will find you not sleeping in sin, but active, rendering godly services, not just to God, but to your fellow human being. You don't want to be abandoned on the day of rapture. You want to be found not sleeping in sin, but active, rendering godly services to God and your fellow human beings so you could be taken to heaven. Make sure you are praying. At this time, this is a very, very, very vital prayer point. Tell him that you do not want to lose heaven. You don't want to lose your soul to Satan. You don't want to give your life to Satan. You want to give your soul, spirit, and body to him and to him alone. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. Make sure you are praying in this manner. Ask him to remove sicknesses and diseases, pain of life, hardship, poverty, fear, doubt, unbelief, failure, obstacles of life, loneliness, disappointment, joblessness, hopelessness, depression, infirmities and the spirit behind them. Ask him to control your life, the lives of your husband and children, the lives of your wife and children, the lives of members of your family. He should deliver them from sins and sinful desires, from addictions, from hardship, from poverty, and from the hands of Satan. Ask him to free the whole world from the spirit of death and all powers of darkness in charge of wars, violence, disunity, misunderstanding, envy, blasphemy, divination, sorcery, idolatry, sexual immorality, marine spirits and agents, Satan, Lucifer, snake, and the powers of hell. We are in the world as his children and we are not part of all these evil things. Ask him to deliver your life, your soul, to separate your life from darkness. Ask him to make you his own shining example, shining light to the world of darkness. He said in Isaiah chapter 60, Arise and shine, for your light has come. Ask him to make your very life his shining example, his glorious light that will always despair all shades of darkness in this dark world. Ask him to make you very, very honest, sincere, faithful, truthful, humble, patient, joyful, meek, kind, righteous, wise, and self-controlled. Ask him to destroy evil attacks, moving objects, satanic cobwebs, evil movements in your body that are injected by Satan and all his evil agents. Ask him to destroy all, not some. You want total freedom. Enough is enough of arthritis. Enough is enough of satanic cobwebs. Enough is enough of HIV AIDS, hypertension, diabetes, tuberculosis, sacral cell anemia, 
depression, asthma, fever, weaknesses of the body, lumbar spondylosis, weak erection, low sperm cell, ceased menstruation, fibroids, barrenness. Enough is enough of hepatitis A, B, C, skin disease, ulcer, cancer, kidney problems, kidney stone, liver problems, liver disease, poison of all kinds, ranks and authorities in your life and in lives of people in your family. Pray your way out. Ask God to remove them. Ask him to lead you to do his will, to fill you with the spirit of generosity. You have so many good dreams of good things you want to do that will glorify God. Tell him to fill you with the spirit of generosity. Ask him to give you that inner grace to accomplish all your dreams. God himself is the father of dreams. As the father of dreams, tell him to strengthen you to accomplish your dreams. You want to be a real and genuine child of God. You want to be a kingdom builder. You want to stand against sins and sinful desires. Ask him to strengthen you to achieve all these dreams. You want to be highly anointed and empowered by God to act on God's behalf. Ask him to give you the grace. You want to represent him in your mind, in your thoughts and in your word, even in your secret lives, you want God to be promoted. Ask him for that grace. Ask him to disconnect you from all addictions and weaknesses. You want him to be promoted in your secret lives. Him alone, not Satan. Him alone, not evil spirits. Him alone, not lust. Him alone, not lies and fears. Ask him to anoint your career. Ask him to anoint your job and break all yokes of setback, limitation, envy, jealousy, stagnation, and the like. The anointing that God gives breaks every yoke. Ask him to anoint your career to break every yoke of limitation, hindrance, setback, jealousy, racism, Envy, joblessness, poverty, hardship. Ask him to anoint your health to destroy every sickness and disease in yourselves, in your blood, in your organs, in your systems, and on your body. Your body is the house that is anointed by God to be his divine temple, not a place of sickness and disease. Ask him to anoint your body with fresh anointing that will destroy every sickness and disease that is hiding in you and in your family. Ask him to anoint your name and your names. Let your names be anointed by him. Ask him to anoint your names. Let the anointing of God in your names begin to break every generational curse or evil spirit that use your name to operate, to cause you setback limitation, poverty, hindrance, joblessness, and the like. Ask him to anoint your names and to destroy all evil spirits that are using your names to operate, to cause sickness, disease, setback, disappointment, and the like. The name Jesus Christ was highly anointed and commanded to be the name above all names. Ask God to anoint your names. Let your names signify blessings, holiness, purity, breakthroughs, salvation, redemption, eternal life, forgiveness, sanctification, humility, righteousness, and the like. Make sure that you are praying. Ask God to anoint your dreams and to destroy all evil spirits that are assigned to carry out nightmare activities, spiritual attacks, and the likes in your dream life. Ask God to anoint your dreams with his fresh anointing that will break every yoke. Make sure that you are praying in your heart. 
Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you will find. Ask him to touch the heart of the leaders of your country, to make them obedient to God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, not idols, not Satan, not marine spirits, not occultic powers. Ask God Almighty to use them to promote peace, prosperity, spiritual atmosphere that will enable people on earth to worship God in spirit and in truth. Ask God to use them to create laws that will allow people on earth to worship God in spirit and in truth. Now specifically ask for the grace of long life. Ask God to give you long life and prosperity. Ask God to add more years to your years on earth and give you the grace to live a life without sins and sinful desires throughout these years. Ask for eternal life and ask God to establish his kingdom and spirit of righteousness in your life and family. Ask God to make you his spiritual prayer warrior that will always pray not only for yourself but also for everyone in the world, nations in the world, continents in the world, and the universe. Tell God that you want to be constantly praying without ceasing. You want your heart to be constantly connected to God through his word and by his spirit all the time. Ask for that grace from God. You don't want your heart to be a spiritual prostitute, wandering from one sins and sinful desires to another sins and sinful desires. You want your heart to be completely connected to God through his word and by his spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command your prayer points to be anointed and answered by God, both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now receive the grace to enjoy God's spiritual covering forever. Receive this grace of divine protection. I command your life to be anointed and redeemed by God forever. Receive your healing and deliverance. Receive your blessings and prosperity. Receive the marks of Jesus Christ in your soul, in your spirit, in your body, in your family, in your tribe, in your nation, in your continent, in the world and in the universe, both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, congratulations. Your prayer points are permanently answered by God. And the manifestations of all the things you have prayed for will begin to be seen not just by you, but also by everyone in the world. So give thanks to God you are blessed and free. Give thanks to And also to the evil rings, her back. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. The fire is going deeper to the deepest part. It's moving down to the spine. The face, the eyes, spirit of seduction. The evil rings, the covenants. Spirit of incest. Disobedience. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Labor alone. Fear her heart. Her heart. Fear. Live a spiritual life alone. Her destiny and her future. Holy Ghost. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now I command her to receive a pure heart from God. A heart that is not controlled by sins and sinful desires. Is coming down already. Is entering now. Receive. Be. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus. What happened to you during the prayers? I could feel the snake in my stomach and in my chest. I felt my chest tightening up. But I feel free now and light. I'm so happy. So you got to maintain your freedom, your deliverance, by living a life without sins and sinful desires. Okay? And come back for yes. your testimonies. Yes, ma'am. Shalom. All right. God bless you. Shalom. 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 Shalom, Mother of God. Introduce yourself. My name is Janet Mamba, and um, I live in Canada, but I'm from DRC, Congo. Go ahead. And um, I, I am like, I did a bachelor's in health uh, studies, but then, and then I have like um, HR management diploma as well, but I, I work as a receptionist and admin assistant all the time. Um, like I feel like I'm like living backwards instead of going forward. Um, I would like a God to forgive my sins because when I was in, in, first of all, when I was younger, like a baby in, in diapers, my brother used to molest me um, and touch me. And then when I was in university, I once like just saw um, like a screen coming on my laptop of pornography. And then when and then from there, I was like really attacked with uh, with masturbation, and then which led to me falling into sin. Um, and then because of not not um, wanting to stay in sin, I I had to like get married. But then when I got married in 2016. Um, my husband and I at some point watched porn also, and then that, because of ignorance, um, that actually opened the door to like spiritual husband, and um, which also opened the door to like a lot of misunderstanding in the marriage, quarreling every day, 
and I had to like run away from my husband. So I lived in a like in a shelter for like four months, and and now I have my kids, which who also are being attacked. And whenever I try to pray, my child would come and attack me. And he always likes animals, lions, snakes, and stuff like that. Um, and then my older son is five years old. He does not talk. He he was diagnosed with autism, but I feel like he's having like a mental disorder or something. I really want God to forgive all my sins and uh, deliver my family. My mother has diabetes. My father died last year. Um, and um, I remember my dad, when he was alive, he went to visit TB Joshua and brought us the anointing oil and this oh, water and the stickers, but I feel like my father was about, was supposed to save God, but he didn't. Um, so it's just like a lot of things going on. I really need deliverance and need to know the will of God concerning my marriage, uh, um, which I, I got married in 2016. Uh, I you, really have kids, you have kids already for the man. So after having kids... And you are now desiring to know God's opinion about that. Yes, I want God to forgive me for that as well. Because, because I thought I hate that he, he told me that the father of my kids was my husband, but I did not really verify like confirmation and it was it was not a good foundation and I want God to forgive me and forgive him too for that. Is he remarried and, now? No. He's still single. All right, so you, both of you should um, reconcile and let the will of God be done. Follow the process of marriage, okay? Okay. Let us pray. Okay. Call the name Jesus Christ and get ready for prayers. Jesus Christ. Open up the Jesus door of your heart. Christ. Call him again. Jesus Christ, son of David, Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I send fire to you, spiritual husband, idols. Witches and wizards, snake, serpent. Fill your eyes, the eyes. <laughs> Fear! Sit right and answer me quickly. Fear! I sell fire to the eyes, your evil crowns and rings. Fear! What are you doing in her? Speak louder. What are you doing in her? I send more fire to all the kingdoms of darkness. All, not some. And I send fire to all of you that are hiding there. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Answer me quickly. What are you doing in her? <laughs> what are you doing in her, you snake? And spiritual husband. Right now, I send fire to the oceans, to the seas, rivers, to her family. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. 
Fear! Who are you in her? Answer me quickly. Who are you in her? The fire is coming down to every part now. Watch. The tongue, the eyes, the face, the back, the able front, the back, the bones. The bones, <laughs> the womb. Ah! Every part of our body. The eyes, the eyes, the eyes, the tongue, the face, the monitor mirrors, evil crowns. <laughs> Evil crowns and <laughs> evil rings. Pull them out. What are you removing? <laughs> what are you removing from her fingers? I soak the fingers in the blood of Jesus Christ. The spiritual husband cannot hide. The ancestral spirits cannot hide. Spirit of sexual immorality cannot hide. Spirit of anger, bitterness, offense. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. What are you doing? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> what are you doing in her? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Why should I leave you? What are you doing in her, you evil spirits? <laughs> She's always praying. She's always praying against me. She's always praying. Why is she praying? Why is she praying? Why is she praying? <laughs> Why is she praying? <laughs> Who are you that she has been praying against? <laughs> Who are you that possess her? What is your name? spiritual life, her marriage, ah! and her career. <laughs> Leave me alone. 
What do you want her to read? Listen to me. What are the what are the evil things you have done to this lady? What are the evil things you have done to the fruit, the fruit of her womb? What have you done to them? Who is attacking the? Ch- Listen to me. Who is attacking the children? Who made the children to be having health challenges? Who made the children to be having um, challenges? Health challenges. Answer my question quickly. Who made the children of this woman to have health challenges? She's the one! Speak louder. She wanted to deliver. God is the deliverer and God will always deliver his children. I attack her children. What did you use to attack her children? What? What did you use to attack her children? I don't know. I don't know. What kind of sicknesses and diseases do they have? Ah! Speak louder. <sighs> What kind of sicknesses and diseases do the children have? You evil spirit. What kind of sicknesses and diseases did you give them? They think they think it's autism. It's not. They think it's autism. No, it's not autism. What is it? It's madness. 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 If you are destroyed now, what will happen to her life? And the lives of these children. If you are destroyed, you is a great woman. She's great. Why? Listen to me. Listen to me. If you are destroyed, you evil spirit, what will happen to this woman, the children, and her career? What will happen? She's gonna be happy. She's gonna be happy. She wants to deliver people. God is anointing her. Ah! Why does she want to be like you? Why TV Joshua all the time? She's even giving examples of TV Joshua in her prayer all the time. God TV Joshua, God TV Joshua, God TV Joshua, look at TV Joshua. Oh. Why? 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 Hmm. Now I send fire to you, spiritual husband, snake, witches and wizards, serpent, Lucifer, Satan, and idols. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. I command all of you to be destroyed, you evil spirit. Fire! I command a new heart from God to enter into her heart. The new heart is coming now. Is entering. Is entering the new heart. It has already entered. 
Now you've got no control. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare her. I declare her free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. She is free now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Why are you saying your God? What? Why are you saying, oh my God? What? Oh God. How old are you now after the prayers? I'm okay. Speak louder. I'm okay. Thank you, Lord. God has said to free, make sure you live a life without sins and sinful desires and come back for your powerful testimonies. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Shalom. Shalom. Many more people receiving deliverances. Glory be to God, to Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Your names? Shalom, man of God. Go ahead and... I'm Susan Tabuhomo. Go ahead and introduce yourself again. Your names and where you're speaking from. I'm Susan Tabuhomo from South Africa, Limpopo, Olokwani. What do you do for a living? I'm a social worker. A manager in, in working in government. And what do you want Jesus Christ to do for you? Man of God, I want Jesus Christ to forgive me my sins, the sins that I've made knowingly and unknowingly. Uh, my own God to forgive me the sins of anger, jealousy, being impatient, uh, being fearful and doubtful, masturbation, termination of pregnancy, envy and other sins and bitterness and other sins that uh, I, 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 might not know, I, I might not know them that I've done them. What do you believe that Jesus Christ will do for you? I believe that Jesus Christ will, will heal me, especially from the ear. I've got in my ears, I've got noise in my ears and my eyesight also, especially the left eye. It's, it's getting blurry and blurry. Uh, I believe God will also assist me with the ability. God will assist me with financial breakthroughs. I'm experiencing financial challenges at the moment, man of God. I borrowed people money, and at the moment, they don't want to pay me back the money, and the, the attorneys at the banks are following me up. I'm even afraid to answer the calls because they are behind me. And also pray, man of God, that God will believe, assist me, believe me, that God will help me with the career breakthrough. My children are at school. I believe that uh, they will do well because at the moment, my children and I, our career is not doing well. My my first one, I've got four sons. I'm, I'm in a four, four children, four boys and two girls. Though each, each one of them have got their own fathers, and they're not assisting anything. And in terms of career, the firstborn uh, is working and also studying, uh, but studying part-time. It's called try to do a business. The business is not doing well. The second the second one is the girl. It just went to tertiary this year. So it's not do, she's not doing well also. The third one is a boy. It's at school, not doing well also. And the, third, the last born, seven years old, she's... Really, they're all they're all with children. That they they can't say that they let me say they're average children. And also, my of God, I've got the son whose name is Tepiso. He's stuttering each time when he starts trying to talk. You know, he cannot go for uh, the learning. I mean, uh, language problem. I can't uh, communicate with him. I want to communicate with him, but 
is really suffering. I want, man, I want God to help. Let, let us, let us pray. God knows all your needs. Free your heart, focus on him, and get Amen. ready for prayers. Call the name Jesus Christ for prayers. Jesus. Let your spirit attract the Holy Spirit. Call the name Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. Free in the name of Jesus Christ, you wicked demon. Spiritual husband and idols. Fear! What are you doing here? Huh? Fear in the name of Jesus Christ! I sell fire to you all that are hiding in her. The fire is coming down from God. And it's going down to all evil spirits. We are very naughty. Naughty, you. Naughty. Listen. Who are you that are speaking in her? Speak quickly. Measure your names and how you operate. Speak quickly. The fire is coming down. Speak quickly. <laughs> I sell fire to the eyes, the spine, the womb, and to all the part of water where you are hiding. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch, the fire is coming. It has come. The evil forces are undergoing complete destruction. All of them, not some. The spiritual husbands, the idols, the wicked queen, Lucifer and the snake. What have you done to our marriage? <clears throat> Speak louder. What have you done to our marriage? Why did you say that I'm very, very stubborn? You are stubborn and naughty, you. Why, Why did you say Why are you praying for her? Huh? She, is a, she is a child of God and she needs prayer. Who are you? No, 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 no. Don't involve in her affairs. Don't, don't. God himself. In her affairs. Listen to me. No. You have no choice. God himself is involved here in her affairs. Jesus Christ is involved in her face and the Holy Spirit is involved. So how do you operate before you'll be finally destroyed? What have you done to her marriage, her career, and her health? I have closed everything. I've closed everything. She can't go anywhere. I've closed everything. Everything. What are the things you have closed? Mention them one by one. Annie, the kids are not going anywhere. Just to the cast every, everything. Who are you that closed everything? What are your evil names? Who are you that claimed that you've closed everything? What are your evil names? What are your evil names? Speak quickly. 
I will not tell you. Why do you want to know? I will not tell you. Now watch. You will be forced to speak. The fire is coming down from God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. And the fire has already come. Now you will be you will beg to speak. I sell more fire. Who are you that are hiding to close everything in her life? What are your names? Your no has been turned to yes. You are already speaking. Now speak quickly. Who are you that decided to close everything in her life? The name of Jesus Christ. Measure your names quickly. What have you done to the children, the husband, her life, her career, and this? What have you done to them, you evil spirits? Here, I said that first that they will not progress. I want her not to progress this one. This one, I don't want her to progress. She's not going anywhere. Very clever. She's not going to press. Every day, every day, prayer, 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 prayer. But guys, let's pray. Guys, let's pray. Every day, prayer, prayer. Come, it's at night. It's time to pray. What do you pray for? What do you pray for? What is wrong in one praying without ceasing? What is wrong about prayer? What is wrong in prayer? She's disturbing us. She's disturbing us. We can't do anything. She's always praying. 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 Call kids. Come. Visit us. Come. Let's pray. Why? I. Who are you people that claim that you are always being disturbed by prayers? What are your evil names? Who are you people? Unclean spirits. Right now, I suffer to her tongue and to your secrets and to your names. And I command them to be exposed. Fear the name of Jesus Christ. Now say your names quickly. Who are you? I'm a serpent. How many of you are living in her, serpent? Who else? Yes! I'm a spiritual husband. I always sleep with her. Always. She goes to the meeting and the hotels and all her head. I sleep with her. How do you go about what you said now? How? Physically or spiritually? Answer me quickly, physically or spiritually, you spiritual husband. I do it spiritually. How can I do it physically? I do it spiritually. If you are destroyed now, what will happen to your evil assignments? If you are destroyed now, what will happen to your evil works and assignment in her life and family? Ah, ah, she's going to be great. She's going to be great. Great. I'll be great, great, great. 
right now I send fire to you idols, spiritual husbands, ancestral spirits, queen of the coast, and I command all your evil assignments to be destroyed, your life, evil spirits to come to an end. From the name of Jesus Christ, I send fire to the eyes, spirit of seduction. Evil powers that are located in any part of our life, I command these evil powers to be destroyed. Check, you cannot find them again. Find the name of Jesus Christ. I send fire to the snake. Spirit of infirmity, snake. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of death, snake, Lucifer, Satan, have been destroyed forever in her. I command her sins to be forgiven, and I command her to receive eternal life, healing, and deliverance. Let her receive a pure heart. It's coming down from heaven. It has entered. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Watch. What happened to you during the prayers? I don't know. You say that you are snake, spiritual husband to yourself. What do you have to say about that? Snake, spiritual husband, and the like. Uh, I don't know. The spiritual husband, I know I do have a type of spiritual husband. The snake, I don't know. God has delivered you, live a life without sins and sinful desires, and come back for your Amen. testimonies. Amen. Viewers, I hope you're waiting. You. Any moment from now, it will be your turn. So stay tuned. Viewers, anywhere you are, we appreciate your genuine love for God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Christopher Oji. By the fruit of the Holy Spirit in me, I shall be known. God bless you. Be in an attitude of prayers. Let your heart, your mind, and conscience, let your soul, spirit, and body, connect themselves to God, to Jesus Christ, and to the Holy Spirit. This is what we mean by be in an attitude of prayers. Have you connected your life to God? If the answer is yes, let us pray. Father, we thank you for we are here as children and you are with us to get our sins forgiven. You are with us to get our lives sanctified by the purity that is only found in your holy words. You are with us so we can enjoy your mercy and favor. Your children are here before you asking for the forgiveness of their sins, asking for your divine mercy to speak for them, asking for your river of 
heavenly blessings to flow into their lives and family. They want to be separated from hardship, sickness, disease, setback, loneliness, rejection, evil attacks, demonic possessions, and the influence of the evil spirits. You said at the beginning, let the light be separated from the darkness. And it was so. Let the lives of your children be separated from Satan, Lucifer, snake, poverty, hardship, disease, sins and sinful desires, negative thoughts, doubt, fears, unbelief, inferiority complex, and condemnation, both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Shalom, men of God. Introduce yourselves. I'm King Mary. I'm staying in Jobek, South Africa. I'm originally from, from GRC. And then this one is my husband. He's also from GRC. And my name is Kumbu, Blanchard Kumbu. From One. GRC, uh, yeah. I come to confess my sin. I come to confess my sin here and forgive my forgiveness. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, I have. A... Go ahead, sir. Hello, man of God. Go ahead. Yeah, I have a, a spirit anger, um, a spirit anger, motivation, uh, and pornographic, and. Uh, uh, fornication. Okay, let's hear. Let's hear from your yeah. wife. Yeah, I'm here, man of God. I have to thank God first because I was waiting for this time for so long. I was been calling the number for. Madam, go straight to the point. Ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, my, my my request is that. Because since I get married with my husband, we are, we, 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 are, we are not, we, our lives are, are not moving. We are expecting poverty for so many, many years. And then now it's also affected, uh, affected my child, who is also suffering for blockage. I have one of my daughter who is studying to Paris. Since she have metric last year, but she find, she should try to find a place to university, but they never, she, she never get a chance. They always put her on the waiting list. And then when his paper expired, so this, she, she decided to apply a, a passport because she's a, she born here in South Africa. She's a, she have a citizenship. Since she applied the passport, today is like one year. So she can't do anything now. She can't go to, to she can't even work. She can't also to start. And then us also here, yeah, we are suffering. Poverty is the first thing since I get married. Madam, what life no, of sin? It. What life of sin are you living? What are your sins? I, I, I know. Before I know Jesus Christ, when I was young, I, I, I remember I was not perfect. I, I, I sinned because I was also not married that time, but I was busy having sex with men. And then I know also I have abortion for the long time when I was young, but not this time. Since I, get, I, have, I got married, there is an, other things I never even do anymore. You have spirit of anger. You have spirit of anger. You need to repent from that. Yes, exactly. You have spirit of impatience and unforgiveness. You need to repent. Yes, sir. yes, yes, men of God. Let us pray. God will forgive all of you and set everyone free. Call the name Jesus Christ and get ready for prayers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Men of God. Call the name Jesus Christ. God knows your problems and your needs. Call the name Jesus Christ and get ready for prayers. Do that quickly.
Call the name Jesus Christ and get ready for prayers now quickly. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. Your heart is not connected. You are waiting to see what will happen to you. You are not connected. You have to focus on Jesus. Do that quickly. The man himself should connect to God. Free your heart. Call the yes. name Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Again. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I send a fire of God's deliverance to your lives and I command evil spirits that are hiding in your lives to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let there be forgiveness. Receive the forgiveness of your sins. Mm -hmm. Let your life be truly sanctified by God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Receive your healing and eternal salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And amen. So, amen. you are healed. You are totally set free. Come back for your testimonies. Amen. amen. God knows the needs of his children, and he knows the best way to attend to them. Shalom. Shalom. Your names and where you're speaking from. I'm Elvis Amakiri. I'm speaking from Georgia, Tbilisi, Georgia, in Europe. You can put your hands down and sit back comfortably. That's okay. What do you do for a living where you are and okay. what is your country of origin? I'm from Nigeria, Imo State. And right now, I'm not doing anything. When I was in Nigeria, I was a truck driver. I started driving very early, at earlier stage. But now, I'm not doing anything. What do you want God Almighty to do for you? I want a total liberation and a blessing from God. Do you have I lives want... of sin to confess? If yes, go ahead and confess them quickly. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm someone I love and everything about since ever since I entered this European country, my life changed because I loved everything about fornication and going to clubs. I meet different women every time, and even women come for me. But at last, there is nothing we come up with. It's just only to have sex. And are you tired of living that kind of, are you tired of living that kind of life? I'm tired of living this kind of life, sir. Are you also ready to receive your blessings and breakthroughs? I'm ready, sir. Call the name Jesus Christ and let's pray. Call the name Jesus. Jesus. Again. Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I Amen. command your sins to be forgiven. Amen. Receive the grace to enjoy eternal life. Amen. Receive healing and deliverance. Amen. 
I command your life to be totally delivered. Amen. By the mighty power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Doors are opening. Come back for your testimonies. Amen. Thank you, God. Shalom. Shalom, men of God. Shalom, men of God. Where are you speaking from? Tell us your names. My name is uh, Itai Katsujira. I'm speaking from South Africa, but I'm in Zimbabwe and living in Spring, South Africa. What do you do for a living, and what do you want God Almighty to do for you? Uh, I'm a main uh, machine operator. Uh, I would like God to forgive my sins, the one that I did knowingly and unknowingly. Uh, the sins of unforgiveness, uh, the sins of holding grudges. Uh, I also want Lord uh, Almighty to deliver me from uh, low affection in my life. Also, there is a case in our family of sickness, such as cancer, uh, stroke, and um, mental disorder. So I would like God to deliver us from all these sicknesses, so that everyone can be free in our family, and uh, there can be unity in our family. Let's hear from your wife, your names, and what you want God to do for you. My name is Tini Machara. I'm from Zimbabwe, but I'm staying in South Africa. I want God to forgive me for all the things I have done. Things like unforgiving, jealousy. I also have a seed of anger. And, uh, in my house, I have got a problem of headache ever since I gave birth to my son. And my right side here, I have to take tablets before I sleep. I, could, I can't sleep using this right side, my hands and my legs. Also, deliverance from my family, side of my family. There's no peace, there's no progress, there's sickness, everyone. I just need God to intervene in my life. Let us pray, call in him Jesus Christ and get ready for prayers. Do that quickly. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I send fire to the foundation of your problems. And I command them to be destroyed. Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. All evil spirits hiding in you, spiritual husband, spiritual wife, spirit of bitterness, idols, what are you doing in her? Why are you hiding in her, you wicked spiritual husband and idols? Do you think you can hide? I send fire to anywhere you are hiding. Every part of her body, her face, your wicked rings and crowns. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear. Pull out your wicked covenant rings and your evil crowns, you wicked queen. Pull them out quickly. Fear the crown and the rings. I send fire to the mind, the brain, the ears. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her and the family? 
Speak and answer me. You are hearing me. Speak quickly. I send more fire to the ears. Fill the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her, her marriage, her career, and her health? The fire is coming now, it's going straight to the spiritual husband, the wicked idols, and the snake. Every part of her life. Her womb, her back, her head. Fill in the name of Jesus Christ. They thought they could hide. There is no hiding place for them, all of them. The fire is going down to the back, the back, the back, the back. In the name of Jesus Christ, the face, the face, the face, the ears, no one can quench the fire of the Holy Spirit. I sell fire to the water. I sell fire to the water where you're hiding, you evil spirits. Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> More fire! I send fire to her dreams, her spiritual life, her mind, her mind! Fire in the name of Jesus Christ! Deliverance continues as the Spirit of God, omnipotent and omnipresent, is fetching out all evil spirits that have been hiding for years in the lives of the people. What have you done to our marriage? More fire has been descended to her brain. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. They cry their evil voices. Your evil voices, spirit of madness. 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 Depression. <laughs> Holy Ghost fire. Fire. The wicked spiritual husband cannot hide. The snake cannot hide. The snake cannot hide. Spirit of loss of memory.
every obstacle, setback, limitation, poverty, hardship, let them be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. The unseen enemies that have been hiding to attack. Remove your covenant rings. Your evil garments. Remove them quickly. Remove them quickly. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Pull out the rings. Put them out. Pull out the rings and the evil crowns. The monitoring mirrors. The evil eye. The pyramid of Satan. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I command her to receive a pure heart. A heart that cannot be controlled by you, evil spirit, the spiritual husband. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Completely disconnected from snake, spiritual husband, idols that have been hiding to torment her life and the lives of others. She is totally free now. Completely free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You have to stay away from your weaknesses so that they will not return back to your life. Did you hear me, madam? God has set you free now. Rejoice. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mayor of God. Congratulations, viewers, for watching. We still have many more that God will lead us to attend to. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Follow these nine easy steps to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministries, Kojim. Step 1. Visit our website, www.kojim.org, and click on Give in the menu. If you're using a mobile device, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner of your mobile device screen and find the Give link. Step 2. Click on Donate on the Local Donations option if you are within Nigeria. Step 3. Kindly send your donations to any of the bank account numbers listed. Or Step 4. Click on Donate on the International Donations option if you are outside Nigeria. Step 5. Choose between Bank Wire Transfer or Online Payment options. Step 6. If you choose to use the Bank Wire Transfer option, Please see the account details listed therein. Step 7. If you chose the online payment option, please fill the form and submit it. Step 8. Please state the purpose of your donation on the payment slip or the comment notes section of your bank transfer app. LOGIF Partnership Logif Partnership Support the care of the poor, orphans, widows and widowers. Offering Use this for your offering, seed sowing, and thanksgiving offering. Tithe, one-tenth of your earning only. To donate to the church new site building fund. Step 9. Send proof of payment to any of the following. Email donations at kojim.org Or you can WhatsApp, SMS, or call 
on plus two three four seven zero four three three one five four zero five. Follow these nine easy steps to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministries. Kojim. Step one: Visit our website www.kojim.org and click on Give in the menu. If you are using a mobile device, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner of your mobile device screen and find the Give link. Step two: Click on Donate on the local donations option if you are within Nigeria. Step three: Kindly send your donations to any of the bank account numbers listed. Or, step four: Click on Donate on the international donations option if you are outside Nigeria. Step five: Choose between bank wire transfer or online payment options. Step six: If you choose to use the bank wire transfer option. Please see the account details listed therein. Step seven: If you chose the online payment option, please fill the form and submit it. Step eight: Please state the purpose of your donation on the payment slip or the comment notes section of your bank transfer app. LOGIF Partnership, LOGIF Partnership, support the care of the poor, orphans, widows, and widowers. Offering, use this for your offering, seed sowing. And Thanksgiving offering. Tithe, one tenth of your earning only. To donate to the church new site building fund. Step nine: send proof of payment to any of the following. Email donations at kojim dot org, or you can WhatsApp, SMS, or call on plus two three four seven zero four three three one five four zero five. Follow the. Beware of fraudsters. Shalom. It has come to our notice that some fraudsters parade themselves as Kojim representatives. Please do not accept any phone numbers or bank details from anyone other than those published on the Kojim official website www.kojim.org. Our official bank details are listed on our website www.kojim.org/give. Also, our official phone numbers and email addresses are listed below. The prayer lines: plus two three four nine zero six six two eight zero two six three, or plus two three four eight one three three zero three zero nine one seven. The testimonies line: plus two three four eight one five nine six zero two eight two nine. The donations line: plus two three four seven zero four. Three three one five four zero five. Our email address is info at kojim dot org. Freely I receive from God. Freely I give. Beware of fraudsters. Shalom. It has come to our notice that some fraudsters parade themselves as kojim representatives. Please do not accept any phone numbers or bank details from anyone other than those published on the Kojim official website. www. Shalom. Shalom. Introduce yourself. Shalom.
follow these nine easy steps to partner with the City of Jesus International Ministries, Kojim. Step 1. Visit our website, www.kojim.org, and click on Give in the menu. If you're using a mobile device, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner of your mobile device screen and find the Give link. Step 2. Click on Donate on the Local Donations option if you are within Nigeria. Step 3. Kindly send your donations to any of the bank account numbers listed. Or Step 4. Click on Donate on the International Donations option if you are outside Nigeria. Step 5. Choose between Bank Wire Transfer or Online Payment options. Step 6. If you choose to use the Bank Wire Transfer option, Please see the account details listed therein. Step 7. If you chose the online payment option, please fill the form and submit it. Step 8. Please state the purpose of your donation on the payment slip or the comment notes section of your bank transfer app. LOGIF Partnership Logif Partnership Support the care of the poor, orphans, widows and widowers Offering Use this for your offering, seed sowing, and thanksgiving offering. Tithe, one-tenth of your earning only. To donate to the church new site building fund. Step 9. Send proof of payment to any of the following. Email donations at kojim.org or you can WhatsApp, SMS or call on plus 234-7043-315-405. Follow these.